front. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Emma. And I'm Pam. And we're from Quilters Trading Post. We've been open since 2007, so we're coming up to 10 years now. We started our business um, in Cambridge, really, with a long arm quilting machine. We decided we wanted to make a proper business of it, so we bought a shop in this area. We soon grew out of that because we became successful and we bought a school, and now we're in the school. We have four parts to our business. We have the quilting service, we run workshops, we sell patchwork and quilting threads, fabrics and notions, and we do patterns and books. That's our newest thing, and our favourite being our crafters' carry-on. We've really enjoyed being on Hachanda. It's um, made us famous, really. We've got lots of people who now come into the shop and tell us that they've seen us, and that they've enjoyed the demonstrations, and they've watched us over and over again. Make sure you don't miss our shows here on Hachanda. Yes, good morning one, good morning all. How are you? It's Tuesday morning, it's seven o'clock and a few seconds, and yes, it's a happy hour deal already. Kick the day off with a deal. You can't go wrong, can you? You really can't go wrong. But uh, this is a happy hour deal, so it'll only last for an hour if you've never seen a happy deal before. And then the prices will all shoot back up at eight o'clock in the morning. We are talking jelly bean crafts is what we're talking about and we're also talking, we're talking card, we're talking paper, we're talking rhinestones, we're talking little cello bags. And all under 13 pounds and 50 pence I know, nothing on this counter I'm about to show you on my car boot sale will be over £13. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. Uh, £13 and 50 pence. You see, nothing is over. So, if you've got a few change, a bit of, a bit of spare change left over, you're thinking, hmm, this could, this could be my bag. Uh, there's many assortments from uh, pearlescence that we're going to look at first, uh, to holographic, to polka dots, uh, to black card, white card as well. Uh, there's Christmas collections in there. It's, it's just red. But uh, here we got all green. But they call it Christmas, but we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Don't jump the gun, Margaret. It's a long, old race. Right then, here we go. Let's kick straight off with our first one this morning. This is your Jelly Bean Craft A4 Pearlescent Paper Collection Gold, Silver and Champagne. Uh, 230 sheets. Oh, 230 to 350 GSM, 60 sheets in total. It makes sense. You are getting 10 of each of the colours. So, let's start with your ice gold fur. Look at this. Oh, this is just gold. Single-sided. Uh, so, it is, it's just got the one side on. So, it's gold on the one. This is 230 GSM. I'll give it a wobble for you. Oh, you see? It's all in the wobble. Uh, so we've got the gold. Then we move on to this one. This is your silver. Silver mist is what we're talking now. Look at that. Absolutely. This is 300 GSM. Yeah, that does feel like 300 GSM. I'll give it a flick. I've never heard this one. What's this? Is that what Yanis does? Just apparently that's what we do. That's what we have to do. We have to give it a flick. Apparently, hmm. now it's too early. Too early for these sorts of things. Right then, we're moving on. We're now moving on to this. Is your champagne three hundred GSM once again? Now this is double sided. That's how I know. <laughs> uh, this is double-sided as well. So you've got a double-sided sheet on this. But look at the shine on the champagne. It is very kind. Did you do that, Chloe? You could have took credit for that. Because um, <laughs> there's that, Chloe, look. Uh, you could have took credit for that, and I would have believed you. It was probably Ben. I doubt it. Then we've also got... I doubt it. Then we've also got... I'm guessing this is your silver. 
Uh, once again, double-sided again. I can say that because he's not in. I'll be nice to Uh Then, uh, once again, look at the wobble on this. £12.99 for all this. This is You're getting an awful lot. And then last but no means least. Oh, look. Uh, last but no means least. Uh, what colour would this be then? Ice silver? No, I've got nothing on this one. <laughs> you see? Half a job, Ben. <laughs> it, it, no, it's double-sided. This is your iced silver as well for £12.99. And it's 300 GSM. Absolutely beautiful. I did need you. Of course I do. Uh, of course I always need you, Charlotte. Always need you. Uh, £12.99, 4.97905 is your item number for your Golds collection. So this is your pearlescent collection that we've got on there. Right then, we're moving holographic this time. Oh, here we go. Now, look at these. These are all silver holographics, but they all do something slightly different, so you're always going to get that uh, little sort of that little sparkle and shine that's in there. This is your mirror card collection, a sorted design from 250 to 320 GSM. Uh, we're now really talking construction weight is what we're talking now with these sorts of, uh, these sorts of weights that we've got going on. Uh, 50 sheets in total is what you're getting, and by the looks of it, they're all single-sided. Okay, so all the parties on the front, there's nothing at the back. So here we go. So look at that. It's like little rhinestones. It reminds me of the opening scene when you see the dwarfs in Snow White and they're down the mine. Just me. Um, just me, then. That's the, that's the one. Like, that's the one. Oh, Derek always gets his name in somewhere, doesn't he? Now, you've also got... Look at these. Now, I might have got labels on these ones. I told you. Half job, Ben. Uh, you've got the speckles in this one now. I'm going for this would be uh, cracked ice. It looks like your window screen of the morning. You know, it's been frosty. It's a little bit frosty. You're getting that frosty look that's on there. So that would be your cracked ice. Uh, then we've got your holograph. Holo holographic spots, your holographic spots that's on there, oh, we're di it's nice, it feels like a 250, it's got that, you can tell it, you can tell the difference in there, it's a little bit lighter that we're looking at at the moment as well, and then last but no means least, uh, you've got the two left, so you've got your plain silver card that's on there as well. So you've got that beautiful silver mirror card. Good for your mats and your layers. And look at the shine on these, though. And then, look at that. That is your holographic cracked ice that's in there. You add that, a little sparkle of that on a little mat or a little layer that you've got going on. Absolutely beautiful. £11.99 for 50 sheets of holographic cars. Uh, we're very, very busy for this at the moment as well. Well, and for these sort of surprises as well, it's good, to it's good to have a little stock up. Maybe you've used all your card. Um, maybe you've used all that, your stamping card and you don't, you don't know what to do anymore. You're thinking, I need something else. But a card really determines what you sort of make. It was sort of, it was, cause if you get the right sort of card, if you get black card, your, your card's going to turn like black and you might go black and white and classic. If you go for your silvers, you've got your mats and layers on there. So you're sort of now talking birthdays, Christmas, anniversary cards, those sorts of cards. Silver jubilees, things like that for the other anniversaries. But then, the next couple of collections can really be things like bunting. Don't just think cards. You could do your bunting out of these as well. There's so many paper crafts, like your boxes, your gift boxes, your tissue boxes. There's so many things that you can use them when you get them home. And things like these collections really do lend themselves to go together. All the collections you've seen so far work together as a whole. Right then, I'm just going to quickly swap these around. Only for the sheer fact, there's a lot of spots in there that'll make your TV go funny. Uh, so, we're looking at now, this is your Jelly Bean Craft A4 uh, paper and card set. This is in the pink this time as well. Absolutely beautiful collection. So you're getting that beautiful polka dot in there. You're also getting the shimmer in there as well. So you've still got 
a bit of shimmer in these. They're not all just matte. So you are getting those beautiful mattes and layers. You're getting the shimmers for the backgrounds as well. Let's go into them to a little bit more detail for you. Let's start. You're getting 10 of each, except for the small spots, which is this one here, which is paper, okay? So you're getting 100 GSM on your paper. So maybe uh, you want to use this for an insert for a card. Maybe you use it for a little insert for a card. You're getting 20 sheets here already. So that's 20 sheets. Maybe you do your die cut out of your paper and you save your cards for your actual card blanks themselves to run through your die machines. You're then getting, once again, single-sided again. Look at that. It's like sort of a, it is pleasant. It's sort of like a blush color that you've got on there as well. 300 GSM is what we're talking about here as well. This is your mid-pink tone. Um, I have only got labels, only on this one. Uh, and, then, and, then, and then we're on our own. Uh, so this is your mid-pink tone that we're looking at the moment. The whole collection varies between 100, which is obviously your paper, all the way up to 300 GSM as well. Then we've got your paper polka dot that we looked at a minute ago, which is absolutely beautiful. Um, paper. So it sort of reminds me of like uh, baby cards, like a baby girl card that you want there, like a little, like your little romper suits that you could cut out of if you wanted to. Those little sets of stamps, uh, those little stamps that we had yesterday in the happy hour, they would have gone now. They would look lovely on this. Those like little Janet and John ones, if you were lucky enough to get those. Then we've also got this. Well, this is sort of like your true pink, as it were. So this is, no, this is not pleasant. This is just your matte pink card. So just a standard pink that we've got going on here. This is 235 GSM is what we're looking at now as well. Once again, a beautiful, beautiful card uh, to work with. And then your final two that you see on the stand themselves. You've got one which is slightly pearlescent, which is nice, which is this one. This is 300 GSM for this little bit of pearlescency that you've got going on there. Nice for a little set of wedding cards, little birthday invitations, and then beautiful, you've got that bright, vivid pink that you've got going on there. And that's also uh, 235 GSM that's there as well. Uh, absolutely beautiful sets of colours. You could do so much with them uh, when you actually get them home yourselves. Um, once again, you're getting an awful lot. You're getting 70 sheets in total. Maybe you don't know where to start on the crafting world. You're like, well, what papers do I get? What papers do I need? With bundles like this, you are good to go because everything works together. All the papers, you haven't got to worry about, does that match? Does that match? You know these match. As a colour palette on their own, you know they're going to match. You know they're going to match and layer beautifully. Absolutely stunning. So there are your pink collection. Now, we're now moving into the realms of your Christmas colours. But don't let the word Christmas put you off. It could be Valentine's Day. Look straight in there from our Webster. There you go, Valentine's Day. It has got that Millie Mouse, uh, Minnie, Millie Mouse? Um, that was obviously, we're not allowed to use the real mouse's name. Uh, you've got that Minnie Mouse look at it. So if you are going to like Disney or anywhere like that, this is those sorts of colours that you've got with the polka dot um, red and white in there. My little girl would love these sorts of colours because it is that it does remind her. Obviously, everything creates an image in your mind. And that's what you want papers to do. You want to look at a paper and go, I can create that with these. I can create that with this. And that's what you can do with this collection. So, let's break down the collection in a little bit more detail. First of all, you've got this beautiful uh, weave that we've got running through. But as you really look at the detail in there, it's just the lines and it's just the way the patterns fell out. But as you crawl further out and you look at the card in a whole, it sort of looks a bit like a blanket weave that you've got going on. Uh, it's called the barcode print. And you can sort of see why. You're getting 10 sheets of this as well. 250 GSM there for your barcode print that you've got there. It's sort of picnic blanket-esque, I'm seeing on this as well. But beautiful on your MDF. If you've got any of your MDF shapes coming up as well, that would look stunning on there. So we've got your basket weave, then we've got your polka dots in two different sizes. We've got the small and we've also got the large polka dots as well. You're getting 10 of each and they're both 250 GSM. Absolutely beautiful. This is the sort of mini Mouse look that you've got going on on there. Which is absolutely and so good for um, birthday parties. If you're having a little birthday, then you've got your true red. That absolutely stunning 
50 sheets of the red is what you're getting and it's 270 GSM. Don't let the word Christmas put you off. Just as it says Christmas red up here, it's just a name. Don't let that put you off. I don't you think, well, it's not, it's not Christmas yet. I don't need it. For these sorts of prices, I would start, as I keep saying, I would start stocking up because these aren't going to be around for long. £11.50 for 80 sheets. And these aren't just any old sheets. You are talking 250 to 270 GSM. It works out roughly to be about 14 pence a sheet. 14 pence a sheet, and you have got 80 sheets in there. Absolutely phenomenal. As I said, there is nothing on this show over 13 pounds and 50 pence. So if you, if you wanted to start getting a few of these bundles, we've got other colours coming up. We've got whites and blacks coming up as well. Remember, if you go over that £60 mark, you can start splitting it into two interest reflexes as well. Become a Freedom member as well if you wanted to. Uh, because of the bulk of the PMP that you're getting as well with all these absolutely amazing. Right then, we're moving on. We've seen your Christmas red. We're now moving on to your Christmas green as well. So this is your green 235 to 250 GSM this time. 80 sheets in total again. Exactly the same sort of patterns, but just in the green this time. So you've got your barcode, you've got your two polka dots and also you've got that stunning green as well on the back. You're getting 10 of each pattern and then you're getting 50 of the Christmas green. So of the plain green you're getting 50 of these and that's 235 GSM and then all the others that you're getting there on them you're also getting 10 of them. But it will work if we just bring the barcodes over they do work together, absolutely beautiful. And the, the reds as well, I'll just quickly go back to the red barcode I said, um, it's not a, the barcode one's not like a red red, sort of like a peach. The red colour, when you actually look at it itself, uh, obviously the green is green. But you've got that deep forest green in there, they work together with this as well. Um, I, if it was me, I'd be putting both of these into my basket, because then you know you've got a whole palette and it's all going to work together really, really well. Uh, 794046 is your item number for your Jelly Bean Crafts A4 card green collection. See, I took out the word Christmas. Uh, your green collection there, 235 to 250 GSM, 80 sheets in total. Right then, more sparkle this time. Glitter card is what we're talking about. Uh, and it's not the glitter card that you normally think of. Normally when you see glitter card, you run your hand over, you turn your hand over, and your hand is full of glitter. Not this time. It's all encapsulated into the paper. £11.99. 237118 is your item number here. It is your A4 non-shed super smooth glitter card from 210 uh, GSM, 40 sheets in total is what you're getting this time with loads of different patterns on here. So let's break all this down, break it down. Uh, we've got your true glitter card uh, that everyone knows that your glitter card that you're getting in there. This is what you'd use in the front of your boxes maybe if you're making boxes. And this is what you'd use as your mats and layers on the fronts of your cards as well. Remember if you're going for the greens or the browns though, it works beautifully for a mat and layer right behind. So you really can't go wrong for your mats and layers. The tiniest bit will still add a touch of class to a card itself. So you've got the actual sparkle that's in there. Then we sort of go into like a kaleidoscope now that we've got. Look at that. Uh, absolutely beautiful is what it is. It is Mr. John Lockwood. It is beautiful. You like that? You see? A bit of sparkle. Our John's on the case. He's like a magpie. Uh, 11 pounds and 99 pence. Uh, sort of construction uh, you could use this for as well. So you sort of got those geometric shapes that's in there, the diamonds in there as well. So you could cut into it if you wanted to cut into it. Uh, then we've got again sort of like a hammered look, like sort of wire wool esque look that you've also got. Uh, look at the detail that you've got in there. So it is sort of like your brushed, sort of like your brushed look that we've got. £11.99. Then we're moving on again. 
Look at these. So this is your polka dot this time. Oh, look at that. You see this on the front of your card. Maybe as a little mat and layer with your circles will work wonderfully with your polka dots from the other two collections as well. Because you've got that running theme that's in there. Ooh. And then last but no means least, a slightly smaller polka dot this time. Almost like little sequins. So maybe you've got like um, clothes dyes that you've got at home. You don't know what to do and you want to jazz them up a bit like an old dinner jacket. Things like that. You want to create cards. You can do that with these because it just lends themselves. You haven't really got to do that much work once you've finished with them and cutting them all out. Uh, £11.99 would work wonders as well with the one day special that we've got today. Uh, John's one day special just to bring another element to it. Your matsy layers, your borders that are around there. £11.99. We've got queues on the phones. I know we're busy at 7 o'clock in the morning. 20 past 7 is what we're talking about. This is your happy hour for the morning. Jelly Beans Craft uh, car stock is what we've looked. If you are just joining us, oh, you've, mi you've missed some crackers. You really have. Uh, Christmas reds, Christmas greens. You've missed a pink collection. Um, Pearlescent champagne. Champagne for everyone. Right then, we're moving on. A black card. Now, black velvet. Already busy for your black velvet. 100 sheets in total, 300 GSM. Uh, this is the only song that I'm not a big fan of. I have to turn it off in the car if it ever comes on. It's not black velvet, but you know the song I'm talking about. Black oh. velvet. Uh, it is black velvet. Black velvet in the little boy's set. That one. I'm sure it is. Is it like velvet? No, it's black velvet. Email in if you know what I'm on about. Studio to chanda.com. That's the. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Something like that, Chloe. That was beautiful, Chloe. What you don't know is when our floor managers talk, we also hear what they say as well. And our Chloe just serenaded me down my earpiece. Uh, oh, that was beautiful. She's literally hiding behind the cameras. You can't see her. Oh, it's like, where's Chloe? This could be a new game. There she is. Uh, so, oh, that was, that was lovely, Chloe. Love that. Uh, so, uh, this is your black velvet card. 300 GSM, 100 G Look at the wad you are getting here. It is single-sided as well. Uh, but it is a good, thick construction card. As I said, 300 GSM we're talking about this time. You can hear the GSM-ness oozing out of the black velvet card. You really can of listen. Oozing. With black, with GSM now. Ooh. Can't beat a bit of GSM in the morning. So, £11.99. Now, that is, um, it's, well, you're talking boxes now, isn't it? You're talking your boxes, you're talking your construction. Uh, start thinking ahead now as well. I don't want to chase away the year, as it were, but start thinking ahead to the, what you've got coming up. So, the Christmas advent calendars, the, the dies that you might be, the Halloween section that we've got as well. A lot of people go for the Halloween, your sort of haunted houses that we've got. This would be beautiful to make things out of. Remember, use your white Posca pens on there as well. You could really go to town. You could also make it look like a little chalkboard if you wanted to, because you've sort of got that look to it. You've sort of got a chalkboard-esque style. So you use your white Posca pen, Posca pen, your little Posca pens. Uh, you could use your white little Posca pens that are on there. You say, oh, Webster, you are on fire this morning. Um, our Webster said you could make a little blackboard and make a little thank you for homeschooling me to your teacher, a little card, but turn it into a little blackboard. Get a little brown frame from the champagne. Get the champagne collection so you've got that beautiful brown frame, like your old school blackboard. We don't, I don't think they use blackboards anymore, do they? Interactive. Oh, they're all interactive boards. Oh, we had blackboards in that. We had one that you used to pull down, and it was on like a massive loop, and you'd just keep pulling them down. And you'd pull it down, and then the teacher would do all the work before, and we'd rub it all out before we came into class, and then you'd pull it down, and there'd be nothing there. 
and then it'd take ages to revise it out. It would kill a lesson. Or we'd always ask our French teacher, how do you say ice cream? And then he'd go into, we'd always know it would go into the long story of when, when you went to France and he had to ask for le glace, and he actually got a glass rather than an ice cream. It used to take up 30 minutes of the lesson every single time. We're like, yes! Uh, right then, uh, I digress slightly. Uh, £11.99 pence for 100 sheets is what we're talking about, about your black velvet uh, 300 GSM card. We're moving on down. 782461 is your item number for that. I've only just realised I'm not giving you numbers. Uh, so... I literally just realised it myself. My whole purpose here is to read this. Just to read this. This is all I have to do. And I'm not doing that. I'm talking about black velvet and le gloss and being serenaded by our, wow, beautiful, by our very own Celine Dion. Oh, super smooth card. <laughs> ah, Charlotte's offered me to, to sit. I can see her Whitney. <laughs> well. I'm a married man, Charlotte, I've told you this before. Now, here we go. £11.99 for Super Smooth Jelly Bean Craft A4. Super Smooth card in white, 240 GSM. 100 sheets in total is what we're looking at. Once again, absolutely beautiful white card. If you are, it is. I've just felt it. I was like, yeah, that's right, Super Smooth. Someone has had a stroke and thought, that's what I'll call that there. That's super smooth right there. We'll, put, we'll pop them details in. 375986 is your item number. £11.99 for this. Remember, these are happy hour deals. The prices will go back up to £24.99 at the end of the hour, which is still a long way away. So, uh, we're moving on. 29 minutes is what we have left. Oh, no, 34 of the price. This is what you've got. We've got 29 before we go off air and you have your five-minute break to make your cup of tea and grab your Cocoa Pops. Right then, we're moving on again. This time, card inserts. So, if you, I'm guessing you know what a card insert is, but this is the one that you would fold and you would stamp onto uh, and then pop it inside your card itself. And you are getting 300 sheets. 300 sheets of this ream. Look at that. All of this will be popping through your door for £9.99. And if you're a Freedom member, there is no postage and packaging on this as well. It doesn't matter where you are in the world. Nothing. Nada. Zilch. Gesundheit. Uh, 842427 is your item number for your card inserts. Now is what we're talking, 120 GSM. This is also good as well though if you just want to have a little play around with your stamps. You know if you want to stamp them out just to see what they look like before you go to your, before you go to your good card, as it were. That card you think, I can only do it once. Uh, get this, you're getting 300 sheets on there, you could cut it in half as well if you wanted to. Right then, we've been shimmied on down, we're going on to your, now these, now, now we're right up my street. A bit of jewels and a bit of gems, 30 packs in total is what we're talking about, for £13.25. Now, in each pack, you get a lot. There is a hundred, is there a hundred in each? You get a hundred, a hundred in each. And you're getting 30 packets of assorted colours and sizes in this as well. And then, let me, I don't know if I could, can I move, the, let's do it. I was going to go through them one by one, but this could take 29 minutes in itself. So, but look at all the different colours and sizes that you've got in there as well. Uh, there is so, so many. Oh no, it might, it might be 100. There's five in a row and there's 50 in a row, so that's, yeah, 100 in total. Uh, but uh, look at what you are getting in there. I didn't, I didn't doubt you, Charlotte. I just, but you, when you look at that, I looked at that and you said 100, I thought, well, it doesn't look 100 in there, but there is. When you actually work them all out, you are getting 100 pearls. Uh, there's 10 in each row, well done, and there's 10 rows. 
you see? I was asking my French teacher about the glass. I weren't listening maths. Uh, but then, look at all the different colours you're getting. Now, for £13.25, pence, that's already there as well. Absolutely stunning. And you know rhinestones. I missed that one. Oh, that one's on. Not now. Ah, Chloe. How old are you, Chloe? How, how old are you now? I know you shouldn't ask a, a lady your age. She's, she's ab above the 20s, let's say. Still a young whippersnapper. And apparently all the cool kids <laughs> are using these as earrings. They're just popping a little gem. Did you know this, Al? Not clue. Apparently the cool kids popping jewels on their ears to look like they've got earrings on a night out. <laughs> but they're little studs. Yes. Well, Chloe. <laughs> yeah, Chloe said she used to do it as a child, but I can see a sh I can see a shining in the cord if you're trying to get them off as we speak. <laughs> so very busy on these as well. Thirteen pounds and twenty-five pence is what we're looking at. Six eight eight one three eight is your item number. Right then. <laughs> yes, from paper to rhinestones. To cello bags. Now, everyone needs them. Now, there's three sizes of cello bags. Let me get a piece of black card. Sorry, I'm still there. Um, you're, not allowed, you're not meant to leave the shots. All oh, people are making phone calls. Uh, so, uh, our Charlotte's ordering these. I think she, I think she wants them. Uh, cello bags themselves. Now, there's many things you can do with a cello bag. Obviously, the obvious one is you pop your cards on the inside to keep people from thumbing through them at your fairs to get them all dirty. You don't want that, first of all. That's what a normal cellar bag would be used for. But there are so many other options you can do with them. The second option is, you know when you fussy cut and you've got all those bits, or you've got those, the, the grey board that pops out, and you know it never stays in them things that it's sent in. It always falls out here, there and everywhere, rolls around the box or rolls around the car. You could pop them all into a cellar bag, then you exactly know where everything is going. You can uh, catch the scraps as well if you wanted to. So if you're doing your paper piecing, this is the perfect way to catch everything that's in there. Uh, shaker cards, you could use them for as well. And a technique which I absolutely love, and I don't think is used enough, personally, is when you get a cello bag and red liner tape, you put your red liner tape around the edge so you, it's really secure, okay, so nothing can get out. You get the cheapest hair gel and squirt it all in. Go, no, go with me, Charlotte, honestly, it's fine. Uh, you squirt it all in, but the cheaper the better, because then you get all those little bubbles on the inside. But then, if you pop this in front of your aperture card, you've sort of got that under the sea look, because you can still see through it but you've got all the little bubbles that are in there as well from the gel and it's sort of tactile and then you've got all your animals behind as well. Uh, there's three sizes, so let me give you the sizes. These are your six by sixes that we're looking at at the moment. You're getting 250, bless you, Chloe Love. Oh, she was trying to hit the high note in my heart, we'll go on. Uh, 250 pieces in total for 12 pounds. Three, five, six, five, eight, nine. There's for your six by sixes. We've also got your seven by sevens on the show as well. Uh, slightly bigger this time, obviously, from your six by six that I've shown you before. 12 pounds and, well, 12 pounds on the nose. 747635 is your item number. And then last but no means least, uh, we're moving on to your 8 by 8 that we've got there now as well. If I hold that to your A4, you can roughly see what you can get in there. Uh, your 8 by 8 you're getting 200 pieces in total this time for £12. It's worth stocking up on these little cello bags if I was you. If you've never had them before, you will always find a use for them. Um, just generic use around the home, as it were, to pop all the little bits in, to pop bills in, to pop papers in, if you wanted to as well. Uh, remember, you've got 8 o'clock until 8 o'clock before your happy hour prices go up which is about 27 minutes before all these prices will go back up to their original price. For your cellar bags, it'd be £24. Uh, get them while you can. Start checking out your baskets as well. Uh, we've got more details as well on the website. We've got our seven-day savers. They launched on Sunday at 8 a.m. Um, some sellouts already on there. Uh, the LeBlanc shrink wraps have already gone. They've already sold out. 
You've got beautiful scissors on there as well with pinking shears. You've got decoupage papers on there. You've got 300 GSM watercolour card on there as well with backing boards. Those plastic sewing boxes, I think, are absolutely amazing. There's two options. You've got navy, which is more of your normal blue, and then you've got your pink as well. You get a tape in there. Um, so I want to put your bobbin reels. You also get a pin look, uh, a pin holder in there. There's two little bit sections on the top and then a large trunk underneath. Once again, if you're not a sewer, you're thinking, well, I don't need that, I don't sew. It's good to have in the boot of the car, you know, with the odds and ends in, that you're always keeping your car that you can't really get out and you've got that bag for life that's rolling around your boot. We've all got one. Uh, it'd be good to put it in there because you can clip them all down. MDF on there as well. So start thinking about these MDF flowers that we've got with some of the papers that we've got on the show as well. You've got the floral decoupage kits on there as well. For 12 sheets in four designs via our very own La Blanche that we've got. Uh, your rose paper collection, you've got books on there. Paper trimmers. Obviously, if you're going for your paper bundles and you've not got a decent trimmer and you're always using scissors, uh, a paper trimmer is going to get you a straighter edge. You're getting two there, oakwood sets of two, £14.99. If you're thinking, well, actually, I don't really need to, um, give one to a friend. Gift one. Give one out. Give one. Just make a little hamper. This is the sort of show where you can make a hamper. Now, I, I didn't say at the top of the show, because nine times out of ten, it make, I, I make no sense. But treat these sorts of shows, as I say before, as giftables. And if you're thinking, well, I can't gift paper, I can't give paper to someone, if they're a crafter, they need paper and card. It's a staple of what they do. And I'm sure they would be over the moon if you bought them the reams of card and paper that we've got on the show and went, I got you this, just as a little gift, just as a little thank you. Split it up. Create little kits out of them. It's your paper. You can do whatever you want with it. And remember... If you're a Freedom member, you get no postage and packing. It's all in with the price that's on the screen. You're thinking, what is this Freedom I hear you say? Well, our little Janice is here to tell you all. Hello, everyone. I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hochanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hochanda Freedom, you could be saving on your deliveries every single month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you'll benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And do you know the best bit? You can cancel at any time. Becoming a member of Hochanda Freedom, you'll also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom members discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hochanda price. Freedom members will also receive our exclusive members badge and Freedom newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings on behind the scenes. Look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 12,000 of you are already members, and we thank you so much for being part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hochanda Freedom. I'm a Freedom member, which means I can shop a lot. It's the discounts and all the special offers you get. I get special offers, I get special discounts. They tell me when everything's happening. So if there's a special show I want to watch, then it's there. I'm able to just shop when I'd like. It's just good to have. Yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 888888. So don't forget you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and members newsletter what are you waiting for join hochanda freedom today and become a member of the growing hochanda family yes indeed did you know that was janice's very first video she ever made when she started here it was that was her very first video do you know what my first video was with me and you charlotte in the crafty kitchen charlotte if you're wondering who charlotte is who's currently talking in my ear she's it Look at the Crafty Kitchen, when that pops up, which no doubt it will at the break. She's on it really quick, she's got... In her apron. She stands uh, this side of me. And then Claire, the boss, stands this side of me as well. Uh, so, <laughs> give me a little chef's that. Uh, anyway, uh, that was Crafty Kitchen. It's uh, here every Saturday, I think. 
in the summer. It'll be back. But what we've got, I don't, I, don't, I don't think it's on every Saturday anymore. Uh, so what we've got now is we're talking car this hour. If you have just joined us, where have you been? You've got 21 minutes and 20 seconds uh, to get the deals before the deals go back up. It is a happy hour deal. It's 7 a.m. in the morning. It's very rare we do. A, a very rare we do a happy hour deal. And it's very busy this morning as well. I know. Uh, we're keeping you company throughout the day. Join myself and Alex all morning. You've got Janice and our Catherine taking you through the early evening as well. What more could you ask for on a Tuesday? Sir Lockwood is in. Our, pal, our P, Lady P, I think they call her. Our P. Uh, she's got a new one day special. Uh, Emma Blake's on Skype. Uh, Wendy, our Wendy. Oh, is Emma, is Emma, is Emma in the studio? Well, she's not now, obviously, but, uh, but she's, oh, we'll be on, some, some, some will be on Skype. Emma Jewell will be there. Who else we got in today? Wendy. We've got Katrina in as well. Oh, embroidery later on. We've got, we've got Judith as well. Stay tuned for that. Uh, we've got Judith in this afternoon, uh, this morning, with myself and nine for oh, willow weaving. It's weaving. Basket weaving, we can do bird houses. Uh, there is pencil cases on there, like a pencil pot on there. There's a, bre uh, a bread basket that you can do, whether you're a beginner, intermediate, anyone can do them, children can do them. It will take you back to when everyone used to weave them as well. Should we have a little, che have a little cheeky look? Let's have a look. So if you go to the website, this is what you'll find on the website. You can pick through the days. Uh, these are the kits that you've got on there as well. So you've got the little birdhouse kit on there. Uh, we've got uh, the basket kit that's on there as well. We've got the pencil holder, the mini basket. Uh, we've got the cube basket that's on there. You'll have to tune in and watch. The guests the guest will be here. This is what our day looks like. Cardio, later on with myself at one. A Rowan Dean. I can't look at a piece of organza without thinking of our Katrina these days. It's true. Every time I see you, I'm like Rowan Dean. Uh, Crafts 2, one day special with Mr Lockwood. He's in the house. JMC Designs are on later. And then our brand new one day special tonight with our Paola who's launching this evening. Uh, one not to be missed. So that's our day. What have we got this hour, though, I hear you cry? Uh, we've got card. Card stock and paper. I know. You've got, I've built, the, I've built up the day, and then we come out, and what have you got today, Adam? Card. So, I don't know, I've got basketball, but it's good card. But it's not just any old card. This is Jelly Bean Crafts card. This is, this is, well, yeah, the paper collection, A4 pearlescent paper collection, it's all card. 300, we're going from 230 to 350 GSM is what we're talking about here. That's not your paper, that's your construction card we're talking now. For £12.99, you're saving £13 on this. Uh, the price will go back up to £25.99 uh, in a few minutes' time. Or more than a few minutes' time, to be fair. Uh, 18 minutes time is what we're looking at. Well, let's go through the colours, though, shall we? So we've got, the first of all, this is your gold. Um, I love this, though. Oh, look at that. Uh, it would be beautiful if you wrapped it the other way. So you go this way. And only, obviously, you only need a bit of it. Um, and then you use it for candles and things. But you know, you know what I was talking yesterday about lanterns? Um, if you look at the lantern that we've got here, you imagine doing things like this with the card, because it all matches. You could create your own lanterns, okay? So you imagine doing this, but with the card stock that we've got in front of me at the moment. Well, you know the, you know the battery-operated light that you can buy with... Um, uh, there's a lot of lights that are on there. You can sort of put me wine bottles that have got a cork on the end if you wanted to. Um, you could use those ones, which would look absolutely beautiful in there as well. And uh, we've got the gold in there. We've got, what was that? I'm going to have to point that out now. What was this? Our uh, Heather on Facebook. We are on Facebook. Good morning, Facebookers. It, oh, it must have been at the cello bags because we were slightly behind. Well, size does matter, Heather Love. Size does matter. It doesn't. Well, it doesn't really matter. It's what you do with it, isn't it? You can have a little cello bag, 
and you can still make it work. But if you go for your big cello bags, you can do more with it. <laughs> Just saying. Gold card is what we're talking about now. You've not got gold in there, just gold though. You've got ice gold in there, you've got uh, ice silver in there, you've got silver mist, you've got gold, you've got silver, and you've also got champagne in there as well. Absolutely stunning. A uh, variety of GSMs, 232 and 350 GSM, 60 sheets in total. Right then, we're moving down. Holographic is what we're talking this time now. Uh, this is a good bit of holographic. You're talking 50 sheets in total. The, var the rarity, the, it varies between 250 and 320 GSM. Right then, let's go through it and we'll see if we can work out what is what. So this is your bubbles in 3D that you're looking at at the moment. Absolutely, look at that. Stunning little thing. You've got really shining there. This is... 300, let's see if we can find that close. Wave, Chloe, wave, give me a wave. There's our very own Celine Dion. <laughs> Just there. Uh, so, that is your 3D bubbles that we were looking at. Up next, this is your cracked ice. Uh, 320 GSM this time as well. Uh, yeah, it's not really, but it is all silver. Uh, what you're seeing there that's blue is the reflection of the TV screens that I look at. Uh, so that's what that is, uh, to help me just read numbers in theory, uh, which I've not done through the entire hour. So well done for buying this without me reading numbers. See, you don't really need me here, do you, in fairness? We could just show you a picture of the card, the number, and I could just point. We're moving on. Uh, this is your... Uh, what's this one? This one would be holographic spot, is what we're looking at now. Your holographic spot. Oh, look at the rainbow that you can get achieved on there. Oh, look at that. Oh, absolutely beautiful. Uh, then up next, now this is your holographic cracked ice at 250 GSM. Um, that, was, that was a beautiful shot, wasn't it? Look at that. But look at the colours that you're getting that's in there as well. Uh, last but no means least, you've got your silver mirror at 300 GSM as well. Absolutely beautiful. £11.99. You're getting... All of these colourways, all in the silvers, all match beautifully what you're getting as well. And you're getting 50 sheets of them. So you're getting 10 sheets of each for £11.99. 246238 is your item number for your card. Thought I better read a number. Right then. Uh, pink polka dots is what we're talking about at the moment. We've got polka dots in here. We've also got uh, pearlescence in here as well. And you've also got your fuchsia pink as well that's also in here. Uh, let's go through the cards in more detail so you can see what we're actually getting. So you first of all, you've got the beautiful... Let me move those. Uh, first of all, you've got these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pearlescent cardstock this time. Um, a b beautiful colourway that you've already got. See, if I do this, I can't see my labels on the back. Uh, this is your mid pink at 300 GSM. It's single sided as well. So it's not got anything on the back. So it's just a one sided sheet. So that's your first one. Then we've got polka dots as well. So you've got your pink little polka dots in here. This is your paper, okay? This is 100 GSM is what we're talking now. So this might be a little insert. This might be a backing paper that you wanted to use. Once again, single-sided again on that. Uh, up next, this is... Oh, I love the, the colours of the pink that we've chosen because it really does work beautifully. Uh, this one would be your double-sided, okay... So it's your double-sided pink card that you've got in here. So this is your pink, mid-pink card I'm going for. 235 GSM is what we're looking at. Absolutely beautiful. 
Up next, oh, I wonder if it's pink to the core. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, it's pink <laughs> all the way through. Tickle John Lockwood. Uh, it's pink all the way through to the centre. Now, this is good to note because uh, our Johnny's in the studio. He's primed and ready for our next hour. Um, but now, the reason we tear it for the sheet fact, when you die cut out, you don't want that white edge around your card, okay? You don't want the white edge that's there. So if it's pink through and through, you know when you die cut it out, it's going to be all the same colour. Also, that feathered edge as well, if you've got some of your inks that are on there, you can use that feather edge to your advantage. Now, it depends on how you rip it. It depends on which feather edge you get. But the feather edge that's on there, you could ink, start inking this up, and you know what ink you put on the top is going to be more or less the same because it runs straight through to the core. Right then, um, last but no means least. Uh, oh, no, it's not. This is 235 GSM. This is single-sided once again. Uh, very vivid colour. Pop a colour on this. I can see bunting done out of this as well. Uh, and then last but no means least, this is your pearlescent that we're talking about now. Uh, 300 GSM. You're getting all of this that I've just shown you. Everything that you see here, um, oh, I think it's just beautiful. I think it works really, really well. You know, for those classy cards that you want to make, maybe for a best friend, uh, maybe for your mom, for your nan, those sorts of cards would work wonderfully. These are sort of, mo yeah, Mother's Day cards um, would work wonderful with these as well. But you could be ready for next year. You could be primed for next year with your Mother's Day card. You could have a collection. But this is the thing. Once you've got the card stock, you can make to sell. You're, you're easily going to make back £10.80 on the cards that you are making from this, from this pack. And you're getting 70 sheets. Just saying. With the card stock you've already got at home as well, to make your card blanks, you use these for your fronts, your mats, your layers, you're going to make that £10.80 back. Your numbers have just disappeared from the screen. Uh, your Christmas options that we're talking about now as well. We're doing well this morning. By one o'clock, as a team, we will be on it. So, <laughs> be like this at one. Uh, but uh, Christmas is what we're talking next at one o'clock. One o'clock. What am I talking about? Christmas red is what I'm talking about. 250 to 270 GSM. 80 sheets in total. Um, I'm loving them. I love this colour. As we said before, very, very Minnie Mouse-esque with the large polka dot that you've got in there as well. You've also got the smaller polka dot, uh, if you wanted it to as well. Very country-fied, country cottage, that sort of look. Very high street as well. There is a certain shop that it does remind me of. You've got your barcode that's on there. So this is your barcode. Then you've got your, it is quite picnic blanket S. So if you've got, um, if you've got John's dies from last time, like your country kitchen die, the pop-out die, this would work, what, see, I do watch, uh, this would work wonders. Because you've got jam lids, you've got tea towels in here as well, if you wanted to. You've got the polka dots at the back. It's only took us 52 minutes, but we're there now, we're on fire. Uh, then, you've got the vivid red at the back as well. So you've got that stunning red, your plain red card for Valentine's Day, uh, the loved ones in your life and you want to cut those hearts out and you don't know what to do them out of. You've got that red card there already. Uh, 11 pounds and 50 pence, 729, 695 is your item number. Right then, we're moving on to green. The creative juices are flowing, the coffee is now kicking in and we have Three minutes left on the show. You've got seven minutes left to get the deal before the prices all go back up. Right then, the green. Exactly the same as the red. Uh, the green would work wonders for the one-day special that we've got on uh, later as well. If you've not seen the one-day special, yes, it will make perfect sense. The multi-layer die. Chloe, can you pass me that green one top left? Or just sort of, sort of leave it on the end of a counter and I'll collect it. The, that, yeah, that would make they're beautiful. Uh, just to show you how it all works. Uh, there we go. Thank you, Chloe. Uh, there 
So, if you look at the die that we've got here, this is from the one day special today, but look how it all works. So you've got all the colours that are in the background. Obviously you'll need the dye for this, but you've got those beautiful colours in there. You can make your flowers out of this as well. But then if we look at the papers, look how all this would tie together. Your large polka dots, your small polka dots, your little bit of check that's in there, the barcode, and then you've got that plain green, maybe, that you use for around the edge. That little border, you see? Oh, we've got one minute left. I thought you were being a, you look like one of the Supremes then, Chloe. Stop. Oh, fine form today. She was singing this morning. She's now dance, dancing like a Supreme. Loving this. She'll do stand and deliver in a minute when we get to 30 seconds. What? She'll do Adam Ant. Right then. Uh, we're moving. She'll be doing it in five seconds. Ready? Let's watch Chloe do the Adam Ant impression. This is our, but there we go, Prince Charming, <laughs> Prince Charming. That, ju that just tells me that we've got 30 seconds left. Uh, we have only got 30 seconds left, so I don't know where I'm going to. Uh, we've now got 20 seconds. She's doing bird impressions, um, telling me to wind it up. Right then, cardstock is what we've got. Uh, start checking out your baskets. We haven't got long left before the prices will rock it. Thank you for staying with me for this manic hour. I will be better in the next hour at 9 o'clock. I'll see you then. Yes, indeed. The next three hours look a little bit like this. Our John Lockwood is up next with Craft 2 and the One Day Special. Then join me with a brand new guest, the Wonder Weaver. Oh! Welcome to Club G45 from Graphic 45, the monthly tutorial kit that allows you to create some of the most beautiful projects by accessing a step-by-step -step video viewable online. This month's tutorial is the Club G45 Ocean Blue Collector's Box and Mini Album and Matchbook Box Kit. You will get almost everything you need to create both of these projects from scratch, including access to this month's step-by-step -step video tutorial and accompanying project sheet. Simply order yours by purchasing item number 467894 for £49.99, plus your postage from hochanda.com, or give us a call on 01733 60 2000 for instant access to this month's Club G45 from Graphic 45. Hi, I'm Andy from Picture This. I've been a painter all my life. Picture This was actually formed on the back of a throwaway remark from one of my art students. This has developed my drawings into a series of photopolymer stamps, clear stamps for the crafting community and the crafting industry. The stamps are all hand-drawn by me. They're made in the UK, most important to us at Picture This, and we have so much more to bring. Our shows on Achanda, um, we hope to make them informative, amusing obviously, entertaining, but mainly it's about bringing the creative spirit to you. Make sure you tune in and watch the picture this shows on Achanda. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door. I'm lucky enough to have been a guest on Hachanda since day one. The John Next Door brand is designed to bring high quality, innovative products to the crafting market. The range includes stamps, dyes and new products such as the media plates. I'm also looking to expand the brand and bring you lots of new techniques, new ideas and new products into the next few years. So don't forget to tune in and watch the John Next Door shows on Hachanda. Hello everyone, I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hochanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hochanda Freedom you could be saving on your deliveries every single month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you'll benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And do you know the best bit? You can cancel at any time. 
Becoming a member of Hochanda Freedom, you'll also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom Members discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hochanda price. Freedom members will also receive our exclusive members badge and Freedom newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings on behind the scenes. Look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 12,000 of you are already members, and we thank you so much for being part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hochanda Freedom. I'm a Freedom member, which means I can shop a lot. It's the discounts and all the special offers you get. I get special offers, I get special discounts. They tell me when everything's happening. So if there's a special show I want to watch, then it's there. I'm able to just shop when I'd like. It's just good to have. Yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888. So don't forget you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and members newsletter what are you waiting for join hochanda freedom today and become a member of the growing hochanda family hello good morning on this tuesday morning and now if john's in the building i've got to say it we're having fun and frolics <laughs> I've got to do my jazz hands. He'll get sick of this. <laughs> no, I love you. jazz hands. It's the only time I get to do it. <laughs> so when it. you're here, I get to go jazz hands, and then Sam, when I get home, shouts means, what were you doing this time? <laughs> well, you know, if we're in the beers, we're in the beers. Um, now, so, John, do you want to talk to us about our wonderful multi-layer dyes? These are stunning. They're the Harlequin collection, latest in the collection. You've hand-drawn them, and I love them. I, I Thank you. I mean, I absolutely adore these I saw a couple of years ago yeah and um, I think one of the design team had made a, a card where she'd sort of got a diamond pattern and she'd put like a, a pearl in the middle yeah and I thought what a brilliant idea for a sort of multi-layer dye I've always been a massive fan of Harlequins fact, when I was younger yeah. I would always go to fancy dress parties as a jester oh, there you, go. Which kind of, you know with the hat and everything <laughs> and I, I just love the pattern but to me when putting this together, it was the flexibility, mm. the fact that I can sort of the card you can see there on the right is just using one layer yep. with the colours at the background. The one in the middle is using all three layers. Lovely. And the idea with these multi-layer dies, and the reason we call them a multi-layer is there's three dies, but three dies give you four layers because right. you've got your backing layer as well. So the, the way you can mix and match these is just amazing. Yeah. Look at this, so as you said, and when you look at the samples, because we've got your angels again. We have, they've done some amazing jobs. I mean, I call them my angels because they are friends I've sort of collected over the years who make samples and they save me by doing them. But by sending them out to so many of, with different styles, it yeah. shows how you can achieve completely different looks with the same dyes. And to me, if I'm going to bang sort of 35, 40 pounds out on a set of dyes, I want to know that they're going to sit on my desk Definitely. and that I'm going to be able to use them time after time after time. Nobody wants a one-trick pony and, you know, the angels, when the samples come back, they sort of say to me, you know, oh, look what you can achieve, classic and elegant like that. Yeah. You can get something bright and pretty like that one. And I know who flowers. did this one. And you can get something really <laughs> bright and mixed media like Emma Blake's done yeah. there. And I love the way that she mixes in her range with this to show... Mm. Don't think outside of the box, just because I'm very much a classic and elegant sort of card maker yeah. um, and I design products for that, I don't. I try and design products that will work for everybody. See, so you can go to even the dra drama like that by embossing the die. Absolutely. Um, and now, as always, I'll show you tons more samples throughout the show. Um, but what you've been going for... Always a, always a moment. What you've been going for, of course, is the complete collection. Now, on the one-day special itself, which are the wonderful three dies, you've got a £7 saving. It's £34.97, uh, 824944. But if you go for the complete collection, which then adds in our beautiful Calypso flower stamp and die set. <clears throat> and what you've done for us again, John, 
which I love, uh, a brilliant invention, is that you do the dye so that it cuts out multiple times. That's what I love. Yeah, that was the idea. I mean, the idea of the dye is I've always found stamping... Stamping a stamp and then laying a, dye, uh, uh, laying a dye over it to cut it is a nightmare. Yeah. So I came up with the idea of the clip corners on the dye and the same on the stamp. Mm -hmm. So that you just stamp, line up the corners and cut. But I thought, it's getting re I was really struggling with cutting multi-layer flowers. Yeah. So with this dye, you've got two stamps. So if you look at the board that you've got there, Alex, the Indeed. first row yeah. is showing you what the dye cuts out on its own just of cream card. That one, yeah. The next one is using the first stamp in the set and cut out, again mm -hmm. on cream card. So there you've got two tones. You've got cream going to yellow. Yes. The third layer shows you what happens if you just use the second layer of the stamp. Okay. So that shows you how that's bigger. But the third, fourth layer shows you what happens when you stamp both of them together. Nice. So you can see there, the actual colour that's on that third, fourth layer stamp, yep. that orangey colour, is actually made up of the red and yellow together with the yellow underneath, so Indeed. I haven't changed colour. It's really cool. And it, the idea is that you can very, very quickly, just with two stamps and one die, yep. get a multi-layered sort of calypso flower stamped and die cut in about three minutes. Excellent stuff. So it saves you time, and that's what we like, because it's all about our creative juices. We don't want all the faff, do we, with the prep? Uh, so the complete collection, you also get a further £5 saving, which is excellent. So it's a total of £12 off. Uh, and that is for non-Freedom members. However, if you are a Freedom member, there's an extra discount. And so in the end, you end up with £16.50 of a saving. Uh, so it's £40.46 if you are a Freedom member. Uh, right, a couple more samples. Where did I get to with my samples? Let's uh, show you. Ah, yeah, here we go. So some more, as we were saying. So this is really nice and bright. And again, you can see you've got those gorgeous um, Calypso flowers on. And then, as John said, this gets really nice and classy, really classy. And then, these are just all so beautiful, John. They're beautiful. They are. The girls have done some amazing work on this. And, you know, we, we just say to them, if you can make us three or four samples. Yeah. And I can always tell when they've loved a set of dies or stamps. Because you open the box expecting three or four amazing yeah. samples. And you get 15 or 20. I mean, we have got something like 60 samples across this sort of complete collection Indeed. and I know that that means the girls have loved it because they've gone over and above board of what they would normally do so I have to say thank you to and I have to try and remember this Jodie, Jane, mm -hmm. Lindsay, Roshan, Ange, um, June, Leslie, <laughs> Emma <laughs> yeah. um, and if I've forgotten someone I'm really sorry but I try and remember everyone every show <laughs> but it They've loved it, yeah. and I can tell that literally when the boxes come in, we're like, oh, look at that, look at that. I mean, to me and Sam, it's like getting Christmas presents every day. Lovely this, lovely. Now, we are already over half the stock gone, and we, have, we always have a deep stock with John because you love what he produces, so please check out your baskets. It's also on Flexi Buy too. Uh, it's what we call a why not deal. Please, why not become a Freedom member because it's well worth it. Two payments of just £20 and 23 pence. That's so reasonable, isn't it? For these fantastic dies and, of course, the stamp and die set of the flowers, go for it. Next then, which goes perfectly, of course, with the Calypso set, we have got the exotic leaves. Ooh, I like these, John. Um, I love these. These yeah. were designed at the same time as the Calypso flower. And if you actually look into the image on the packaging, actually, if you turn the packet round... This one? Yeah. You'll actually see a big version. That's the Calypso flower used with the leaves on the packet. Amazing. Because they were designed together, but the multi-layers were a little bit later, and I wanted to do the multi-layer stamp and die flower with the multi-layer. Right. So we launched these a little bit early, but they were designed to work together they're the right size to match with the calypso flower and i just mm. love an exotic leaf i don't know what it is about them i really because think... we want a holiday john that's what it is no, <laughs> I, I think it is but also when i was at art college the very first thing i drew yeah was a cheese plant leaf really yeah and that's the very you have to take something natural in to draw and i took a big cheese plant leaf in so i know it's the very first thing i ever drew that's cool i like that we've got a couple of samples you'll see how really nice these are um, and like I said, look how well they go with those wonderful flowers. This is really good fun, isn't it? And also as well, you know, like flamingos and everything, they're all really on trend too. I think that would work with a lot of dyes that you've also got in your um, crafty collection. Again, these are all so different. They are fabulous. Is that upside down? Apologies. 
There we go. Last one then. Um, again, another fantastically reasonable price. Only $9.99 for the seven dies. We are 40% of the stock gone. Item number is 369924. And then we've got, we love these inks. These inks are super cool. How would you describe these inks, John? I think to me, um, these are the basic inks. Yeah. You've got dye and pigment, which is what you need as your two sets of basics. Right. These will cover every colour, and these are basically everything mm -hmm. you would need if you were starting out on stamping. Right. You know, you've got all these different ones where 60 colours and all of this. They only do the 20 colours in each of them in that size, and it's every colour you need to get you started. So this is, this is a no-brainer if you're just yeah. getting into stamping or colouring or inking. To me, that's why we put, put it together at such a good value, was to say to people... You know, if you're getting into it, try this first. High quality. Yeah. Really work. Excellent. And you're getting all 40 of them for $29.98. Uh, they are always busy, and I personally, I really like the size of them. I only ever work with the smaller. I like them. Uh, Twenty nine ninety eight, as I said, seven zero five six four zero. Do call us oh one seven double three six zero two thousand. It's extremely busy out there, so I would say if you want to purchase, uh, your fastest way to order is online at tachanda dot com. Uh, without further ado. <laughs> You jazz hands over. Right, yeah. so what I thought I'd do is just very first to start with is just to actually um, cut the layers. So I'm going to show you how the basic works with the Harlequin. So what I've done here is I've cut two layers already to speed it up, but I've cut a piece of card. This is just a standard piece of pearl card, and I've cut this to six inches wide. Now, the reason I've done this one at six inches, the pattern goes all the way to the edge, and that means that you can actually use your standard 10 mil foam tape all the way around the edge and it won't pop through and you won't see it on either side. So if you're wanting to make sure and foam mount them, I would cut them at six inches or certainly the top layer. So what I'm doing is I'm going to start with, and I've, I've chosen sort of four colours. So I've chosen a bright green because I thought some leaves would look lovely in that. I've chosen a mid blue, another green and a lighter blue. So I've gone almost from sort of light to dark this time. So I would always try and mix your colours if you want to make something that really pops. So I'm going to go with this one. First of all, you just literally, this is layer A. So this is layer A, which is the first one, and they're all marked on the packet. It's one of the reasons why we do them in three separate packets, so that you know which one's which. Tape it down, and I would always say tape it top and bottom. So you've got it taped top and bottom there, because they, they're quite big dies and they're very sturdy, so they can move. Mm -hmm. And all we do, I'm going to run that through. While that's running through, I'll show you the next two. So, because it's never exciting watching a dye machine running, is it really? <laughs> so, what you get then is you get the next dies. So, this is layer B. And what you've got on here is a wider border and a smaller diamond and a smaller circle. You then get layer C, which this has again. A smaller diamond, a smaller circle, but of course we've got a lot more metal. Yeah. And it seemed to me just a waste to do that plain. So what we've done is, hopefully you can see there, we've got all that diamond done in stitch detail. So you can see I've added extra diamonds in in a stitch detail. Nice. So that when you cut that die, if you can see there, you've got all of that stitch detail showing. So you've got a pretty die on its own. Yeah. Because you want to be able to use these. You don't want to think, oh, I've got to multi-layer everything. Um, and again, what we've done is we've made sure the dies are nice and thick. And the reason is there's a lot of detail in here. But what you want to be able to do, just run it through and every piece cut out. Look how well that's, I mean, brilliant. No pokey tools required. Yeah, no pokey tools. The only time I've used a pokey tool on this one is for the, the dots in the middle of the C layer because they're quite they're small. They're tiny, yeah. Yeah. But... You get that, we've got that beautiful frame. Absolutely love that, really does. And again, when I look at it, I see different things every time. You know, I see different shapes and different mm. sections. So how you color it makes a difference. So as I said, we cut this to six inches and that gives you plenty of wriggle room. You could do five and three quarters, which gets you more out of your card. But if you're concerned about make, you're getting your foam tape on right, it helps just doing it at the six. It means if you were a little bit off kilter, it just fits in. 
So I'm just going to go around all four sides really simply. Grab another roll. I forgot to bring my really long roll. Did you? Yeah, <laughs> I, I have a really, I, I use foam tape in massive rolls. Yeah. Um, and I couldn't find it in the car. It's fallen down, I think, somewhere. So I've had to, um, I've had to borrow someone from, from Uncle Daniel. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> so Daniel. all I'm going to do is take the protective sheet off. So again, you could use this as it stands on its own as one layer. But the magic happens to me when you use them all together. So mm -hmm. I'm going to take the green... I've got at the back. So I've decided on a green at the back. I'm going to take the sort of darker green, and this has been cut in layer C. So we start by putting down layer C, and I know this sounds crazy to go through it, but the number of times at home I picked up the wrong layer. Oh, really? Yeah, and had to actually go, oh, no, I've got to start that one again. So it might actually be worth marking on the back of your dies the die, an yeah. A, B, or C. But So I'm just going to line that up with the plane so I've already got there that looks really I mean cool. that's that to me looks really regal almost like wallpaper yeah yeah you know that's got a really nice look so you know we've got one look straight away I'm then going to take the next layer which is B mm -hmm. which again is slightly wider I also love your um, when you're using your cardstock you know how you've you've brought us the tones Yes, I mean, we've got the, I think they're on the show, they're on the website, the pick and mix of yeah. the, the tones of the card. Yeah. Again, in, we've put them in sets of, we've put them in, available in four so that you can easily um, get, you know, choose the four colours you want to do it with. So all you do is, again, look through, and there is only one way it fits. It doesn't fit that way. And there's a reason for that, which I'll show in another demo. It's because, so you can actually repeat it. So what we do is put that on. And then we've got another look again. Mm, nice. So then you've got, you can see that little dot in the middle is almost shining. It is. Because you're seeing all the way through. And then we take the final layer, get it the right way. And again, you just match it up. And what you'll see then is we've got all of that. So if I bring that up so you can see it, you can see there. Nice. Doesn't that look deeper? It does. I mean, it is quite deep, but it looks a lot deeper than it is. But you see, each triangle goes in, or each diamond goes in, but each circle goes in with the three colours as well. Yeah. So if you use contrasting, and there's a brilliant sample Leslie did with black and white, which just works so, so well, because you go black, white, black, white, it really looks strong. But that's our multi-layer diamond. Shall I go on and do the um, flowers? Cool. So I'm going to do the flowers to match that. Um, what I would say is, when you've cut layer one, layer A, I would save those bits. And to be honest, look, I've got bags of them <laughs> ready for a demo at 12 o'clock for paper piecing. Because this is, you know, I've always said life's too short for paper piecing. But it's actually fun with these. I like it. I know loads of people like it. Um, it's not one that's ever massively appealed to me, but I've really enjoyed it using the multi-layers. Mm. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut some flowers, stamp and cut some flowers, but do them a little bit differently than I did last night. So I've got another piece of this sort of pearl card that I've used for the top layer. So what I'm going to do is just pop that in the top corner, and we'll secure it down with my magnets. And this time I'm going to do... When I get this right, okay, I'm going to use the first layer and I'm going to use the dye-based ink and I'm going to use the emerald colour. Now, when I bring the stamps in, again, what I would suggest is that you write on the back of these A and B or 1 and 2. But there's an easy way to tell. The first layer is the one that has the smallest centres. You can see quite easily. If I take it off the black, you might be able to see a little bit better. There you go. Oh, we're not seeing that really. But you, you've got smaller centres than the other one. That's your first layer. So all you do is pop that down any way you want, either side, and pick that one up. There we go. And then I'm just going to ink that and stamp it, but make sure you ink all of it. Right. So you're inking the lines on the edge, but you're making sure you, link the, you ink the corners, because that's how we line up the die. So I'm just going to stamp that. And you see there, hopefully, there we go. 
yeah? So, because I'm using a pearl card, and because I'm using the press to impress, my stamp hasn't moved, my card hasn't moved, so if I want to intensify the colour, I can just put that stamp down, <laughs> and then I'll get it darker, mm -hmm. yeah? Yeah. So, really simple, that's my first layer. I'm then going to take my next layer, and all you have to do with this, again, is line up the corners, but you can see through. So you can see through the stamp, okay? So we're just going to, again, pick that up, and again, the stamp press, the press to impress, makes this so much easier. Indeedy, if... and um, it's on screen for you at uh, £30.98. and pence. Item number is 226881 uh, lovely stuff there it is and it does also come with a case which is excellent i always find that really really useful uh, seven pounds saving on this and honestly it makes stamping a dream there you go uh, back to you john okay so what i'm going to do now is i could go on with a darker color but what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to go on with some embossing ink so i'm going to go on with some embossing ink just this is the eye ink one um over the top of this next stamp and again stamp it on and this will allow me to show a real difference so again if I try and move that can you see yeah we've got the two colors showing and then I'm simply going to take a little bit of a clear embossing powder over the top take that off so that makes it a lot more obvious mm -hmm. So I've got that really nice yeah, now look, that's cool. but it's only, it will show the tones through it. So we'll just give that a heat set. Heat your gun up first, John. I tell everybody to do this. I've seen <laughs> more, since I started saying heat your heat gun up first, I've seen more and more demonstrators doing it. And then you forget yourself, <laughs> don't you? All good. So just going to do it with a clear. Way. This is actually the high shine clear from yeah. um, Isink from Aladai. But it really makes oh, the pop. Cool. It's a way you can get the sort of tones really easily. And all we do to cut these out, so can you imagine trying to scissor cut these? No thanks. Or trying to <laughs> lay an individual die on, is just match up corner to corner, <laughs> tape it down securely and we run that through the die cutting machine so I'll run that through not the most exciting thing to watch again <laughs> so I'll run those through yeah. do you want to um, sort of run down the run down the recap or whatever it I is I will I'll do I'll do, re, I'll run do down the numbers. Re, you see I'm, I don't know any of these television terms <laughs> no I just say I'm doing the numbers um, right so uh, released uh, the latest release, shall we say, it's the Harlequin multi-layer dies. They are so versatile and so pretty and so elegant. And again, you can have them for any occasion. I mean, you can see how different all of these lovely samples are. So you've got your three dies, but you can do so much with them. Um, so that is your one-day special with the £7 saving. However, what most of you are going for is the complete collection, which is the one-day special. Remember that £7 saving that carries over. And then you've also got the lovely Calypso stamp and die set, which are wonderful. Now, over 60% now of the stock has gone. So that, what's that? That's like 10% that's gone in 20-odd minutes or something like that. Um, so then you get that further £5 saving. But if you're a Freedom member, you get even more of a discount. We've got taken another percentage off for you. So in the end, you are saving, as a Freedom member, £16.50, plus it is on Flexi Buy for you, uh, which is amazing. That Flexi is just over £20 and just a little bit of change. That, of course, is less than your one-day special price. Um, obviously, you have to pay the second instalment, but what's nice is that with us here at Hachanda is we send out the lovely dies and stamps for you on the first instalment. You don't have to wait until you've paid that second instalment. So as I like to say, you can play before you pay. That's right. That, that one, that one. Have I shown you? I don't think I've shown you some of these. So let's have a little look. Again, you can see, as John was saying, his angels, they've all got different styles. But that's what's brilliant about these dies is that you can put your own mark on them and any occasion i mean look we're going from monochrome through to check this out 
kind of gets a little bit mixed media and then ooh, there we go even further mixed media that's got to be Emma <laughs> I can tell her style yeah and then we can go really really classy one second let's bring this in really classy with this beautiful one uh, you don't have to use them all look you can just use one at one if I tilt that there you can see it one die amazing then we there you go. then we've got this one absolutely stunning so the angels have done an amazing job and you will too because you'll find these so useful and so pretty to work with over 60 percent of the stock now so it's absolutely flying out the door uh, right then two payments as i said of just 20 pounds and 23 pence now we've also got uh, the leaves i would thoroughly recommend going for them of course, yes, because if you've got your flexi bites, that open your flexi order. Indeed. So for a fiver today, pretty much, if you're going for flexi order, there you go, you can get the leaves. I thoroughly would. We are over 40% of the stock gone here. Um, 369924. Now, next up then, we've got our um, finishing inks. Oh, sorry, no, this one's first. Apologies. I'm getting ahead of myself. Getting ahead of myself. Right, £29.98, and, and you're getting... 40, 40 fantastic inks. Um, they're your dye and pigment. Uh, they're 2.5 centimetres, of course, per pad. 705640. Uh, now, we've also got the finishing sprays on. Um, uh, uh, John, why would you recommend these lovelies? Well, I know what you're going to say. I, I mean, they're beautiful, aren't they? I just absolutely love them. They're, that is just literally, that's Holly, the director, yesterday. Oh, did she? Spraying onto card. Oh, it was Molly, sorry. <laughs> Molly I got it Holly. wrong. <laughs> Molly and Holly. Yes. Um, just spraying onto card. You can, these are quick drying. Yes. So they don't warp your card. They, so they dry extremely quickly. They are non-clog. So although they've got, a, they've got one of the highest mica contents of any spray I've ever used. You can see it. But what you do is, if you pick one up, you shake it. Any, way you, any which way you want. So you've seen all these ones where they tell you where you've got to swirl. No, shake it. Yeah, literally like a cocktail shaker. Um, the, I think you've got this, and they're the only company I know that have done this. They've worked on the development of the actual sprayers so that they are non-clog. And I have got to the bottom. My copper at home has less than an inch left in it. Right. And that has never happened with sprays before, but you just get a beautiful finish onto things. Mm. They're fantastic sprayed onto the exotic leaves, you know, to give it Ooh. a sort of like a coppery, goldy finish. Yeah. But the, the Nacra one, one, the Mother of Pearl one, gives a like a pearl finish to anything. So it gives like a frosted pearl finish. They're, they're just absolutely beautiful. Nice. They really are stunning. And for all three of these, and these are going to go a long way, that is $14.99. Um, such good value four three eight eight five eight is the item number right um now we've got the previous multi-layer collection so if you missed out last time we have got the circles and the squares they are again so so versatile oh i've got to do this i've love this sample i love this sample hang on hang on hang on are we ready are we ready i think yeah it broke oh well it's been stored oh yeah i will do a repair job june oh, okay um, but I've not been able to because it's on your counter, of so I've course. not been able to come and touch it and sort it. All right, but you can so lift it, but you can lift it, three will work. Shall I? Yeah. Look! Ta da! <laughs> That's so cool! Amazing. Oh, I'm so sorry, sorry, I didn't realise it had. It's, it's the transport, isn't it? But it's an amazing um, uh, sample that's been done. I love it. So you've got your circles and your squares that won previously. So, like I said, if you missed it, it was last week, was it, or the week before? I think it was the week before. I can't yeah, remember. Yeah. It, the time seems to be running away at the moment. It's like this day, that day, tomorrow, and another day. It, I know. I don't know what day's what. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're all like that yeah. in this situation, aren't we? But again, you can see how versatile they are. And you can obviously ink through them as well. You, you can. They, they work really well with the sprays because they're fast drying. Yeah. So you can actually stencil with them. I mean, that one I absolutely love, it's where nice. she's added glitter into some of the circles. So but beautiful. all that work's done for you because the circles are actually there. Yeah. I mean, the, the next one you've got is one of Julie's, and I think that's so clever. Mm. She's popped a little star flower in each of them. It's but again, beautiful. you're getting a completely different look depending on which one you I mean, want look at to that. use. And that's completely different. Yeah. Completely and that's different. using the centres. Yeah. Amazing. I'll do one more here because this is again really classy, isn't it? 
Um, now, for the complete collections, you've got all six dies here of the circles and the squares. You multi-layer, remember, and you can spread the cost, and it's on freedom. Again, really good value. Item number is 241664. And then very quickly, this is where it all started, is it? It is, yeah. We did the first set of multi-layer dies yeah. um, approximately, oh, I think nearly a year ago or Gosh, something was like it? that. It was yeah. so long ago. And this was the best-selling one out of them. This was the diamonds. Yeah. And you could get sort of um, argyle prints and all sorts out of it. Mm. So what we did is we reordered a limited quantity okay. for this show. Right. Just in case people wanted the original diamond because they were chasing it for three or four months afterwards. Yeah. So we did a limited quantity run of them just for this show, just in case people really wanted the original diamond as well. Nice. Or we wanted it instead. It was to give people options, really. Um, and it meant that we, we, we could answer some, a lot of those emails going, are they coming back? Are they coming back? With yes, yeah. they're coming back. Uh, so it's basically, now or never, you heard it here, just a limited run. Um, so it's a kind of a fastest fingers first, really. I mean, again, you can see the versatility of all of these fantastic samples. Uh, £34.97, you've got a £10 saving on this collection of the diamonds, 915274. Uh, the cardstock then, because you've seen how well you can tone with this cardstock. Um, so you're choosing any four packs. They've got 10 sheets in each, so you're getting 40 in total for 11 99 Once more, you can see that John really brings us fantastic quality, but at very, very reasonable prices. And look at all those beautiful colours there for you. Go on, Charlotte. Do you want to pick some? Oh, oh, choices. She's going choices. Oh, you like the soft blue, the yellow, the pink. Are you going? How many are you going for? <laughs> four, four. All right, four. And the lilac. There, there you go. Right then, I am going to uh, hand back to John now. Over to you. That was a really good choice, actually, Charlotte. That soft pink, which I actually have behind me, is actually the first time I've ever discovered a nice pink. Mm. It is really hard to get nice pink. It's always in your face or what I call sick. <laughs> you know, I mean, it was just that off. There's yeah. something yellowy about it or something. You know, so it's really difficult. So I've just I've waited to pop these out so that you could actually see how easily they pop out. So I've got those flowers, but because I've done them in quite a, a clear gloss, I'm not actually seeing a lot of the layer colour but I am getting something a little bit different. So I'm going to shape those, but then I'm going to make some a little bit brighter. So all you do to shape them, I put them on my Crafts 2. This is my flower moulding foam. And the reason I say what it is, is because this is really dense. So it's really hard. It's oh, yeah. not like your stamping mats. It's not soft. But it allows me to just literally push in the middle. and they will just pop up. You have to be a little bit careful if you're using a thinner paper as I have here. But there I get those flowers just pop up. Yeah. So you don't have to do any complex shaping. And I've cut some of the leaves to go with them, the exotic leaves. Mm, I love those. But I think it needs a little bit more of an exotic flower to go with it. So I thought what I would actually do is, I'm going to show you now. This is something I would never normally do with a... Um, with a multi-layer multi because it's so difficult to get things right and in the right place. So I've got a piece of vellum here. So this is just standard, cheap as, cheap as you can get vellum. I've never sort of spent a lot of, um, of cash on it. I, you know, everyone knows I like to get best value, mm. so I like to save money wherever possible. So we're just going to take the first layer and pop it down. So what I want to do is take that down. I'm going to give my vellum an anti-static bag because I'm going to be using some embossing powder. And I'm going to do the first layer in this, which is Aurora. Ooh, yeah. So nice. this is Dawn from the dye-based inks. So I want a nice, bright yellow. So I'm going to have the pale centre, yeah. but then I'm going to have a really nice yellow flower. And hopefully we can see there. Yeah. Yeah. So if you want it a little bit brighter, because it's in the stamp press, you can give it another ink and another stamp. And I've used dye-based ink. So what I want to do is I want to give that a waft. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
So because I've put it onto vellum, I just want to make sure that I've got that nice and dry. Yeah, because it's not, because it's vellum or parchment, it, ink doesn't soak in. Yes, yeah. It sort of sits on the surface. So I want to make sure I've given it a nice little dry. Then I'm going to go back over with my anti-static bag and I'm going to swap the stamp in, make sure they're in the light area and I can see through. So even if I can't see the flower, which I can, I've got the lines on the side. So if I don't see the corners or the lines, it's in the right place. Yeah, I'm going to close that down. And this time I'm going to take one of the pigment inks and I'm going to take a bright Ooh, pink. Oh, nice. Yeah? Yes, yes, yes. So I'm going to give this a really nice ink. This will look exotic with, with those With a bright colours. pink. Well, it, it, we, I called it the Calypso flower because as soon as I'd sort of drawn it and coloured it up, because I drew it actually as a drawing first, yeah. I thought, oh, that looks like things you sort of see in the Bahamas and, you know, I think I, think I was watching that... Um, I would think I was watching Death in Paradise while oh, I was drawing this one. <laughs> yeah, I, I have box set runs when I'm creating, yeah. so that I think was what I was doing on this one. <laughs> so it obviously sat in my head. So I'm just going to give that a stamp. But you can see that we're going from that to the light pink. No. Because it's on vellum. However, what I can do is I've got some glittery, I think this is the orchid, embossing powder from Eyes Inc. I did not know Isink did embossing powders. Yes, they oh, do. Oh, this could beautiful. be dangerous for me. <laughs> they are super, super fine. The one I used earlier, the High Shine. Yeah. They actually call it. Um, it's the same. It's a varnish. They call it because oh. it's like the shine you get from a varnish. It. They. Their powders are beautiful. Really are. But you see now there how sparkly that is. Yes. So we're just going to heat set that. But again, normally. You wouldn't go, I certainly wouldn't be stamping multi-layer flowers uh -huh. onto vellum. Um, I wouldn't be heat embossing and then I wouldn't be trying to cut them out and line individual dies up, but it's so easy with this. So just set, there we go, the powder. And you know when this powder's done because it winks at you. Oh, that's cool. It sort of twinkles at you as it's done. Yeah. And then take the die. And again, line up the flowers, corner, corner. You can see through, so you can see that your flowers are right. Tape it down and we'll run those through. Mm -hmm. And while that's going through, we'll start putting that previous card together. So I've got the... Um, when I remember where I've put... Honestly, I've got such a limited <laughs> space... Bless you. And I've lost everything. There we go. So, here we go. So I've cut the exotic leaves, and what you'll see with the exotic leaves is they're all quite solid, but they've mm -hmm. all got deboss lines in them. Yes. So they've actually got, if I bring that die in, you can see they've got heavy deboss lines in. And that means that you can actually letter press with those. That's cool. You can emboss with them, or if you've got a foiling machine, you can foil with them. So you could foil those things in, but when they're cut, you'll see all those lines impress on. Nice. So you can see there, the lines are impressed on. Yep. So it's really easy to shape them because you just fold along that line and they immediately go very, very 3D. And what I do with the, this sort of palm one, I just pinch it mm -hmm. and it will go along that deboss line. There we go. And here my flowers are done. So get my flowers out. You see how they fall out? Yeah. So they've been done in vellum. We've got the two layers of colour. Lovely. Yeah, really simple. And rather than sort of shape these, I'm just going to take some stamens. So I'm going to take a few stamens together. These are just the Craft 2 cotton stamens we've done before. Mm -hmm. Take my glue gun. She loves turning itself off on me. <laughs> Put a little right? bit of glue on. Thank yeah, you. okay. Twist it. And then I'm just going to poke a hole through the centre and pop my stamens in to give me a real tropical flower. That looks so beautiful. So yeah. a little bit of hot glue on there. Just to shape it, we'll do another one. So a few stamens, fold it in half, a little bit of hot glue 
on the end. Leave it a couple of seconds uh -huh. so the heat goes, and then you can roll it in your fingers. If oh, you're concerned, right. use, a, use a little bit of a heat mat okay. or use some of those uh, finger protectors. So again, push a hole through, mm -hmm. pop our stamens in, and we'll just do that. Um, but again, you get such a, you know, you get a real tropical yeah. look with those. So here's the card I made earlier, and all I'm going to do is add, got a glue trail on that one, some of the leaves, and all I do is glue them in the centre. But this is what I love about this trellis, because you don't have to go for the side. Mm -hmm. You can actually go anywhere, and because I've used the same green as underneath, it brings that green forward. So we'll put a little spray on first. Oh, I t I'm, you're taking me abroad, John. Seriously. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think that I wanted it to have something that I've not got, you know, like a, a real holiday. For, yeah. And this year, I mean, this year, this might be the closest a lot of us get to a holiday. I know. Or picture, get to I an mean. exotic um, yeah. sort of flower. So I put those blue ones in. I'm then going to add in. So I'm just going to pinch these and scrunch them up. Yeah. So pinch these ones with the glitter on and scrunch them up. Cut off the excess on the back. And then simply going to glue a couple of these really bright ones in. Oh, now that really pops. To the centre. Yeah. But you see how easy that is. And I've not pre-prepped anything. So that entire thing has been made in this show as well as talking. But there we go. That is fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Love it, John. Thank you very much. I'll leave you just for a second then. No okay. worries. Oh, I'm running. She's running. Sorry. Definitely just didn't put a something branded bottle out of shop. Um, right, so um, the one day special, it is these beautiful Harlequin multi-layer dyes. And I think you'll agree, you can do so many different looks with them. They are for so many different occasions. Um, I love what the angels have done. Once more, I'll show you more samples. Now with your wonderful dyes for your one day special, you've got a seven pound saving, but that then carries over because for the complete collection, which as always you're going for, because as crafters, we want it all. Uh, these beautiful flowers that um, John's just been using, and you can see how well they layer up, how beautiful you can make them. And yes, I do feel totally transported on holiday. Um, I think we all do at the moment. Okay. Two thirds of the stock of the complete collection has gone. You've got a further five pounds saving if you're not a Freedom member, but if you are a Freedom member, in the end, you, uh, you're saving 16 pounds and 50 pence. Look at this, this one reminds me of a quilt. That's really cool because it's almost like it's been embossed. But again, you'll see, as I said, so many different looks. I mean, that is completely different. Look at this, and it can go bright. You can go really classy. You can go mixed media, uh, again back to classy, which is gorgeous. Look at that. Uh, I'm just going to reach over one sec uh, because uh, there, wait, I'm spreading out. I'm spreading out. Look at all of these fabulous samples. Oh, see, I haven't shown you these. I need to show you these. Hang on, hang on. Look at this one. That is cool, isn't it? That is a really nice sample. That's beautiful because uh, there's the waste, but it's not waste. There you are. Look. Uh, there you go, uh, uh, baby card, um, just using the wonderful flowers and a fabulous background. You can definitely tell, as John said, that the, that the um, design team have had so much fun playing with these. Look at the versatility. Woo, look at this one. Look at the versatility. That's got of, to be June. Has that's it? That's got to be June Smith, isn't really? it? Really? Um, it doesn't say, sadly. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sure that's got to be June. I love that way she's used the holographic. It's amazing, isn't it? No, I'm looking on the back. But, um, yeah, like I said, design team are amazing. If you want to go for your complete collection, £16.50 saving if you're a Freedom member. And that is not to be sniffed at. It's also on Flexibuy. Two payments of £20.23, £20 which is so reasonable isn't it and how much you're going to use these time and time again uh, 107743 then we also have our exotic leaves if you're going for if you're going for the complete collection and you're going on flexi buy uh, you can then add this in 
and get it for a fiver for your first instalment, which is really, really good value. We are now over half the stock on these gone. And let's show you, see how well they go with our Calypso flowers. They are so super stunning. Bring this one. Have I got this upside down again, Alex? And then we've got this beautiful one. This one, I really love this one. How cool is that? It's so lovely and bright, it really pops. So again, just 9.99. Item number is 369.924. And then uh, we've got just over 10, maybe 11 minutes. John, if you happy to do something? Of course else? I am. I'm uh, always excellent. happy to do something. <laughs> I'm happy to craft. I have the best. I have the best <laughs> job in the world. Yeah. Because you know I get to craft and I get to spend time every day in my craft cave at the moment just crafting away and drawing and sampling and testing. Yeah. I mean, literally, I've got samples made in I have a big run of boxes. I want to know where you store it all. I've got... Uh, well, we actually have. We yeah. had to a couple of weeks ago. We've, we've had to buy a new shed, and she's called <laughs> Sally the Sample Shed. <laughs> Uh, so anyone who wants Craft Cave Live will be well aware of Sally the Sample Shed. So it was hilarious. Sam and I were putting together one of these plastic and metal sheds. Yeah. Um, and that's actually because it got that full in the Craft Cave, which is a full, you know, two and a half metre by five metre garage. Yeah. That we actually had to get the shed. So now Sally the Sample Shed <laughs> has all plastic boxes of samples all labelled in. Amazing. Of everything we've done before because, you know, so that we, we keep hold of it. Yeah. But I've got, a, in the Craft Cave now is a run of everything up until December. Wow. Okay. So I've been playing with lots of new, new <laughs> things that I new, really new want things. to show people. So what I thought I'd show on this demo is yep. I talked about how I designed these dies to be flexible and be versatile. And to me, the biggest thing about a background die being versatile is the fact that, number one, it doesn't have an outside cutting line. Nothing winds me up more than a beautiful die mm -hmm. with an outside cutting line fixed on. Right. Because all it will ever do is give me that square of die cut. So we don't have an outside cutting line, and what that means is it was designed so that we could repeat it. Oh, okay. So it was designed so that if you wanted a rectangular panel of this, you didn't have to cut two, shunt it together and put a piece of ribbon in the middle. You could just keep a full thing. So all I've done is I've got a piece of A5 card. I've taken a piece of the Crafts 2 linen card, and I've ripped it down to basically five and three quarters, which is roughly A5. Mm -hmm. So it's a full length, so I've just put my die on, really simply and I'm just going to cut that as normal so we run the first piece through just tape down once it doesn't matter but what I've actually also done I've already extended this mm -hmm. is layer B okay so I could do layer C so if I bring in layer B that's layer B but if you look really closely you won't see anywhere you can't see a join you can't see a line if I hold that one up you can't see a join or a line anywhere no, on can't. that. Yeah? So I've got that layer. So we'll take this one out and I'll show you how we do it. So this has come out. Again, save the pieces for a, a piece. Don't do what I'm doing, which is creating <laughs> confetti. I mean, when I leave tonight, I'm going to be sweeping for about two you hours. You made me laugh the other week. You <laughs> did. Well, you came on with a broomstick. Well, the thing <laughs> is, it's part of the rules that we have yeah. here. They, I've got to say, the way that you, that Hachandra have handled the social distancing is amazing. Oh, good. I haven't been closer than three metres to anybody, yeah. let alone two. Um, but, you know, to be fair, what we do as demonstrators, we clear all our own area and clean it down before we go yeah. so that no one else has to come into the area we've been in. And so it's all ready. So, yeah, of course I grab a broom and sweep <laughs> up. Well, it's just I was expecting you to go to a song and dance or something. That's what it was. <laughs> oh, no, my musical theatre days are over. <laughs> Widow Twanky was the last one I did. <laughs> Actually, no, it wasn't. I think it was something in Sweet Char I did Sweet Charity. Did you? Yes, it was oh. the last one I did. So I did used to enjoy things like that. So you can see we've got here the pattern cut. Yeah. Yeah. All you do, so just make sure to get the die back into the place it was. Yeah. And all we do is move it down until you find the mix. Yes. Now, sometimes in. it's easier to do it on the other side. It helps if you actually use the right die. <laughs> rather I than the big you, sorry, layer, you know. No, it's all right. <laughs> so just make sure, yeah, it's in the right place, yeah? Sometimes it's easy to turn it to the other way until you find where it fits, yeah? See there, it fits. Yep, perfect. And it clicks into place. So this die isn't taped down anywhere, but look. 
it yep. won't move because it's clicked in. So you need to make sure of that. And when you're actually repeating, you do want to make sure you tape it on both ends where it joins and secure it at the bottom. Because if it starts to slide there, it's going to recut some. So we just run that through. And what I'll show you is... The idea was, of course, so we've come with this die and we've come down. Yeah? But we can go side to side. Yeah? So if you wanted a full A4 piece of trellis, mm. you can have that. Or if you've got a, f a long strip of card, yeah. you could continue this along and make yourself a lampshade, a multi-layer one. Love that idea. I kept intending to and ran out of time. <laughs> um, but if you see, I'll take this out. Can you see? Nothing has cut that's already cut. Yeah. Because it can't. And because they're precision made, and what I mean by that is, we actually make these lines very thick mm -hmm. here. So we make sure that these are really, really sturdy dies. You know you've had them before where they really wobble in the middle? Yeah. By making them sturdy, it makes them repeatable. So we made sure that the, the metal comes over the edge of the cut line further than it would do normally, so that they won't actually warp out of shape. So what I've got then is my full panel there. Yep. Yeah my full panel of the next one. So all I'm going to do is just tape these together. So when I find, oh, honestly, I wish I, I wish I was tidier. I mean, I have so much space at home and I create so much mess. So I was going to use my tape runner, but I can't actually find it. So oh, where? Holly's on it with the cameras. She starts having Holly a look. Will, Holly will find it, I'm sure. It's a greeny colour. Green it's a greeny colour. Oh, I have no idea. Where? So, no. So, OK. Fair enough. So, what I'll do is I'll use normal glue. <laughs> um, I'll put it somewhere. Silly, I made sure I put it somewhere I knew where it was so that I could use it for this demo. Not being panto-esque, but it's not behind you, is it? It's behind... No, it's <laughs> no. not, actually. And it's not in my trolley, and I normally have a spare in my trolley. That's the one thing I, I've treated myself to. I have to be careful to say that, because where I come from, we say tret ourselves. Oh. <laughs> and I keep being told that tret is not a proper word. Oh, we so, can say But I, the way I say it is I tret myself to a new trolley for lockdown. <laughs> so I was able to sort it out. So you can see there, just flat mounting that on, you can see how much detail and space I've got. Yep. I can do exactly the same. And what I would say is if you're doing this flat and you're not foam mounting them, don't spray glue and don't glue all of these. Okay. What adds the dimension is the fact that they're loose in the middle. Yeah. See, so. I love those colours as well. Look at that and that pattern. So this is actually using the lilac, uh -huh. the, I think it's using the lilac, the mouse grey, and the sort of lavender colour of the Crafts 2 linen card on the mm. pick and mix. But you can see there, we've, look, if I hold that one up, we've got a real 3D look. And it's flat, that's the thing. But it's flat, yeah. totally flat. So you could frame or trim that down. It plays, it's like a trompe l'oeil, it, it's a trick of the eye. Yeah. It plays with your eye. But again, you know, if you think about it, you could actually do, like I say, a lampshade would look amazing with the final layer being vellum. Yes. Would really, really work with it. But there's so much you can do with these because you can extend them anywhere you want to. Excellent. Thank you so much, John. Well, we've just got a few minutes left now. I can show you some more samples too, uh, because like we said, we've, we've been saying the design team have done a, an amazing deal. Um, you've got on the screen for you the complete collection because that's what you're loving. That's, I haven't shown this sample. I've got to bring this in. Hang on. Um, look at this, that's incredible. So not just for your card making, but your mixed media pieces for your home decor. And just look at that, it's absolutely stunning. So I just wanted to show that in. Have you, <laughs> John's found his tape runner. It's, it's always the way, isn't it? It's live TV. <laughs> it, it was there, it, it was, was there. literally there. It's not green, it's purple. Oh, all right. And it was there. <laughs> First thing I put my hand on after I stopped. <laughs> it's always Usual. the way. <laughs> <laughs> love it. So with your um, three dies, you can create so many different looks and, as I said, so many different occasions, those beautiful dies. And then we can go from this to something that's really cool, mixed media like this. Uh, you can go to something a bit more monochrome. 
um, something really funky but you see how you can use those different layers you don't have to use all three either you can do um, you can just have a play and I think that's the fun thing these are the sorts of dies where you'll get them home and you'll basically you'll be up into three in the morning and your other half will be going where's dinner and you'll go that's tough because I'm having a play with these dies that's what's what's going to happen here uh, beautiful again for different occasions absolutely stunning I've got to show this one again because I really like this one how cool is that it's so pretty i um, got a diorama card here I don't think I've shown so let's bring this one in isn't that pretty and we've also got this you know this could be a wedding invitation couldn't it that is absolutely stunning so take a look one more time at our fantastic dies and of course you're getting the die and stamp set as part of the complete collection they are absolutely beautiful again remember if you're going for the one day special you've got that seven pound saving however that carries over and then you get an extra five pounds if you're not a freedom member to get everything but then a further 10 percent saving on uh, the complete collection if you're a freedom member it's 40 pounds and 46 pence remember we are over two thirds of the stock gone um, and it's not even nine o'clock yet which is just mad um, uh, because it's just it's because it's you love it you love it and you've been buying it and you're gonna enjoy playing uh, you can also spread the cost if you're a freedom member as well which is uh, just over 20 pounds. I think it's 20 pounds and 23 pence. I believe 107743 Do give us a call 01733602000 or you can check out on the website at hachanda.com Thank you very much for the fun and frolics John. Thank you very much. It's been great. I've really enjoyed it. Bless you We've had we have had some really good fun uh, Do join us though at 12 o'clock for more demonstrations I think it was that bit of paper piecing that um, John might be doing a little bit later I think that's right uh, and thank you Thank you very much for keeping us company and enjoy. Uh, something a little bit different, Wonder Weaver design. Woo! And then we've got Cardio, love, love, love those stamps, followed by Rowan Dean embroidery. We've got a really nice crafty day ahead for you. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda. Did you know you can continue watching Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, for free, using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If you're not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember to have your router's password to hand, whether you're using a wired or wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the center of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type hochanda.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcast and access to previous shows. So now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. 
Hi, I'm Jenny Mays from Hobby Art. Hobby Art's a family designing and manufacturing stamps for over 28 years now. We have an extensive range of clear and rubber stamps and we're proud that they're all manufactured in Britain. Whatever your style, there's always something that will interest you with Hobby Art Stamps. Crafting is my passion and I love teaching. I love sharing my ideas with other people. This is why I enjoy being part of the Ho Chanda family, because I have the time to share my ideas, maybe open a door for somebody and give them the confidence to start stamping. So make sure you join me, Jenny Mays, on Ho Chanda. Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. We have a wonderful in-house designer called Sue who hand draws all the images which we then transfer into rubber stamps. We have very, very elaborate designs. We have everything from steampunk right through to beautiful florals and then we have scenic and we have words. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched, and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Whether it's stamping, mixed media, or art journaling, join us at Hajanda for our journey into everything creative and messy and see what you can create with our stamps. Yes, indeed. Good morning to you, one. Good morning to you all. And how the dickings are you? I know. I went all thespian. Uh, I hope you're well. well. Now, we've got a new supplier with us. Yes, you see it down here. New supplier. And look what you can create. We are talking the Wonder Weaver. Oh, I know. Weaving. We're going back millions and millions of years to lifetimes ago. Millions, I'm going to go for. Thousands. Millions. Trillions. Uh, but, you know... Weaving is one of these things that was a, was a skill. It was an art form. But now we've sort of lost that skill. There's only so many people that can do it in the world. But now we're bringing that skill back. And not only are we bringing it back, but we're bringing it back for beginners, intermediates and advanced. Whether you've never done this before or you've been doing it for years, we are going to have something for you on this show. Have, we have got so much to tell you from how you can colour it. You haven't got to leave it on its own. There's so many different samples that we're going to show, but I'm not on my own for this either. No, no, no. We have the Wonder Weaver in the studio. The opposite end, there she is. Ah, Judith, how are you? Hi, thank you. I'm fine. Good. <laughs> Very uh, nervous. <laughs> no, don't be nervous. You're in, you're in safe hands, as it were. Uh, nice. Let's get straight off then while we're here. How did you get into the wonderful world of weaving? Well, about eight years ago, I was a single mum and I really, really needed a hobby. <laughs> You know <laughs> how it is. Um, and one of my friends actually gave me um, a similar DIY kit which um, contained everything like um, about rattan weaving. And it con I, I could make like tiny little baskets from it. And I got really immediately hooked to it. So from that point on, I wanted to weave everything like benches, um, baskets, and, and really I'm just looking for all sorts of um, possibilities to weave. <laughs> um, there, is, uh, there is so many possibilities to what we've got on the show today, from baskets to birdhouses to pencil holders to pen pots to little tubs that you could just leave filled of pot puree and of scents if you wanted to as well. Right then, let's kick straight off and then we can get to, to a demonstration. Right, the first one, the details are on the screen as we speak at the moment. 526739 is your item number. Uh, it's the small tray is what you're creating. So obviously you don't get the tray. This is what you'll be making uh, once you've put all your rattan together and that's the thing it's rattan this is not willow 
that you have to leave to soak if you don't know. I've learned all this this morning. Willow, I thought you just bend it round, don't you? You see it in the garden, then willow fences, bend it round a couple of posts. No, you have to leave that to mould and malleable so you can able to weave it round. With this, you can leave this just 15 minutes and you are good to go. We'll learn all this as we go, do not worry. But look how beautiful this is. Normally, you would pay on its own $29.99 for a basket that is like this. But you've made this. You've made this with love. You could use this as a hamper if you wanted to as well. Imagine a hamper basket filled with a candle, chocolate, jams in there, a bit of gingham down the bottom, cellophane around the top. You see? How beautiful. And you know every little bit of that, maybe you make your jam, has been made with love and care. But if you're thinking, Adam, but it's rattling, it's that wood effect, I'm not a fan of that, I'd, I'd like to go for something else. You can treat it, you can paint it, you can dye it, you can oil it, you can varnish it, you could have it as a tray for outdoors if you wanted to as well. You could have a tea tray. You could also go with your decoupage in the bottom if you wanted to as well. Start bringing in your other mediums, your La Blanches of the world, these sorts of things that you could pop already on there. Um, you've got the logo wood, uh, wood in as well, so it's like burnt in, as it were. Remember, if you get stuck along the way as well, I'm going to have to edit this as well. Um, if we get stuck, say I get the tea tray home today. I know it's not a tea tray, but it's a small tray. Uh, say I get the tray home today, and I'm sitting there, I'm at my dining table, my rattan is on a soak, and I think, I don't know what to do now. <laughs> I'm nervous, I'm stuck. Where can they go? Is the places where you will hold their hand and guide us? Yes, absolutely. You can contact me anytime. You can phone me, you can write me a message through Messenger, so Facebook, um, you can find me on Instagram, you can message me there, or write me an email, which is the easiest, I think, and you can even send me photos and then I can pick up where you are stuck. So, Amazing. yeah, just contact me. Because remember, remember as well that Adjit, she designs them, she makes them, she draws them, she knows where you are. And you get full instructions as well included. Right then, that is your small tray. £29.99, 526739 is your item number. Let's shimmy on down to our little tiny bird box. Now, everything you get and everything you need is in these beautiful, reusable Hessian bags. Okay, they're reusable. You can use them time and time again. Use them for your other kits as well. Everything that you need is in there. All you will need to provide for yourself is warm water, which we can't get in the rattan bag. We tried. And a small pair of scissors. Now, I do not use nail scissors because you can get into the intimate details. With the birdcage, you need some sort of wood glue, maybe a glue gun, just to put the perch on there as well. And it comes with said bird. It comes with everything that you see here. It comes with, this is what you're creating. This is a finished sample of the actual kit it says. Now the colors will vary on the bird, obviously, because no birds are the same. But look at the detail. And once again, if you're a beginner, you can create this. You can make it. You get everything you need in the kits as well. Um, great for a beginner as well. Now, a question that I've got, Judy, as well, that I'm thinking, I'm standing here thinking, this is, this is amazing. I'm there. I'm in. I've bought, I'm in there. I've, I've bought six of the kits in my head already. I'm thinking that I'm loving this, absolutely loving it. <laughs> but it's my first time of trying this. Do I get more than I need in the kit in case I do make that little mistake? Yes, it, it can happen that um, you don't soak it like enough time or whatever. I mean, it's a natural material. Obviously, you can, um, it, anything can happen, really. It can break. Um, so there is extra spokes. There is extra weavers. Um, <coughs> the only thing there is no extra is the wooden blank, but that's not something that you would break no. easily. So, yes, uh, <laughs> you can get extras. So the long, the long and short of it is, yes, you get more than you need. You get more than you need in each kit. Right, 10% of the birdcage has now already went with the birdhouse 
actually. 10% of the birdhouse kit has now already gone. 19 pounds and 99 pence. 083931 is your item number for this as well. Remember, you get everything that you see here. So even down to the smallest of twine that's in there as well. The tops, the bottoms, and all the rattan that you do need to soak that we will go into as we go through our demonstrations. Right then, we're moving on to the small round basket this time. Um, a beautiful, beautiful basket that you can see there. Look at this. How beautiful. And you've made this. This is your handiwork. I absolutely love that. You imagine that with a little cake in, a little muffin, maybe a little muffin, little muffin tray if you wanted it to be. You could put a little put a little church candle in, you know the tall church candles? A big thick candle, obviously you wouldn't light it, it'd just be for decorative purposes, but you could use that as well. One of those uh, candles in the jar if you wanted to. Absolutely stunning. Once again, everything in the kit is there that you need, 19 pounds. And 99 pence, 998279 is your item numbers. This kit is also suitable for beginners as well. So if you are a beginner, remember you're seeing everything in the kit that you are getting here. You can be creating these at home. Okay, now obviously yours will only yours will come in the basket, and everything in here is what you see here. And then we've got the finished samples here as well, which are absolutely beautiful. This is what you can now create when you get this kit home. 19 pounds and 99 pounds. Remember, you can colour them, you can varnish them, you can use them for your outsides. Maybe a potted plant would look beautiful in there. A little eucalyptus or aloe vera. Oh, beautiful little banana plants maybe in there with the big leaves. I know they're huge, but maybe when they're growing is what I meant. Not the, not the main caboodle of a banana plant, but the little banana plants are in there as well. A uh, little eucalyptus, little aloe vera, lovely. Nineteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Nine nine eight two seven nine is your item number. Right then, pencil pot is what we're talking about next. Um, it doesn't have to be a pencil pot. Could be a brush pot. Could be a makeup brush pot if you wanted it to be. Uh, it could be a toothbrush holder. Yes, Webster. It could be actually. How nice would that be? But then, if I move that for that one. I think this is stunning. For all your, Pergam your Pergamano tools, you know your Pergamano things that you don't really know what to do? So you can pop all those in there. Now obviously pencils aren't included, uh, but you can create everything you need from the kit. It's for beginners. You also get a set of full instructions as well. So you get a full instructions in your kit with all your hints and tips that you may need there as well. Uh, this one's got brushes on the front at the moment. Uh, I'm just going to flick to the back. I'm not going to show you all of it, but it really does break it down with words and pictures and how you should go. £19.99 and pence for our beautiful part kit is what we're looking at here. Uh, 140240 is your item number. £19.99 and pence is what we're looking. Right then, we're looking at the mini basket next. Oh, these are so cute. Absolutely cute. Uh, I'm thinking Easter, straight away with little eggs that could be in there, maybe. Maybe some oasis in the bottom, and then you could put some um, false flowers in. You could make a little tiny bouquet, a little flower girl at a wedding. You could have it at your colours if you wanted, because remember, you can change the colour of the rattan if you like. But as I said, there are so many possibilities for when you're getting these home. A little tea light, once again at the bottom, battery operated tea light, just to give that little glow. Turn it into a little hamper for a little child if they wanted to as well, which is absolutely beautiful. It comes with the bag. It also comes with all the rattan you need. Even the handle, obviously, is included as well. You get extra pieces in case you go wrong as well. So in case you're thinking, oh, I didn't do that, that bit snapped, what am I going to do now? Don't worry. Do not worry. Everything you need has been thought of by our Judith and the Wonder Weaver. 19 pounds and 99 pence. If you take the basket off, you take this bit off, and you put some strings, some nylon thread, with a helium balloon on there, you could turn it into a little hot air balloon for a child's birthday. 
you weight it down, you could have these down the garden if you wanted to, for going the path, if you want to, a little child's party, little birthday, you could have little, little mints, fill it with mint imperials. As, some, as someone leaves, they could take a little mint, a little, now obviously, uh, I don't know if it's bird, I don't know if it's bird safe, I don't know if it's food safe, but you could go there, it's wood, so it could be if you wanted it to as well, you could, remember you could use these for outdoors if you want as well, £19.99 for the mini basket kit, 129432 is your item number, I'm loving that hot air balloon uh, idea, moving on down there, we've got our, oh, bread basket, Oh, the bread basket. Look at this. We're already approaching 10% of the stock here has now already gone, and this is the first time you are seeing it. If I was you, I would put your order in your basket. I'd start checking out, because when you see demo, the penny will drop. And you go, oh, yeah, it's that easy. I can do that. But how beautiful would that be in the center with your white and bread brown rolls in there as well? It's, yeah, it's one of these hobbies that you don't make and put on the shelf. It's not like that. It's not like these toy cars that you make and you leave them on the shelf and you don't really do much with. You just have to look at them and they gather dust. These you can use. These you can be every day and you know that if you leave them there, you could, you've made that. I made that. It's a talking point. Where do you get that last one? Oh, I made that. Oh, you made it? Imagine. Filling it with eggs. It could be your egg basket if you wanted it to. It doesn't have to be bread if you doesn't want to. You could leave it on the side, pop some little cloth in there, pop your eggs in there. Maybe you've got hens, maybe you've got chickens. This could be the egg that you go and get. Oh, sorry. Uh, but maybe you just plant into it. Maybe you fill it with your seed and you go around scattering your seed like, the, like, like little chickens. I, this is how I do it when I have my chicken. I, I don't have chickens, but I'm guessing. I just walk around the garden doing this. Hee, chick, 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 chick. Uh, but you could too as well. I'd love chickens, but I'm not allowed. I wanted a duck. Uh, but um, absolutely beautiful for thirty-two pounds and ninety-nine pence. We'll discuss this later on. I've got a show to do. Uh, Nine eight seven three four six is your item number. Last but no means least is our small cube basket. Now, if this doesn't lend itself to a hot air balloon, I don't know what wouldn't. Look how beautiful the basket is. It's absolutely stunning. This is the last and final one that I've got now. Now we're going to go to a live demonstration very, very shortly. £22.99, 912286 is your item number. Now if you're sitting on the fence with any of these, if you're sitting there going thinking, I'd love to know, but only if he would ask. Only if they would answer my question, email me in. StudioHChanda.com. It's a brand new supplier as well. It's uh, as how do you do it? Bless her. She's, come, she's here. She's in the studio. She will answer your questions for you if you're thinking, well, is it for me? Can I do it? Children from eight, uh, eight plus, we're talking here. So you could do this with your child if you wanted to. And it could be something you do together. How nice would that be? A little project that you and your little loved one do. Maybe it's a grandson. Maybe it's a granddaughter. Maybe it's your own children. But it's something that you would keep and something you would hand down. My nan's got loads of these around the house, and I know she didn't make them. We bought them. But imagine handing them down. Well, this is the thing. She goes out and bought them. She's like, she's like I bought that. I was like, well, yeah, but we, we, you can make them now. We could, we could do this together. She'd rather watch. Exactly. Come on, nan. We can do this. I think this is like therapy now for me. But uh, we've also got the baskets on the show. Right then, I think that's enough from me. I think it's now time. Why I go and talk to myself in the dark corner? Uh, let's go over to our Judy. What are we demoing first, my love? We will do the round basket. So you you showed that 15 centimeter round <laughs> basket. That's what we are going to do first. Yes. So we've got the wooden base, and we've got already soaked some play, some some cane here. So how long do we need to leave it to soak? It depends on the size of the cane, but I would say like 10-15 minutes. The thicker the cane is, the longer you would need to soak it. Okay. So this is actually a 3 millimeter cane, and this is what we are using for the spokes. So that's, that's what gives the framework of the basket. And um, so first of all, we take the wooden um, blank, and uh, we take all of the stakes, and 
put them into the holes here and one spoke into one hole and once we've got oh this seems to be a bit thicker than the hole itself so once we have like three um, spokes in the holes we will take the left hand side one and bend it over and then tuck in inside of the basket so it looks like this here Let me see it. and then we, t we take the next one and we continue doing the same thing so we are bending above the next oak and tuck inside and that's how we fix the frame of the basket to the wooden base so bend over and put inside here so we'll, we'll have a nice circle, circular pattern at the bottom. Next one. Once they're wet, do they yeah. stay wet for a long time or do I keep needing to dip in them back in the water to make them more malleable so I can go again? Both. Okay. <laughs> so it's, it's stay, it remains quite for a, for a long time uh, wet. Um, it also depends on how thick the cane is. The, thinner it will dry out obviously quicker and um, but this one it, which is quite thick three millimeters compared to the weavers which is um, 2.5 so this this will be wet for quite a long time but if it if, if you feel it's um it's a bit brittle or yeah you feel you will feel it that is not so flexible anymore then you just use a um, spray bottle and spray it on onto it and then it's it's ready to use again. So On the subject of water, what sort of water do we, is it cold tap water I put in there or? No, it's better to use like a mild, um, lukewarm or even warm water. Okay. That makes it um, easier to soak and yeah, that's it really. <laughs> so just a lukewarm tap water. Yeah. You shouldn't use um, hot water for example, but definitely like what is good for your hands i would say like 37 degrees 35 degrees that would make Tepid. it it wouldn't go just tepid water so normal water that you would use from the tap would yes. be perfectly fine yes. so basically don't boil the kettle is what we're saying so you can see coming nicely on the bottom oh look at that and it secures itself so we just have four more to go and then we can turn it upside down and start the sides. I feel this is a craft for everyone, isn't it? This is this is a craft for for it covers every scope, from from the little ones all the way up to men, women, teenagers. Everyone would have a like to have a little go at this because it's something you can see instantly. It's instant gratification, as it were, because you can see it being. You can see it being built. So I just got to the end of the circle here. And now I will just lift this first spoke just a tiny bit so I can tuck this last bit inside here like this and then pull it tight. So here's the finished bottom. And now we can start weaving the sides. So these are the spokes and I've got a, another coil. This is a tiny bit smaller sized cane. Okay. This is 2.5 millimeters thick um, while the, um, the spokes are 3 millimeters. I will just... Um, it may sound like a random question but I'm going to ask it because people might be thinking this at home. Obviously we've got the instructions. Is it quite self-explanatory which cane is which and what we're going to use it for? Yes, because the the, the side spokes, so they are cut, pre-cut for you. So it's cut to size, it's not in a coil. That's okay. what will give you the size. And the other one which is in a coil, it's round, obviously. And then that's what um, give you the weavers. Ah, so this is the weaver we're talking the about The weavers, now. yes. So here we've got quite long pieces of um, cane. It's actually a vine, so that's how it is so long. Um, it grows up to 300 uh, feet long, so it can give you a nice um, 
um, nice weavers actually you don't need to um, to join in too many times because it's so long so you can just work with it uh, for once a long again, time. Are they special special scissors you're using there? Are they special weavers scissors that we're now going to have to get as well? Not at all. This is just um, a nail scissor. Oh, there you go. Because um, because I like that it's small and um, and it's very easy to cut the cane. It's it's um, it it's not so thick. Um, it's it's sufficient absolutely, and everybody has has that at home. So it's I think it's nice. No, it is. Right, go on. I'm, I'm this is the bit I'm intrigued about, the weaving bit. Yeah. This is the bit, this is the bit where I think we're all, we're all, want, we're all wanting <laughs> to see. All right, so you choose any of the spokes and um, you just place one weaver behind it. So from, it, it goes into the basket, so inside, and then the next one into, uh, behind the, the adjacent hole. So, and this point, you will take the left-hand side weaver and just lead behind the next spoke and to the front back. Um, if you are left-handed, you can do it opposite ways, but um, normally, I mean, it's not normal, sorry. <laughs> so you can, you can do it um, um, anti-clockwise, and if you are left-handed, you would do it um, clockwise. Okay. So, and that's, that's what you repeat all around. You always take the left-hand side cane, and lead behind the next spoke and then to the front. Oh. And that's actually a pairing, that's what it's called. This is a basic um, basketry technique and we do it all the way around the basket this way. So left hand side behind the next spoke and to the front like this. Look how quick. This is now coming together. Please. Now I've got a bit of trouble because it, this cane is so long, it gets a bit twisted. So from time to time you just um, untwist it so you can continue working with it like this. And then you can continue. So left hand side again. And we just finished the first row here. So you can see on the sides that you finish the first row, you will weave the next one on the top of it. So you see that was the first one and oh, this holds. is going to be the second already here. Oh, I could watch, I could literally watch this all day. Uh, this is amazing, this is absolutely, how easy and how quick could you now start creating a basket? The basket that we're actually looking at is this one here. So at the moment we've, we've done the bottom, so we've done the base. And now we're on to the first row. The first row of a basket. How beautiful. How easy and how quick. And this is what you're going to create. Look at how you did work the, the weave. Quick. Remember it's rattan we're working with here. This is a high quality material. You go and, you go and search. Uh, what rattan is and how it's and how it becomes about and you do, do you try and get a table and chairs made out of rattan? You're talking a lot of money with this 19 pounds and 99 pence and already 20% of the stock has already gone here. It's a brand new supply. It's the first time we've ever showed you the wonder weave. There's so many things we've got on the show, from large baskets to the bird cave, the little birdhouse that we're talking about as well. We've got the basket that we're currently making at the moment. You've got pencils and pen pots. But what I like about them as well is you've got things like the bread basket, which is usable. It's all usable, but it all matches. Nothing's going to look odd when you start making all this collection. Because I know the minute you get this home, you're going to want to start doing more. Because it'll be, well, I quite enjoyed that. I'd like to have another little go at that. I'd like to have another little go at the weaving as well. Um, do, you, do we need to pack them down as we go? Yes, it's, it's better to do it under, um, while you are doing, and then you avoid um, big gaps on the sides. Yes, I would say yes. 
And what I'm doing now is um, I'm just adjusting a bit um, the spokes. Okay. So they are nice and straight. And then I can continue weaving. Same way all around. I'm at the fourth row now. So once again, this is a brand new supplier. We're talking weaving. We're talking weaving rattan to create what at the moment will be a basket very, very shortly. Remember, all you simply need to do is soak the rattan for up to 15 minutes and you are good to work with. If you feel the rattan becoming brittle again, you feel it's not got the, the bendability that it had when you were first using it, give it a spray. The tools of this you will have around your home already. A bottle of water, lukewarm water to soak your rattan in, and a pair of nail scissors to cut your rattan. And then you sit back, you relax, you lose yourself in the world of rattan. Because I know it's like, it's like colouring. You know you can sit there for hours upon hours and upon hours. Uh, Judy, do you find this quite therapeutic? Absolutely. That's what I needed when I started, actually. <laughs> and I completely immersed into it. And actually, from the reviews I've got and the feedbacks from my, uh, what I've got, um, many people say, say the same to me. Mostly mums find it very therapeutic. But I think it's therapeutic for anyone. It's very easy to hook, get hooked onto it. Well, no, it is, and it's and it's quite. And what I like it as well is it's because it's usable. You can yes. use everything you make. You can use like the first pack, like the first shot that we've got here now. This is your um, the tray that we're talking about. Okay, so this is the tray. You get everything that you need in the tray as well. Now, slightly, you can be doing it if you're beginning. It's slightly different. So the, the principle will start exactly the same, look. So you start with the base, weaving it in, weaving it out, weaving it in, weaving it out. Then you've got the weave where you go all the way around. And then it's just a case of, like, French plaiting. All the way around. This will be all in the instructions. If you're a beginner, you can achieve this as well, which will be absolutely beautiful. What you're also getting, not, that obviously that's a finished sample that you're actually creating. So you get your baseboard in there, you get all your rattan in there as well. So if you want your rattan, as you can see, it's not that malleable. You soak this in water for about 15 minutes, it'll become a lot more bendy so that you can then start manipulating it around the reeds themselves. Then it also comes in the hessian bag as well. It's all about presentation. It comes in the beautiful hessian bag that you've got there, uh, the actual tea tray that we're talking as well, which is beautiful, which you can reuse time and time again. 29 pounds and 99 pence, 526-739 is your item number. I think it's a stunning piece of work and I would be happy to have that in my home as well. As a little tea tray, maybe you take it outside and you use it like a little potting tray. So you put all your little potted plants on it and you're going to think, well, I've got these little seeds, I'll put all the seeds in there because you know where they're going to go. Because you can varnish them, you can protect them and use them outside. You can change the colour, you can colour the wood before you use it, the rattan, or you can dye it after. Uh, Judith was telling me earlier that she uses strong tea and coffee. And if you take your finished rattan and pop it in, because it's got texture and because it's, uh, technically it was a tree at one point in time, uh, it will seep through. It will start using the capillary action, so you'll get that ombre look. So it'll go from bright dark all the way to the lights as the tea or coffee will seep through as well. Absolutely beautiful and stunning of what we've got. £29.99, 526-739 is your item number. Now we're very, very busy on the birdhouse at the moment as well is what we are on there. Uh, you get everything that you see here as well, including the bird. Uh, which I think is amazing. It's a complete project in a bag. So if you are gifting it to someone as well, uh, you can gift it to that loved one. And then, no, you know they're going to make this beautiful rattan little birdhouse. 
That's in there as well. Uh, we've got queues on the phone and 20% of the stock here now has already gone. Remember, you can colour it. The bird comes included, but colours will vary on the bird that's there. You get full instructions as well included in your kit. So you haven't got to worry about how do I do it if I get stuck, if I get lost. If you do get stuck and lost, you're thinking, I don't know what I'm going or where I'm going. Uh, she's on... Adjud, it's on all the socials. She's on all the socials, your Facebooks, your Instas, your texts. Oh, you can even pop her a phone, give her a little call, say, I'm stuck. Can you help me? Obviously, not if you're stuck on the, the, on the M6 and you've got a breakdown. I'm the only with the Rattan projects that we're talking about here. Uh, I did it. I'm, I'm currently stuck. Oh, what part are you on? I think I'm on the A38 at Junction 4. I don't think that's going to work. But I have got my Rattan kit that I can do it here, and it's raining. But you're good to go. Okay? You could use these in any... This is sort of the stuff that you can take away with you. So if you are going down to the caravan, you haven't got to lump a load of, a load of papers, a load of cardstock. You just take your kit. You've got water down there. You take your nail scissors with you and you are good to go. Your birdcage is the only one, though, that you're going to need a dab of glue, just a dab, uh, just to attach the birdhouse himself. So just attach the perch that's on there. As you can see, that little dab of glue that we've got on there as well. 20% of the stock here is now already gone. We have got queues on the phone. The quickest and the easiest place to go, though, will be jump to the website. might be the easiest. Uh, up next, now, this is the one we saw demo. A quarter of the stock has now already gone here. Uh, this is our small round basket kit. I think, uh, we're not meant to have favourites, but I have three. Um, it's the uh, tea tray. I like this basket, and I also like the bread basket as well. I'm a bit of a fan of the bread basket. Um, we'll get to there. I, I love a basket. I do like a good basket because you can put stuff in. I'm a man, you see. I just like putting stuff in and putting stuff away. It looks tidy in the basket. It's a messing. But um, I would put in this basket. Now, I was looking around our set earlier to see what I could find. I found flowers for a few ones down. I'd put one in, you know, the candles in the jar, the larger candle in that jar. Um, I would put those inside because you've got that beautiful glow that will come from it as well. Not only could you do that, though, you could put a bit of oasis in the bottom if you wanted to. Um, that's the green stuff, not the band. Uh, you could put the oasis in the bottom and put your flowers in. Your beautiful little flowers. It's an, it is an ancient technique that has been lost. How many people do you know these days that still make these items? Not many. But you can now start getting into this wonderful, wonderful world. And once you've learnt the skill, you could scale this up. So you see, you can see, you've, you've probably seen them on them country walks that you go, it's, they're fences that you can now make. The beautiful woven fences. In theory, it's the same sort of concept that we're talking about. What we've also got as well, uh, so if you're liking the small round basket, you might want to start smaller. Everyone is for beginners as well, okay? Every single one of these is made for beginners, but you've got the pencil pot on the show. Now, this is what I was talking that you could sort of go for the ombre look if you wanted to as well. All you simply do is take your pencil pot, turn it upside down, and let whatever it is soak the way through as well, okay? Uh, but you've also got, uh, you can pop your pencils in, you can pop your paintbrushes in, it's entirely up to you what you want to pop in there, but you really can use it. It'll look beautiful on anybody's desk. £19.99. pence. You only get the one and you get everything you need inside the kits as well. 140240 is your item number. Right then, up next is your mini basket with handle up next. So, flowers aren't included, but I was just playing and having a little look. You could turn these into beautiful flower displays. You know when you go around and you see someone, you're not allowed to take flowers to hospitals anymore, anything like that. You're not allowed to... Most of my parents have got allergies to flowers and pollen, so we don't, really don't take that many flowers. But you could take the faux flowers. You could make your own flowers and pop them in and display them. Imagine if you're making cards at fates and shows. You can now start using these to dress your stool if you wanted to. It's somewhere else to keep all your stuff. And if you just want a little basket, just don't put the handle on. You could just use it as the basket if you wanted to as well. Let me take the flowers out so this is what you're actually making itself. Uh, but a little Easter egg hunt as well. Yeah, a little treasure chest. 
trickle tra trickle treating kim yes we're now here yes little trickle treating basket you could scale up with spiders and skeletons on a little bit of web on there 19 pounds and 99 pence let your imagination run wild when you get it home what are you going to use it with one two nine four three two is your item number right then one of my favourites on the show is the bread basket that we've got on here as well. Absolutely beautiful. You imagine a party and you take these, maybe a little barbecue that you're having, a little napkin in there, all the bread rolls for the sausages or the burgers that are in there as well. You're like, oh, where'd you get your basket from? Oh, I made that. No, you didn't. Oh, yes, I mean, something I did the other afternoon. It only took me 15 minutes to prepare and I was good to go. You can do this as well. But this is how quick and easy they are to create. Yes, I'm a bit flippant and yes, I exaggerate the truth. But you can because you've made this. You can use it for whatever you want to make with it. Pop it in the kitchen. Use it for your utensils. You could pop your sauces in there if you wanted to. Your little condiments, Pers uh, Percy Pepper, Susie Salt, Tommy Ketchup in there, bit of mustard. You're good to go. Pop it in the cupboard. It's always there for the table. You can't go wrong. £32.99, 987-346 is your item number. We've also got this small cube basket next as well. Now, what I like about this is, once again, my imagination. You know how I think on these things. A uh, little bit of fishing wire on there. Uh, a little balloon full of helium, maybe. And you turn it into a little hot air balloon for a little teddy bear for a newborn. How beautiful would that be? A little newborn um, basket. You could make all the little ropes that go around the outside if you wanted to as well. You could also, you know the hot air balloon, I think it was in uh, Mary Poppins. I don't know, it might not be a balloon in Mary Poppins. Bed knobs and broomsticks, one of them ones. Uh, you could turn it into that uh, as well. Chichity bang bang is what I'm thinking of. Uh, you could turn it into a hot air balloon for that as well. Or you could just use it as a basket. It's entirely up to you. £22.99, 286 is your item number. Right then, let's go back over. Uh, to our demonstration. This time we are creating. Is it the birdhouse? Yes, <gasps> it is. The birdhouse. So, well, then, where do we start? <laughs> I just started it um, and I made actually the same way. Um, I made the base and I started weaving on the sides. So okay. this is also a pairing. Yeah. Did you want to ask something? No, 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 no. no. Okay. Just... <laughs> All right. So I will just um, continue weaving on the sides same way as I did with the round basket because this is a very very easy um, sort of technique and so I'm on row number four and I will make I think one or two more so I made uh, so I make the sides of the bird house it's really easy. I mean, this um, this is the th uh, thinner cane, thinnest cane I normally use. This is a two millimeter one. Really easy for the hands, and that's what I really love about rattan. That um, it's you don't need your muscles, and even that that's why it is suitable for the children as well. Um, and it's it's it can be really a nice project with the with the parents together, like a family project. Okay. I'm on f number five now, so I'm going to stop weaving shortly. This well, is where I started from. That was, was going to be my question, but I think you may be answering it at the moment. How, when we stop, how do we stop? Like where do we just cut it off and leave it? So I, nor I normally suggest to make a mark on the first weaver, uh, first spoke that you started with. Okay. But, uh, you can see it inside the basket that this is the end of the first weaver here so this was the the initial initial spoke where you started and that's where you are supposed to end as well because then it will be nice and flat on the top so i will just use my scissors here and cut off the excess cane like this and the weaving is finished on this basket so you can see it's nice and even on the top and now we will use the other wooden blank okay. and we will just um, thread, it, thread, thread the spokes into the holes the same way as we did in the beginning, one after each other, all around the wooden base, like this. So 
The details for the birdhouse kit are currently on screen at the moment. Nineteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Uh, zero eight three nine three one is your item number. Uh, would you say did it, this would be a good place to start? Yes, absolutely. That's I think the most um, quickest and easiest um, way to start with basket weaving. It contains not so much weaving, and it's a lovely little project that you can make with 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 rattan. So here we have the house, and now I've got a small bobbin of raffia, which I'm gonna un do here we don't really need this as comes much. in the kit as well doesn't it sorry this comes in the kit as well absolutely it comes with the kit I will just um, take a shorter piece here and uh, and just tie on the top of the spokes like quite strongly like this so this will uh, make sure that your other wooden bay, wooden blank will um, will be fixed. Now I will just tie it. Like oops, oops. Yeah. So it, it can. This can happen. I will just untie a bit. <laughs> I was a bit too strong now. So let's do it again. D would you um, pop the bird in before you did this, or you no. do this first? No, I wouldn't. Just because um, you've got this little piece of rattan. This is a flat piece, and you need to glue it first onto it. So I will show you in a second. I just tie this off, and I've got already the glue gun prepared here. I just make a knot at the end of the rattan here. So I've got a loop like this. And now we can take this little piece of flat rattan and the mini birdie, which is a white one this time. And I've got here the glue gun. So I will just put a tiny little glue onto the bird place it onto the flat rattan here oh. just like that maybe I need it a bit more okay I think I need some more I guess but this is this is this is the point oh I'll get that sentence out in a minute this is the point I'm trying to make that you don't need a lot of tools for this you don't need all the glues under the sun. Obviously, for the bird hands, you do need a dab of glue to put the, uh, the bird on there. But you could also use a glue. You could use a glue dot if you wanted to. Yeah, exactly. It's very simple to use. Uh, Thirty percent of the bird house now has already gone. So thirty percent of the bird house kit has gone as well. Everything you need is in the kit as well, from the rattan bag, from the bag, sorry, from the hessian bag that you can use time and time again to the finished article. This is what you'll be creating. A beautiful, beautiful birdhouse that you've got here that you could possibly hang outside if you wanted to varnish it. You could pop this outside. You could colour it and hang it on, hang it on the tree as a little Christmas decoration, maybe, if you wanted to with a little robin that's in there. Uh, right then, let's go back over to demo to find out how to pop our bird into the cage itself. So I put the birdie on the on the stick, and now I just place it inside like this. And I put already a dot of glue here, so I will just Aww. stick to it, like this. And now comes the other side. Again, just a tiny bit of glue here. Like this. And it sits nicely on top. Look at that. A little cut on the side <laughs> of the, t on the perch and you are good to go. It was so quick and so easy. Literally, uh, you'd only just really started. I think you were on row two when we joined you for the demonstration. And now you've got a complete bird house there as well. Absolutely stunning. 
is what you're getting. 083931 is your item number. Um, once again, Im imagine if you've got little, maybe you've got little birds at home. You could put two, two birds in there, like two doves, maybe for a wedding, or two little love birds that you wanted to pop in there and give it as a gift. Would be beautiful. Remember, you haven't got to put the perch in if you don't want as well. You could turn that into like a little... A little barn. You could have a whole nativity scene in there if you wanted to as well. Uh, you turn that into a little scene and you have got a little captured moment in there. Or, just thought about it, you know the big wraparound photos that you can get, the panorama photos? If you've got one of a family member, so maybe you've got a group of family, a group of family? A family group photo. You cut it down so it's a size, you could then pop it on the inside. So what you've then got is like a photo album of everyone that's there, but you've created the beautiful cage that's there as well. Once again, everything's in the kits you need. £19.99, 30% of the stock has now already gone as well. Uh, 083931 is your item number for this as well. Absolutely beautiful. Right, and we're moving down to the baskets now as well. This is the small round basket that you saw in the first demonstration. Uh, I think we're going to go back to this for a demonstration as well shortly. Your basket though is £19.99. and pence. Nine nine eight two seven nine is your item number for these as well. Um, right then, something else that you might find that you might like. We've got scissors on our seven day savers that we've got there as well. Um, but you've got four hours, four days, sorry. Four days, 22 hours, 10 minutes and 25 seconds. Um, on this show, you can go to your seven day savers whenever you want to go. Uh, but you've also got things like the LeBlanc shrink wraps. Oh, they're new ones. Have we got new ones in? We've got new ones out. The other one sold out, so we've got brand new LeBlanc romantic shrink wraps for £12.99. Oh, what a beautiful gift that would be to get your rattan basket the one that we're going to come back on in a minute, um, and pop a little bottle in there that has been shrink-wrapped with these beautiful, beautiful imagery. How beautiful would that be? They go every time, 12 99 get your LeBlanc shrink back. They're back in stock, a different design, um, but we have got them. Scissors on the show as well. We've also got scissors, and we've also got the little pic uh, picnic boxes, pic plastic sewing boxes on there, along with uh, decoupage papers that you might want to put on your tea tray. The decoupage papers that you could put on your tea tray as well, if you wanted to, with all the roses that are on there. Uh, and we've also got some books and paper on there as well. Leather embossed paper. Uh, pencil pot is what we're looking at next. So once again, you get everything in the pencil pot. Should you struggle, should you don't know where you're going, you think, oh, I'm lost here. I'm, I, I, I've managed to get so far. I don't know what I'm doing now. And you do it's always on the end of a phone or always on the social medias as well. You can't go wrong. She will help you every step of the way. She will point you in the right direction because she designs all the items as well. Uh, Judy, is there more, more things on the horizon? Obviously, this is only your very first show and there's me looking into the future. But we're very busy on this show already. Are there new, bigger projects on the horizon coming up? Yes, absolutely. My my customers usually um, ask me to do like waste basket or um, so they come up once once they started they come up with other ideas to do. So that gives me also quite a lot of um, inspiration to make up a new one. So the next one is the waste basket that I'm going to do. We've got a waste basket on the way, a little rubbish bin coming up as well. Made out of wicker, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Oh, could you do a vase? Is it possible to do a vase Absolutely. or a vase? Absolutely. I, I love using. Um, I mean, I love I love um, uh, combining stuff together. So like um, weaving um, gl glass vases all around. Oh. I've got bottles even um, that I've made. So yeah, yeah, it's. <laughs> well, it's, we'll stay. We'll stay with you while here because I've just thought. Can you do a vase, but where would the water go? I didn't really think this plan through. Uh, but you put a glass vase on the inside. I just meant a proper vase. Uh, but then, what, what stage are you up to on your wicker basket now? Is this the top bit, the round basket? Yes, exactly. I'm doing the, the border. At, um, this is the very um, last bit to do. So I'm just taking the spokes, bending in front of two other spokes, and then tucking inside next to the third one that gives you this flowery 
pattern on the top like this. That's a very, very easy border to make, but still very attractive, I would say. Uh, so is this uh, an ease, once again, it's all written in the instruction booklet, but is it quite self-explanatory? Once you've done one little bit, it's quite easy, it's the same repeated pattern? Yes. Yes, I think it's very easy, and that's uh, that's what what uh, the feedback is that um, the instructions are very clear to follow. I usually get uh, photos of the finished items, which is lovely to get. And actually, uh, nobody ever asked me what to do because I'm stuck. So hopefully, it will not happen. <laughs> <laughs> It wouldn't, well, but you're, you're a it, very good demonstrator. I will give you that. You're very, 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 um, very good at what you're very good at what you do. Uh, thank thirty percent of the stock here, though, has now already gone as well. For that smaller basket that we're looking at, thirty percent of the stock here has now gone as well. Remember, you can treat them. Remember, you can varnish them if you wanted to as well. You've got less than fifteen minutes prep time. Just let them soak in the water as well. For those people, Judith, that may be sitting on the fence thinking, I'd love to have a go, but I, I don't know if it's for me, I don't know if I'll be able to do it. What would you say to those people? You've got 30 seconds. Just give it a go. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> you, will, you will not be disappointed. You will. There you go. I think that sums it all up. Look, look it's less than 30 seconds. You literally, you will not be disappointed, and I don't think you will. Look how easy this is to go together. A beautiful, beautiful rattan basket is what you're creating as well. £19.99, 998279 is your item number for the small round basket kit. Remember, you get everything in the kit as well that you're going to need. You also get those beautiful reusable Hessian bags as well. You get more than more than enough material should you go, have a little wobble, should you go astray and you don't know what you're doing, uh, you will do though. You get full instructions along the way. There's also um, on the social medias. Uh, Judy, thank you very, very much. Thank um, you too. Look at that. <laughs> it's just finished. That was good. I would give that. We were all very impressed <laughs> on how you finished that so quickly. Um, thank you very much. Uh, you've thank absolutely you. loved this very first of many, I'm sure, wonder weaving shows that we've got coming up on the wonderful world of Hachanda. Remember, start checking out your baskets if I was you. I don't want you to miss out on the beautiful options. Uh, there's a plethora of rattan that you could use. Don't go anywhere. There's so much more to shop for here on the wonderful world of Hachanda. Yes, indeed. The next three hours look a little bit like this. Cardio is coming up next with our Alex. Then join me for a little bit of Rowan Dean embroidery. All oh, the organza. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and we've been established for seven years and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. What I really love about Hachanda is I get to demonstrate lots of different techniques for you to understand how to use our products and hopefully inspire you. I've got loads of fantastic ideas buzzing around in my head so I can't wait to get those filtered into our products and out to you at home. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue on Hachanda. I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. Most of our products involve textiles and age-old techniques from button making, 
lace making, weaving and other forms of passamentary. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B Silkworks shows here on Hojanda. Welcome to the Deal Wheel. Join us from Thursday the 11th of June at 6pm to Monday the 15th of June at 6pm where the wheel will be in control of your rewards. At the start of every hour we will spin the wheel and where the needle lands the deal is dealt. You can benefit from amazing savings and extra offers but for that live hour only. So you'd better get in quick. You can have the opportunity to benefit from either £5 off an order of £25 or more, 10% off any order placed within the hour, freedom discounts or free standard PMP. These offers are unlimited within the hour. Place multiple orders, receive multiple rewards. So tune in from Thursday the 11th of June at 6pm for the Deal Wheel. Remember that it's the wheel that's in control. Hi, we're the team from Daisy B Stamps. My name's Nina, this is Josie, and this is my dad, Roy. And we design and manufacture our very own polymer stamps. So three years ago, we decided to embark on turning our own designs into polymer stamps. We're really excited about where this is gonna take us in the future and how we can evolve those designs and keep bringing you something that's just so, so different. So we wanted to add an extra element to our stamp collection and this was down to Josie using her iPad and hand drawing the amazing sentiments that we now have in our collection. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new. So make sure you don't miss the Daisy B shows on Hachanda. Hello, I'm Hayley, and you might have seen me presenting here at Hachanda. Well, I've always been an avid crafter behind the scenes and have been given the opportunity to share some of my favourite products with you in a monthly show called Handmade by Hayley. I'll be covering lots of areas of soft crafts like quilting, dressmaking, sewing, knitting, even printing your own fabrics. I'll even be bringing some items from my own Handmade by Hayley range. So I hope you'll join me, let me inspire you, and maybe you will discover a new craft in the process. Hello, good morning. Do you know what? We are already busy, even before this show started, because we've got Wendy in from Cardio. She's here. Do you want to give us a little wave, Wendy? Hi. Hello, there you go. Um, <laughs> We are already, uh, well, basically, lots of individuals have already sold out, and this is flying, absolutely flying. 20% of the stock has gone, and literally, we've just gone to air. So you have been busy finding it on the websites, which is just marvellous. Um, I mean, Wendy's lovely cardio range always does so well. Wendy, do you want to talk us through um, what we've got in this lovely collection? I don't know if you can see. Cause, uh, yeah, I, can't, I, can't, I thought I'd be able to see you, but I can't see you. Oh, maybe, um, yeah, I, we've got um, yeah. the lovely Summer Serenity, which has got the beautiful tree in, the little lanterns. You've got the beehive in there with the little bees. Uh, then we've got the uh, Wanderlust, which is lovely. And I think at this moment in time, yeah. it captures exactly. We all want a bit of escapism, and this is sort of creating your own little outside world right in front of you. Then we've also got the Terracotta Terrace which has got the little um, flower carting and all the little uh, pots and things with it as well. Very cute. And then you've got the stencils which work fantastically well and again they'll all mix in with everything you've already got. Lovely stuff. Thank you Wendy and you've got some beautiful samples as ever. Shall I pick these up? What's best for our Holly? Yeah. Okay. 
there we go let's have a little look at these gorgeous samples so you can see here we've got those beautiful flowers I always love Wendy's colorways as well I'm always um, I just adore them because it's so pleasing to the eye you can see you've got the little lantern there um, and then we've got our lovely little cat those tiny little bees uh, we've also got sentiments on the show which we'll show you a bit later you've got the boots and the bag there's a little bird there the more you look the more you see basically and as Wendy said, they all work perfectly together. And if you've got other cardio ranges as well, they too will work fantastically. Isn't that pretty? That's so pretty. I've got another couple of boards here. There you go. Oh, look at these. You've got that wonderful hanging basket, which is amazing. I love the composition of this one. How cool is this? Those beautiful flowers. There you go. Spot of, spot of vino in the garden. I love that. Uh, of course they're saying in my ears <laughs> uh, and then down here you can see there's even the grapes on the vines um, we've got our lovely there's a set of again the boots and the, the bags I love the moped that is really cool isn't it right another one so many wonderful samples <gasps> what are we gonna do we're a third of the stock gone uh, just put it in your basket <laughs> I don't know what that noise was then sorry <laughs> sounded like a sounded like a cat um, so again you've got the moped I love his driving it can you see that that's so cute that's so adorable oh we're liking this there's a bird on it as well he's taking the bird for a drive <laughs> love it and then you've got our beautiful um, gorgeous birds here there you go enjoy the moment there wonderful um, so I'll show you even more samples a little bit later on because I know you want to get to, to the demonstration so one more time take a look what you're getting here is 80 stamps at 80 stamps and two fabulous stencils that will all work together so we can see in more detail you've got all those beautiful leaves you've got the scene you there's the little shed um, then you come on to, I love that you've got, you've got the bottles and the glasses and the grapes and the barrel. You can see the trees in the middle, the hanging baskets. Here are those very, very useful stencils because they'll create your backgrounds for you, your scenes like your brickwork or stonework, etc. And there's still even more because either side we can see even more stamps. So over here, of course, we've got... Um, You've got plants, you've got foliage, um, and then over here you have got the fabulous moped with the animals and the cases. We're all off on our travels, aren't we? Mentally, anyway. Uh, right. It's also on a freedom uh, price, so two payments of twenty-five pounds and sixty-one pence. But it is flying out the door. Oh my goodness! Right, we're approaching forty percent of the stock gone. Four one two two zero one is the item number also so busy oh my goodness for the wise words let's take a little look at um, these they're really lovely wise words what 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 Charlotte half the stock's gone I haven't even read them to you <laughs> hang on I'm gonna pick it up because you know what my eyesight's like so uh, just have a little read there is no path to happiness happiness is the path yep lovely and um, difficult roads often lead to beautiful destinations nature does not hurry yet everything is accomplished it doesn't matter where you're going what matters is who you have beside you oh I really like that one uh, do more of whatever makes you happy enjoy every moment you are the reason someone smiled today really like that one um, and the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step they're fabulous um, and again, you can see some more samples with them. Um, <laughs> I could just hear the panic in Charlotte's voice in my head, thinking, oh, it's all, go it's all going. Right, 9 99 then for these wonderful sentiments. Right, 60% of the stock has gone. Uh, 849675. Uh, oh, yes, and one last quick look at the Majestic Rods because... These are also busy too, every time they are on. They're perfect for these stamps, absolutely perfect for the size. 10.99 and you're getting um, the f set of four, 603191. Do give us a call, 01733602000. Check out on the website at hachanda.com. And um, Wendy, I think we'd better get started. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, so over to you. Oh, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So the first one we're going to do is um, this one here. It might be better an overhead shot because my hands are a bit. Yeah, we've got it. We're on oh, it. Oh, great. Um, so yes, yeah, so this is the first one we're going to do. So we're basically going to be combining um, quite a lot of the stamps here. So the very first thing we're going to do is put my specs on so I can see what I'm doing. And we're going to put these little. Now you know me. I don't normally do any masking, but with these little stones, I want these to stay white. So what we're going to do is just stamp these across and then we're going to mask them out. So all that means is I've stamped them out on a scrap bit of paper. And then what we're going to do is put a little bit of repositionable adhesive on the back of them. You'll see in a minute and just mask those out so we can stamp away over the top of them without actually having to worry. So these are my little masks that I've already made and I've put a little bit of repositionable over the top. So we're just going to mask those out because I want my stones to stay nice and white. And then I'm going to stamp some more so the stones go all the way across the card. And I absolutely love these. I've been using them to death. Okay, and then we're going to do the same with this one. So I've just made myself two little masks and we're just basically going to mask both of these out and then we can work straight over the top of these without having to worry about it. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is put in our little pieces of grass. So I've just realised I've just forgotten my paper. Oh no, I haven't. Are you all right? I've got a whole pad of it. Oh. <laughs> just me being dark. But I usually cut my masks, so I thought I'd done them and I haven't. But I'm going to do those. Okay. So we just want a little hill. Oh, well. now I need to do an update, Wendy, because the wise words are limited stock already. Eight minutes in. Oh dear. Please pop them in your basket if you want them, because they're going to go. They are lovely. I think they're quite apt for, you know, what we're going through at the moment. They're actually really, really uh, lovely to send somebody. If you know they're isolating or whatever reason, they're just absolutely beautiful to send out at the moment. Yeah. So I'm going to put my little skyline in first. And we're going to use some of the uh, Summer Serenity. So basically we've cut a piece of paper in half. I'm using the top half to do my hill. So I'm just going to start to colour downwards from here. Now don't feel like you have to fill the whole card. Obviously we've got a lot more to put in the bottom down here in a minute. So I'm not going to worry too much. It doesn't have to be coloured everywhere. Okay. So once we've got a bit of green on there, we can then take this off. And because we've actually cut this from one piece of paper, this one is going to mask this one out here. Um, Wendy, I'm so sorry to interrupt because I hate doing that, but I have to let you know for ASA reasons. Basically, the wise words, they have sold out, but we can get some on extended delivery, uh, but we don't have a lot left at all. Right, it'll be sent out from the 16th of June, which is a week today. There you are, so extended delivery. Sorry about that, Wendy. That's okay. <laughs> Back to you. That's all right. So we're just doing the sky now. So I've masked out the bottom hill and then we're just going to put a little skyline here in here. So a little bit of yellow, a little bit of red. People have seen me do this quite a lot. So I'm going to speed this up a little bit. But it's lovely just to have a little bit more in your car, just a little bit of a background. To just give it a little bit more depth as well. OK, so I'm going to leave that piece of paper in place. And what we're going to do is pop in some of the little trees in the background and also there's a little stone house in there that I'd like to use as well which is really really cute and you'll know one of my favorites on here is the little tree house not yeah. tree house the swing which is absolutely cute I know our swing the big swing that we have sells really really well Indeed. so I thought I'd do a little tiny one that we could put into the background as well so I'm just going to build up my background here so we're putting in the little house first. We've got a little stone house in. I so love your style, Wendy. I really do. I love I, I love it because I get bored so easily. So I like to be able to change them up all yeah. the time. And a lot of these stamps you'll be able to use straight in, into Christmas as well. In fact, we'll probably bring a couple of these back and bring them into nice. the Christmas set. So a little bit of brown on there. So what we've done is put two colours on the actual tree. So when we actually stamp that out, you've got the little swing and things in brown as well. So I'm going to do some more trees, just dot them into the background. So if we want them to go behind, then just stamp them out two or three times. So the paler it gets, you can go over the top of that dark ink and everything looks like it's just gone straight behind all of that skyline now in the background there. Uh, um, another update for you, Wendy, and everybody at home. 70% of the complete collection has gone in 11 minutes. Just to let you know. Right, back to you, Wendy. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to get cracking, aren't we, Alex? <laughs> okay, so let's just put uh, the little cart in. 
So I'm going to put a little bit of green in first. So where we've got our masking out here at the bottom, we're just going to add a little bit, a little bit of green just here. So we've got something in the background when we put our cart in. So it looks like there's some ground, some grass. So it doesn't have to be a lot, but just a little bit of shading. So it's not sort of a stark white when we do it. So now we're going to do the cart and we're going to do this in two colours. So I'm going to ink over in my palest brown first. And then we're going to use a darker brown. Now, because I know I want to put some pots in here, the top rail of this little car, I'm going to make sure it's really dark. So when I do my pots, they're going to be paler than that rail. So it will look like they're all behind the actual rail. So you'll see what I mean in a minute. So I'm just adding a little bit of the darker brown. And this top rail here, we're making sure it's really, really dark. So that is always going to look like it's in front of the design. So let's pop this on about here because I'm going to leave myself a little bit of room to pop some other little bits in as well. So we want some of the flowers from the terracotta terrace in there as well, which is beautiful. Okay, so give that a good push down. And you see we've stamped it straight over the top of that mask as, as well, excuse me. <clears throat> okay, so now we've done that, I'm going to put some little flowers and the little pots in. So this one here, this is where I'm saying if we keep these nice and pale, or not quite as dark as that rail, they're instantly going to look like the behind when we pop them in. So I'm adding a little bit of dark to those, so two colours, and then we're going to just sit those just on top there. But what we should get is that rail mm. coming right to the foreground still. So we'll do the same with this one. That's really clever. So it's good because there's not a lot of masking. No. It's just really making sure that your inks are the right sort of depth of colour. Yeah. And there's no masking to do really. Like I said, only the, the stones because I wanted those to be quite bright white. So let's pop those in as well. And then we'll just put another little one in. Uh, three quarters of the complete collection is gone now. Busy, busy. <laughs> okay, and then we'll pop this one in here as well. So now we've got all those pots behind that little can there as well. That looks so real. I, I love it. It's so sort of um, therapeutic building up a little scene. Yeah. You know, and starting from a blank piece of paper as well and feeling like you've accomplished a little piece of artwork. It's just a, an amazing feeling. Did you, okay. Did you do all of these samples? All yes. Of these, I, all yeah. of them. I keep saying I'm trying to get a design team up and running, but I never seem to have the time to do well, it. because you've been doing all these samples. <laughs> I know, I know. It's like a vicious circle, isn't it? So we're going to use the terracotta terrace and we're going to put some little greens behind here now. So I'm going to start with the little fold here and these are just they're just so pretty mm. and again they'll mix in with everything you've already got as well and we never do stamps the same so you're never going to get anything the same in the collections either mm -hmm. occasionally we might just do a little tiny thing yeah because sometimes I really love something that much that I know I'm going to use it to death so I end up sort of giving myself a few more in smaller sizes so I can put them in sort of perspective with other things mm. So we're just going to sort of dot that just behind. And you can see what I mean. Because this green is actually paler, it doesn't matter if I then sort of stamp over the top here, over the top of that car. It's always going to look like it's behind it. So let's add some little flowers in here. This is probably one of my favourites here. So just over the top, like that, we'll pop those in the background. Now be careful, because we've only masked out the bottom, don't go too low, because obviously you're going to go onto your card here as well. So I need my teeth in to say this. So we're going to use um, the Frilly Lily. Okay. And we're just going to pop some of these in as well. So let's use a nice pale colour. And we've already got our background in now, so we don't really have to worry too much. So this is quite a big lily, but you have a lot of different sizes. So you can use whatever really suits. It doesn't really matter what size pot you've got. You're always going to have something that's going to fit yep. in there. So just dot these in. So I'm not going to use all of them. And then pop a few little leaves in as well. Mm -hmm. And then what we're going to do when we've done this, we're just going to use the stencil and a little bit of the patio at the bottom. And we're going to leave those little masks in place. So we get a lovely sort of dimensional look to this as well. And I'm just going to add a bit of colour just in this corner so we can carry on this sky and also to hide my mucky paw print that I've just put on there. <laughs> I can't see it. Oh, that's all right then. <laughs> I do tend to get ink everywhere. I'm quite a messy worker. But I think it's because my brain's working faster than my hands. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> at least some, some of the time. Yeah. Okay, so we've added that little bit in the corner. So now we can actually have some little things hanging down as well. So I'm going to use um, the trailing ivy out of the oh, terracotta, ter ter terracotta terrace. Right. Do you know, I, should, I really need to think more carefully when I'm picking these names <laughs> that I can actually <laughs> say them. Tongue twisters. Yeah. Okay. But that looks so 3D. And it's just building. It's yeah. all completely flat, which is great if you're posting out these days as well. Yeah. But it's like I said, the, the actual sentiments that are with these cards at the moment are just perfect for, for what we're sort of going, going through at the moment. Mm. I'm going to put the little lantern in as well. So it doesn't matter if you've already put some colour in the background here. I'm just going to pop it here in this corner. So it'll be sort of nestled amongst these stones. So I just get rid of some of it jump into that scene i know yeah i always think it, uh, i think I've, I've done a nice card if i think oh, Jock, i just i want to walk yeah, into that definitely. and that's what this is it's a bit of escapism for everybody as well i think at the mm. moment I'm, I'm not surprised that the words are popular because like i said they, they really sort of capture the moment don't they yeah and if you know somebody who's feeling a little bit down they're just fabulous okay so we've got all our little components in there so what i'm going to do is use the little mask now mm -hmm. and we're going to pop this just over the bottom so i'm going to use this this side so these are like the cobbles more like a cobble and we're going to go over the top of that little stone mask that we've put in already and then i'm just going to start to rub through some little bits of color so i'm going to use a bit of gray so you can go over your mask as well now i would tend to do a bit more darker a bit further away because you've got a little bit of shadow where your things are sitting so where your cart and things are mm -hmm. so just a little bit you can emboss these i've given you a little sample because suddenly i thought this morning while i was in the in the green room i thought oh i'll have a little play so yeah. somewhere on there you've got somewhere i've embossed a few of the bricks it's got little flowers on it emboss a few of the bricks it's just like a little corner don't worry if you can't find it i'll uh, i'll dig it out later if that's if there's a show later, Wendy. There's quite, oh yeah, there's quite a few samples there for you to look through, isn't there, as well? So I'm going to use a tiny little bit of darker brown as well on there. Just again, just to give it a bit of shadow. Now, again, you don't have to use the whole of these stencils. And I like to make them look like they've been stamped when they come off. So when we take the stencil away, what I like to do is just to blend it. So I'll just take the ink that we've got and just literally blend over the top. And it gives you a really soft finish. Okay. And then once, once we've done that, we can take away these little masks. Cool. Okay. Oh, and nice. Last but not least, a little bit of glossy accents or a little bit of gloss, whatever you've got. And we can pull out this little lantern here. And of course, you can add in the little birds. You could have the little dog leaning against there. You could have the cat coming off the side of it. There's so many ways to mix it up. And there we go. So there's your little finished sample. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Thank you, Wendy. Um, I'll let no you be set then, just while I uh, find out. Okay, okay, Charlotte's going. Are you ready for this? We're over 80% of the stock gone of our fabulous complete collection here. Um, it's beautiful. It's your serene summer complete collection. Have a look at the detail in these wonderful stamps. So you've got all your wonderful foliage. Uh, you love the tree. The more you look, as I said earlier, the more you see. Um, you've got the lantern there, some extra leaves. There's some, look, there's some bees. Amazing. And then uh, we come down to the uh, lovely wine bottle and the wine glasses, there's a champagne flute there, the grapes, you've got the trees in the middle, again to give you perspective to build up scenes, loving the um, hanging baskets, then also added in, again to help you make your backgrounds and your scenes, uh, you've got the two stencils, and then either side you've got, lovely, we'll come to this one, which is um, with the, what do you call it, moped, and then there's the cat, look, there's a little bird, some little extras, there's the dog, there's, oh, I love the floppy hat, that's cool, and the boots. And then over on the other side, here we go, <laughs> uh, there you go, you can see, see the stencils. And then over on the other side, um, this is where we come to all of those lovely um, 
terracotta pots and the little, what do you call the, um, I've forgotten what you call it, the little uh, cart, cart. Um, stunning, absolutely stunning. And here are some wonderful samples again. Can't believe Wendy's done all of these. She kept herself busy. Look at the detail. Love the colours as well. Oh, the cat sat on the uh, moped. There's the little bird sat on the cases. Fabulous. Just using the foliage if you want to is amazing. Um, we've got the, the... Is it easier to leave it on the board, our lovely Holly? Yeah, shall I do that? Okay. See, how beautiful are these? I know that the hanging baskets are amazing, all the florals in them. Each one is totally different. You've got a lot of possibilities with this collection. You really have. Stunning. Okay, we are approaching limited stock. It's gone crackers out there. So, um, yeah, who knows if there'll be a show at one o'clock. When it's supposed to be back, we don't know. It might end up being a happy hour. Right, um, so if you want to go for that, 56.91. However, it does also have a freedom price and it's on Flexi Buy. There you go, 51.52 if you're a freedom member. That's great, actually. Uh, and then Flexi Freedom is two payments of £25.61. Very affordable because you're getting 80 stamps and the two stencils. Right, the wise words, they are now on extended delivery. They literally sold out within... <laughs> Charlotte, it makes, she's making me chuckle. She's like, I don't really want to tell you what you've got to call. Go on. 40% of the restock stock has gone. It'll be dispatched from the 16th of June. So you've got things like, you are the reason someone smiled. In fact, shall I show you these samples? Let's show you these. There you go. Um, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. There's the you are the reason um, you smiled. Uh, someone smiled, sorry, today. Uh, we've got this one. Nature does not hurry, yet everything is accomplished. And bringing this in. Just love all these scenes. It doesn't matter where you're going. What matters is who you have beside you. And then we've got uh, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step glorious that is only 9.99 there item number is 849675 and then also you like these rods they're cool aren't they because i've never seen them like so, so tiny but they're ha so handy for the little stamps there they're really cool 10.99 you get all four 603191 the time has come i'm being told what time what's going on we are limited for the complete collection. As I said, it's got a freedom discount um, and it's on Flexi Buy 412201. You can call us on the usual number or you can check out on the website at headchanda.com. And we're going to throw straight to you, Wendy, now for the Brilliant. next demo. Yeah, I thought we were going to get this one done quick if we can. <laughs> uh, this is the one we're doing now. I'll leave it down there so you can actually see it. So we're using the bricks that the bricks are so usable in so many ways. Here, we've made it actually look like we've got a hole in the brickwork. So you can see the little scene going on. And then we've hung the little hanging basket from there as well. But you could also. Uh, sit the li sit little things on the walls like yeah. the cats, the bottles, anything you want to do. So basically, all we've done here so far, I've tried to speed this up a little bit. So we've already <laughs> started doing some colouring. I've start, I've, I've put my stencil onto the front of my card using a little bit of repositional bull adhesive, and I've already started to colour. Now it doesn't really matter exactly which bits you miss. Just make sure the wall sort of flows nicely. And then I've darkened this a little bit, so we're going a little bit darker. So you see a nice clear opening in this brickwork. So basically, pick the size of the hole that you want, and then just choose the bricks that you want to colour in. And I think, you know, a minute ago you had the one that were embossed the bricks. Yeah. The little flowers in the corner. I think it's uh, one you held up before. I think, yeah, I think it's, um, yeah, it must be, the, is it this one, Wendy? Yeah, and yeah, you can just see the little raised bricks. I just did a couple of them, so yeah. you get to see what that looks like. But you can do so much with them. Like I said, the cat on the wall. There's so many different ways you can mix this up. Sorry, never... I've just got to check, because when, when you're when you're, you're demoing, I sit there with a little poncho on and watch you. But anyway, <laughs> this is the one. This is the one. That looks really cool. Marvellous. Thank you. 
So yeah, so it's just a, such a, you know when you do something, you don't actually realise how useful it's going to yeah. be until you start playing with it. And it was That's one cool. of those, it was like, oh, I can do this. Oh, and I can do the other. So we're going to put a little bit of moss on this wall as well. So I'm using a little bit of green. Now don't feel again like you have to do the whole of this wall. You don't have to go all the way to the edges of your card with this. So just sort of doing little areas around this hole in the brickwork is enough. So I'm pretty much happy that we've got a nice sort of open space there. So if I just take this off now, you'll see what I mean. We've cool. just picked out randomly whatever we want. I'm just gonna take off some of that excess adhesive that's on there. So we've just used a repositionable adhesive to do that. And then to soften this wall off, I'm just gonna go around it. And again, like we did with the, um, over the brickwork mm -hmm. on the first card, we're just gonna go over the top and just blend. It just softens it up, and to me, it looks more like a stamp. I don't want this, any stark white. Yeah. So I'm just going to shade it. I love that you use like a, t a cloth. Yeah, it's a dry baby wipe. This. Is it? Yeah, it's a bit of a, a bone of contention, but I do wash them and I do reuse them. Yeah. So I am sort of recycling. So it's not too bad. Yeah. So all the way round, and like I said, you can see here, we've not been sort of exact as to what we've been, mm. which areas of the brickwork that we've actually taken. Um, Wendy, yeah. I have a question. Is What's your angel policy? Are we all right to make to sell? Yeah, yeah, Excellent. of course, yeah. So all the way around. So that, can you see how soft that has now become? It's just lovely and soft. And then we can decide what we're going to put into this. So I think we'll put our basket in first. So I'm going to ink this up in two colours. Okay. Now, just so the chain stands out, I tend to do it in rust colour because that's what most of mine look like anyway. Yeah. So we're going to go all the way to the top in the paler brown. And then I'm going to use my darker brown. And we're just going to go around the edges of the pot of the basket just to give it a little bit of dimension. So this is going to really, really pop when we pop this on. Cool. So let's put that about there. If you keep your brickwork fairly pale as well, you don't need to worry about when you come to stamping your flowers over the top of it. You know, because your brickwork won't really show over the top. Okay, so there's our little basket. Nice. And I've got to do another quick update, if that's all right. Sorry, yeah, Wendy. Yeah. Uh, Wendy. Uh, the wise words, over 70% of the restock stock has gone, and that's it. Once they're gone, they're gone. Can't make any more phone calls. Done. So pop them in your basket. Thanks. Sorry, Wendy. No problem. So we're going to just do the background now in here. So I'm going to pop this about here. And then we're going to do this before we add any flowers. So we'll add the flowers afterwards. So we're going to do a different tree in the background here. There are so many uh, different little trees in there. And they're quite sort of Mediterranean in the look as well, which is nice. So here, don't worry about the bricks. We're just going to sort of colour up to them. Keep it nice and soft. And then I think we'll just add a little, the little hill for the gate in here as well. So I'm going to move this down. And we're going to do a little bit more closer work here where we'll add in the little gate. So don't, like I said, don't worry about the brickwork, just colour sort of around the basket, just roughly. You don't have to fill the whole space. Okay, so there's our little hill. And then I'm going to do my background first, so we're going to pop the yellow in. <laughs> Everybody's all right in the studio. <laughs> So I've put your yellow in at the background here. I'm not too worried about where the actual basket is because like I said, we're going to be colouring that with flowers anyway. So just around the edges here. Now what I like to do as well is just use an ordinary pencil mm -hmm. and just sometimes do a little bit more shading on those brickworks as well. It really makes those bricks pop. Or like I said, you could emboss the odd one as well if you wanted to. But it is such a simple and quick way to make a card. Mm. So a little bit more red. Let's make it look a little, little bit more summery. What Let's inks hope do you like to use, Wendy? These are pigment inks. Are they? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I just love the finish, and because I do all my backgrounds, and then I'll also stamp in them as well, you get a really, really lovely sort of coordinated look. So I'm never sort of worried about finding the right background colours yeah. to work with my stamps as well. So let's do this little house again. And then we'll just pop this in the background. So this time we're going to use a taller tree with this. So I'm going to pop this up here. And I could just see all of these just mm. being used for Christmas as well. Oh, totally. Put a bit of frosting on yeah, the top. Yeah, oh, definitely. And all in sort of silhouette. They will look absolutely lovely. Mm. So this one, we're going to use a taller tree. And I'm going to colour it all in green. And then we're going to do pick out the um, trunk in the brown. And again, you don't have to be too exact. Don't worry about it. Just make sure you've got a little bit of brown on there. And then we'll pop that 
just by the side of this house here like that and then again we'll use the little tree and we're just going to fill in this background here um, another quick update about the wise words they are limited stock once they're gone they're gone there we go back back to you Wendy no problem so we're just filling in that background there and just make sure you leave a little bit of space there for your little um, flowers to go in afterwards. So I'm going to take that off cool, and then we're going to do that. exactly the same here. Yeah. But this time we're putting our little fence in. So I'm going to do this in one colour all over. And then we're going to darken some of this off by using the darker brown as well. So I'm going to pull out the little gate. Now this, you can actually build a whole wall with this by turning it upside down. So you can go all the way across if you oh, want. Okay. I think it's just sort of thinking outside the box a little bit and you could do all sorts of fantastic things okay so there's our little gate in i mean for winter that would be so cute with the little sheep that we brought on last time <laughs> yes. it'd be really really cute so we've got the other side to the wall here as well so we're going to pop that in as well so just a little bit of darker brown and then this one is just going to go here on this side like that and then let's just put another little tree in if I can find one, a bigger one. No, I haven't got one. Oh, I'll, I'll put a little bit of bushes in. Do some little bushes. This is the first time we've had little bushes and I'm quite excited oh, about cool. them. Oh, cool. So we're just gonna pop these just a little bit lower down like that. So you don't have to, again, use the whole thing. Okay, and then we can take this off and that gives us our gorgeous little fence. And then it's just a case of filling in with your little flowers. So let's use the frilly lily and then in fact we're going to go for some slightly smaller ones I think let's have that one but it is nice because you have got that leeway in these sets so you've got something whatever size of the pot mm -hmm. that you're using you're going to have flowers in there that are going to fit and foliage yeah and it's like you say these colors are just absolutely beautiful yeah I love them so you can see now it, it really doesn't matter about those bricks at all. Mm. So let's put the little tiny one in as well. Do you know, I thought I needed stronger glasses then because I thought I was stamping without a stamp on the end. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's so dizzy. Like, oh, straight, straight get my eyes tested, I think. Okay, so let's add the little greenery in now. But on this wall as well, you could also have like the flowers climbing up it. You could use the, the ivy yeah. up it as well. Good point. And one of my favourites, like I said, is the little cat yeah. on the wall with the dog chasing it. It's really cute. So it's just so usable. Right, so let's have a little bit of ivy coming down off this one as well. So we're just going to take it from the basket, just so there's a bit of something trailing down as well. Okay. So all we need now is to put a couple of little birdies in here. So let's take two browns and just on the underside where you'd have a little bit of shadow, we're just going to use a little bit of darker brown. And let's pop one of these just sort of sitting on part of this brickwork here. And then what I would do is just add a little bit of shade underneath him as well. So a little bit of grey and then we're just going to shade just a little bit just to ground him yeah just a bit darker i've got some boots that i've done that are meant to come back to and shade him they're just like the hovering yeah <laughs> i'm not taking the shading all the way up a pair of magic boots okay so then you can just put a little bit of color in the centers of these so i use like a liquid purple it could be anything you want whatever it is you you prefer or if you don't want to use this you could just use a little pen a little black pen and put some little centers in but i just think it pulls those flowers right back out again to the surface. And we haven't used all of the flowers in this either. We've just used a couple of them. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot, lot more in that set. Okay, and there we have it. Stunning. Thank you so much, Wendy. No problem. Amazing. Okay, perfect timing, Wendy, because this is just technically sold out, which means all of the stock is in baskets. But we have got good news. Again, our Charlotte's been extremely busy making phone calls. We can bring it to you again on extended delivery. Um, and it's basically to give Wendy enough time to produce some more stamps and then send it out to you. Um, so it'll be um, dispatched from the 15th of, oh, sorry, 16th of June.
but yeah so it's worth the wait as you can see it's absolutely flown out the door you're getting those 80 beautiful stamps um, that all mix and match they've all got fantastic perspective and you've also got those uh, two stencils which um, uh, help you to build the scenes I tell you what, I'll put these up one by one again so we can have a look at some more samples there you go you still, that, that's got to be one of our favourites, I think, because of the... <laughs> he's driving the, uh, the moped and taking that little birdie for a little spin. They're, they're having a little chat on the moped there. You can see in the background we've got the trees and the brickwork. Um, we've got our fabulous little scene with the bees. Um, love this. Again, real perspective. That could be any occasion. Well, they could all be any occasion. Look, it looks like the bird's having a glass of vino doesn't it <laughs> that is a big glass for that bird uh, anyway, I'm really joking and then of course you've got um, this lovely one with the little shed this is a heart on there very nice got another board here let's bring this in let's pop that down like so and these are all fantastic samples I really love the colors used I love the composition of this one I think it's absolutely stunning Again, you've got a, a few more with the wine glasses and the lantern. Enjoy every moment. Um, and then we've got the tree. Got a few grapes on there. It's absolutely stunning. Here are the boots. There we go, with the little birdie on there. And then, of course, we come across to the moped with the bag. They're off on their travels, I think. And it says, do more of whatever makes you happy. Agreed. So it is on extended delivery now. From the 16th of June, you can spread the cost and it's on flexi buy uh, so two payments of it will swizzle around in a second there you go <laughs> swizzling uh, 28 pounds and 46 pence oh yes but freedom members get it for even less there you go it's got a uh, 10 pound 69 saving and it's two payments of 25 pounds and 61 pence 412201 the wise words okay before they go we are super limited, cannot get any more now, cannot make any more phone calls. Um, so super limited, and once they are gone, they are gone. Fabulous words. What's that one say? This one says, it doesn't matter where you're going, what matters is who is beside you, which is gorgeous. And again, look at that wonderful design of the basket. Stunning. Uh, that's another one, the same sentiment. Let's have a look at this one. Nature does not hurry, yet everything is accomplished. Then we've got the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Uh, did I already read this one? Nature does not hurry, yet everything... I think I did read that one. Uh, let me see. Oh, yeah. You are the reason someone smiled today. And then the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. They have technically now gone, can't get any more. Thank you and enjoy using these. I think you really will. Thank you for purchase, purchasing. Uh, also then, if you do want to go for the rods, you're getting the four of them. They're fab because they're, you know, they're just perfect, a perfect size for the um, stamps we've got on the show. And for the four, it's 1099 Woo, it's been a busy show, hasn't it? Right, you can, of course, call us or you can check out on the website at herchanda.com. And again, uh, we're going to go back to Wendy for her third demo. We're with you now. We're on you now, Wendy. Hiya. Right, so <laughs> we're going to use the little stones again. So I've already stamped them and massed them out. And we were going to do uh, this one which has got the little pathway using the bricks, but I've decided I want to show you this one and put the little cat in Ooh, and nice, the little okay. dog. So we're going to change it up a little bit. Um, so the first thing we've done is stamp our little stones and then we've masked that out. So now what we're going to do is put um, a little bit of the brickwork in the background. So I'm going to go straight over the top with this one. So again, we're only picking out small areas of this so it doesn't really matter which you use so because i know i'm going to be stamping quite a lot over this i'm not going to do this too dark only in the areas where i know i might not have any stamping so i'm just going to go over the top like this and i am going to try and speed this up a little bit for you so we can get hopefully another one in okay so just rub the ink through if you want to use brushes you can use brushes it's entirely up to you but i'm just sort of the baby wipe girl that's all i use <laughs> for everything 
so just over the whole thing and again use more than one color because it just gives those bricks dimension this is i think is going to be probably my most used item yeah this brick wall because like i said you can use it for so many things and great in your mixed media projects as well yeah and yeah. i could just see you know like the one we did before with the hole in the wall where yeah. you see the scene but with a christmas scene in there totally. and the lantern hanging up in it it just be absolutely mm. lovely but I like things to be versatile. I think you want to get your money's worth out yeah. of everything that you buy. Because I think people make very considered purchases these days because, you, like I said, you want to be able to get a lot of different designs out of it. So I'm just adding in a little bit of brown here now as well. Again, just to give it a little bit more dimension. So if I don't do quite as many bricks here as the last one, I don't suppose that really matters. Let's just use a little bit of green to make it look a little bit mossy as well here and there. Mm -hmm. But you can see how uh, uncareful I'm being. <laughs> We're just sort of running, running over the whole thing. Once we've done that, we can take this away. So we've got our brickwork just in the background here. Now nice. you'll see there's a lot of glue residue on here, but that will just rub off. So I'm going to get rid of some of that before we do any stamping over the top. And then we're going to soften this off like we did with the last one. So we're just going to blend over the top of it with a couple of the colours that we've used in the brickwork. So just straight over the top. So you don't want to use too wet an ink for this either. Mm -hmm. So quite a soft finish is really what you're looking for. But can you see, I think it just looks so much nicer just taking away the really, really yeah. bright white. Okay. So our next step is we're going to add in our really big tree. So this one's great. We've not really talked about this one yet, but <clears throat> you can use this as an olive tree. Mm. You can use it as a grape tree. You yeah. can put flowers on it. You could put snow on it at Christmas, whatever you want to do with it. You could make it spooky. Of course you could. Yeah, Halloween. Yeah. I keep being asked for Halloween stamps. I've never actually got round to it yet. Uh, I will be the first to buy them. I love Halloween. <laughs> it's probably my favourite time of the year. So ink this up really well. And you'll see I've just sort of put a bit of paper at the bottom because underneath the stones is just the card and yeah. we don't want to stamp the whole of this tree. So just ink it up really well. So this is just in a dark brown. And we're going to pop this straight over the top here. So this is going to look like it's coming from behind those stones. So remember, it's a big solid stamp, so you want to sort of give this good even pressure. And walk your fingers all over it before you take it away. And then we're going to add in some little olives to this one. So in the Summer Serenity, it actually comes with the little olive. Cute. Olive leaves. But again, it's lovely with grapes on it as well. Yeah. Okay, so there's our little tree. It's so delicate as well. It's really, really pretty. So now we're going to add in some little flowers into the background here. So we're going to use some of the ones that we used before. But the wall just makes such a perfect little backdrop for all of these little stamps. So again, don't re-ink every time. Just let the ink run out on the stamp. And then I'm going to add a couple more of these flowers in as well. And you'll see I'm just keeping this piece of paper in here because I don't want to stamp underneath those stones. This is probably my favourite little floral stamp. I just love this one. What flower is it? I have no idea, but it's pretty. <laughs> it's, no, pretty. it's funny because I'll, I'll get a, a flower and I'll start drawing it and then yeah. I know what it is while I'm drawing it, but then afterwards <laughs> I completely forget. So I have no idea what it is. It's just pretty. Yeah. Okay, so let's put this little barrel in. So we're going to have a bit of fun now. I'm going to have the cat and the dog in here. So we're going to use two browns. So all over with your palest one first. Just, to, go, oh, just to let you know, you've got 10 minutes. Oh, great. Yeah. Plenty of time. So I'm just adding the brown all the way around the outside. Like that. So it just, again, just makes it pop, gives it a little bit more dimension. And we'll pop the little barrel in about here. So all the time we're sort of stamping over the top of those stones. Yeah. And again, it's a big solid stamp, so make sure... You push this down really, really well. Make sure you walk your fingers all over the top of it. Okay, so there's our little barrel. So we're going to put the little cat in. And we're going to do this one in black. Okay. So it stands out really, really well. 
and we'll have him sort of creeping off the barrel. <laughs> we can have some fun with this, show it chasing the little birds yeah. or so many ways to use it. And again, we've seen it sitting on the scooter. Yeah, that was a fun one. Which is really cute. So I'll put him about there. And then we're going to have the little dog just at the back, just chasing the cat. So there's the cat. And we'll pop the little dog in. So again, two browns. And we'll shade the underside of him with a darker colour. So we're just going to go all the way around the bottom. And just a little bit around the top. Charlotte in my ear has just had a really good idea. She said it would look quite, quite funny if like the barrel was tipping slightly. I, well, I thought about that because I've got on one of those samples there, you've yeah. actually got um, the, uh, the, the glasses and the bottles falling over, which is what I'm going to do now. Oh, cool. So we'll put, creep in a little bit of that sunset siesta, which is lovely. I think that'll be great <laughs> for men's car. So he's chasing the cat, and then we're going to use these little bottles here. So we've got a little wine bottle. You've also got a little Chianti bottle in this yes, as well, I which is that. really, really nice. So we're just going to pop this one in. Now, I would usually do the same with the bottle as well. I'd put a little bit of um, darker green on, but I can't find it. So we're just going to go with one. And then the little glasses, we're just going to stamp these twice. And we're going to have them falling over. But you could have um, little bits of liquid coming out of these as well. So you could mm. really, really have some fun. So there we've got our little glasses falling over. And then let's just put a little bit more green in behind the dog. So let's go about here. So he's got actually something to be, to be stood on. Mm -hmm. So this is the thing with this. You just sort of make it up as you go along and you're sort of telling a little story every time i agree they're brilliant scenes okay so we've got a little bit of browns in him for the little dog there and then what i'm going to do is just use a little bit of the stencil patio and let's use the other one this time so we'll go about here and we're just going to add in some brown some little patio areas in here so let's use the palest first so you could emboss this. You notice it looked like it was uneven? Yes. So if you wanted to just take your embossing tool and just emboss from the back and push a little bit of the, the, the paving up mm -hmm. into the card, that would just look amazing as well. But it's funny because I've been doing these cards mm. uh, for, for weeks, getting them ready, and you're still sort of coming up with different things. Yeah, definitely. So a little bit of the grey, and we'll have a little bit of moss on there as well. So let's go with this one. And then again, what we're going to do is just soften this up as well. So I'm just going to take my, my finger and just blend right over the top like that. But it just adds to that perspective mm. on your card. So let's take the olives. I'm just going to add these in. Like I said, this could be flowers. It doesn't have to be the olives. It can be anything you want. Just dot these in over the top. But it's like every little card tells a little story. Yeah, definitely. Look at that. And it, it fills up so quickly as well. And it's not hard to do. No. That's what I love about it. And you don't need very much things either to do it. So let's just put a little bit of the glossy accents on these little glasses as well. So it just gives them that raised, shiny look. Okay, and there we are. Yay! So that was our original one here. But then we've just sort of added in, yeah, the little cat on that one as well. Fabulous. Thank you, Wendy. Um, I'm, I'm going to do a really quick um, call to action then because um, I know Wendy wants to... Yeah, we've only got five minutes, so, so here we go. A quarter of the extended stock has gone. It's, a, it's um, what am I going to say? It's on Freedom and it's on Flexibuy, and it will be dispatched from the 16th of June. But same again, once that's gone, I believe it's gone of the extended stock. 412201 is the item number. Are you all right to go, Wendy? Yeah. yeah. Excellent. There we go. So Over let's you, just Wendy. do, sorry, <laughs> let's just do a little beehive in here. Okay. And what we'll do is use the little patio um, as a pathway so it gives it a little bit more dimension. So again, we're just going to mask that out. I'm not sure how long we've got, so 
four and a half minutes, Wendy. Oh, right. Oh, the pressure's on. Let's <laughs> see what we can do. Let's get the little beehive. Oh, might have lost it. What have I done with it? No, it's here. It's here, it's here. No, Don't worry, gone. we could it's also oh. finish it in the... It, no, I'll tell you what we'll do. It's, it's okay. We'll just do some little pots instead. Okay. So let's do some greens. Do you know, I, I'm always doing this at home. <laughs> always losing things. Let's just use a little bit of yellow. It's going to be right there in a minute. I know it is. It's always, always the, the way. way. It is. John had that in the previous hour. I know, with I know. His, his I've done it a few it. times this week. <laughs> but it's, just, it's just not there. And then all of a sudden it is. So let's just put the little pot in. Now I was going to do the beehive. So I'll show you what I was going to do. But we seem to have lost it somewhere along the way. So instead we're just going to do a, a very, very simple little tiny scene here just at the top and I want to show you I'm going to do it as quick as I can because I just want to show you the little path that we can do just leading up to the top so I'm not going to do too much here at this point we're going to add a couple of little flowers in so just a few little ones just at the top here like that so I am rushing a little bit here to try and get, get this in for you Okay, so just fill in. So this is where these rods come into the room because they're so, so quick to use. Absolutely. Look they're at just that. amazing. Speed crafting. It really speeds things up. It's unbelievable. So a couple of little flowers just over the top like that. And again, I do apologise because we are sort of speeding this up a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is use this as a little path. So we're going to start with the smallest stones at the top like that. And we're just going to make it look like a little path coming down. So we'll just use, I'm going to go straight for a darker brown and then it shows up instantly. So just pick out the areas oh, that are going to make this look like a little path just coming towards you. Which is a bit of a darker brown. And then what we'll do is just blend it over the top. A little bit of green. And then what I would normally do is put a few little flowers in the bottom corner as well so I can show you what we've done with the beehive. So you can see you're creating a little pathway up to the actual top of the garden. Yep. So just blend over the top like that and then we can take this away and that gives us our very, very simple cool. little design. But that was what we were going to do with a little beehive if we'd have found it. Oh, bless <laughs> you. <laughs> amazing though, absolutely amazing. Um, thank you so much, Wendy. That no was, problem. That was speed crafting then to the max. We are a third of the restock stock gone. <laughs> um, it will be dispatched from the 16th of June, but that's only another week to wait. But um, it is on Freedom and it is on Flexibuy. As you can see, two payments of £25.61. and pence. 412201. And then shall I just hold up? Have we, how long have we got? Just over a minute. Let's hold up one more board just so you can have a look at these fabulous designs. Aren't they great? You've got the hanging basket, you've got the cats, lovely little lantern. Um, the sentiments have now sold out and we can't get any more, unfortunately. Look at that, with the boots and the... Um, see, the more you look, the more you see. It's beautiful, isn't it? And then down here, whoops, there we go. We've got the lovely little lantern hanging from the tree. The birds are there. You've got the stones. It's just got such wonderful perspective. They all work together absolutely fantastically. Um, so we'll see if Wendy's back at one o'clock. What happens with stock, I'm not sure, because obviously you can order after the hour. Um, but yeah, this will be dispatched from the 16th of June. Beautiful set. Don't miss out. Over a third of the stock has gone. And um, you've got your 80 stamps and your two stencils in there. You can call us on the usual number 01733602000 or have a look at the website at hachanda.com. Thank you very much, Wendy. Thanks, Thank Lovely stuff. All right, as ever, we've got more coming up after this. I think we've got a swat of Rowan Dean. Indeed, and I know a load of you at home know how much I adore um, Katrina's wonderful kits and how many I've done, in fact. And then we've got uh, John Lockwood for the one-day special, and then we'll see. Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. The company La Blanche is a crafting company located in Germany. 
For over 20 years, I'm designing and selling stamps, paper crafting products and home decoration. As a passionate crafter myself, I make sure all our products are of highest quality and easy to use. We produce a whole range of products. We produce paper products. We have also shrink sleeves for your jars, glasses. We have home decoration products, paints and wall decals. Everything, the whole range of crafting we produce for you. I hope you enjoy watching us at Hochanda and crafting with La Blanche. Hi, I'm Rob from Add Some Sparkle. My wife Jackie and I have been running Add Some Sparkle since 2010 as a small family business. We are both very passionate about paper craft in general, and Jackie is particularly passionate with paper embroidery, which is one of the main things we focus on now. Add Some Sparkle produce paper embroidery kits and products, which is taking a very old and traditional Victorian craft, bringing it up to date with a modern twist in the designs we use. And what's really special for me is the fact that we can get paper embroidery to a wider audience through working with Hachanda. In the future for Adson Sparklers, we'd love to keep working with Hachanda to be able to bring more exciting and new products. We're looking at hopefully bringing some paper embroidery books out onto the market to add to the kits that we already produce and bring. So make sure you don't miss our Adson Sparkle shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Hayley. Join me for some amazing Fabric Freedom shows. Fabric Freedom design all their fabrics here in the UK and they design them with quilters in mind. So they're really good at picking out those unidirectional prints. Really nice and small prints so you can work on smaller patchwork projects. And paste prints as well, which is one of their signature fabrics. They do lots more fabrics besides quilting cottons. So tune in to the Fabric Freedom shows here on Hachanda. Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. Back in the day there were very few quilt patterns in the marketplace and so uh, I started to bring patterns into the UK from America and Australia and along the way I've been lucky enough to work with some fantastic British designers and that is what really the essence of Daisy Chain Designs are. At Daisy Chain Designs we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows on Hachanda. Welcome to Club G45 from Graphic 45, the monthly tutorial kit that allows you to create some of the most beautiful projects by accessing a step-by-step -step video viewable online. This month's tutorial is the Club G45 Ocean Blue Collector's Box and Mini Album and Matchbook Box Kit. You will get almost everything you need to create both of these projects from scratch, including access to this month's step-by-step -step video tutorial and accompanying project sheet. Simply order yours by purchasing item number 467894 for £49.99, plus your postage from hochanda.com, or give us a call on 01733 60 2000 for instant access to this month's Club G45 from Graphic 45.
Yes, indeed. Good morning. I know it's still the morning. It's 11 o'clock. Time for 11sies, really, you could say. Sit down with a cup of tea or your favourite drink of choice and sit back and just relax for the next hour. As you can see on the side of your screen, it is Rowan Dean Embroidery. This is a craft, once again, that you lose yourself in time and time again. And once again, another hour we've been busy before we've even come to air. Now, very rare, we've started halfway down a counter. Now, I never do this, never start halfway down a counter, uh, because for the sheer fact we have brand, brand new colours in our fat quarter bundles. Now, I'm not alone this hour. No, 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 no. The legendary embroiderer, I think there's a word, is here as well. Ah, Katrina's here. How are you, my love? Great to be here. It's, I, li I like having all these guests back in. It's, it gives me someone to chat to for the hour as well, rather than talking to myself. Uh, but so Katrina's here as well, so we're going to have live demos uh, throughout the hour. But I'm going to start off on the fat quarter bundles. Now, let me do the numbers first. 246064 is your item number. You've got a plethora of brand new colours. Six brand new colours is what we've got here as well. Things like uh, your asparagus, your powder blue, your mauve that's on here. So this one is your mauve at the top, down to the asparagus, all the way at the bottom. Uh, with your things like your baby blues are in here as well. Uh, I think they're absolutely stunning, but... It's not that we know from Rowan Dean. I, when I think Rowan Dean, I think organza. I think um, not. So I think how to create beautiful, beautiful images. So with your fat quarters, they've got nothing printed on, Katrina. Where are we going? What would I use these for within my kits? Well, there's lots of things you can use these for, loads of things. You know, once you've got a, a little bit of an embroidery, you've got, uh, you might have done one of the doodle uh, sets, of, or you've, got a, you've finished a piece, and then what can I do with it? Well, one of the things that these fabrics offer is a chance to either make, make it into something, not just be a picture, just to create something. So I've brought some things along to show you what you could do with these fabrics. So it's going to be, it's going to be a busy little hour, I feel. So now... It really finishes the picture, as it were. So you sat there, you've done all your lovely embroidery, lot of things that you can see next to me. Maybe you think, well, I don't want to put them in a frame. I really don't want to put them in a frame. I want to use them. I want to be creative. I maybe want to put them on a cushion. I maybe want to pop them on that large embroidered sheet. That are up, but how do I do it? Where do I go? Well, now, Rondine, I've thought of everything for you. You can get everything in a one-stop shop, as it were, with the beautiful brand new colours that we've got as well, from your mauves in here to your asparagus that we've got in here, to your baby blues, to your Wedgwoods blues that are on a oh, celestial. Oh, what a word. Uh, £12.99. Uh, how much are we getting of the um, fat quarter? Are they, does, does your fat quarter size? It's, huge. It's, it's a massive piece of fabric. It's really, really useful. Um, the fabric is, is wide, so you're getting really massive amount of fabric. It is. It's a, that's a big old fat quarter, that is. I'm sure it's bigger than a normal fat quarter, but look at that. So that's your asparagus that we're holding up at the moment. Once again, a beautiful, beautiful way to finish off the work that you've already been doing. Um, 246064 is your item number. Right then, something else that you've also found on the website as well is the Buttercup Lane kit that we've got here. Um, once again, a beautiful kit to achieve and to make as well. Uh, what you're getting with this is £16.95. and pence. From there, though, you are creating... Look at this. Now, obviously, frame, not included. Provide your own frame. But what you can create with it is a piece of work that you can really step into. It's work that's not just an image. It's an image that comes out of the frames themselves. Now, I know what you're thinking, because I thought it the first time I saw them as well. Uh, it's very, very... It's going to be difficult. It's going to be really difficult. I'm not going to be able to sit there. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to thread the needle. I won't know what to do. I can't draw anyone, so I wouldn't be able to... Don't, 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 leave the questions to me. Let me answer everything I've got for you. And if I can't answer them, I'll hand it over to the expert, because I'm sure our Katrina's got the answers as well. If you've got any questions throughout the hour, please don't hesitate to email studio to chanda.com, and uh, we'll put your questions forward as well. If you're one of these that are thinking... What would it, how do I go about doing it? Email in, just send me your questions, we'll rifle through them and we'll put them all out there into the, into the ether. Because if you're thinking it, somebody else is thinking it as well. Right, let's kick off at the end of the counter where we normally start. These are your flower doodles kits. You can make six cards now. Let me break that down. So not only are they doodles, 
They're also cards. These are things that you can send. These are things that people will treasure. These are also things that are going to be made with love. Now, the reason I say they're going to be made with love is because you know already who these cards are going to be sent to. Because as you're making it, you think, oh, I could send that to that Dorothy. I could send that to our Marge. She's going to love them. Because once you get them, they were my aunts, were they? Uh, while you get them, you know that people are going to frame them. This is a card that you're not going to keep at the bottom of the drawer. This is one that you're going to have out for a very long time. And you will use it as a piece of art. Everything in the kit you are getting, everything that you need, from threads to organza to beads to cards to envelopes, even to the pattern. Now, this is what I mean when I say you don't need to be an artist. The doodles are done for you. You can go as basic or as elaborate as you want. You get more than enough threads and more than enough beads to let your mind run wild. You really, really can. As I said, as we go through the hour, we'll teach you the stitches that you need. I know the questions already. Adam, I don't know what stitches. I, I don't know. You need three, possibly four at max to create some of the beautiful cards that you see here. Um, absolutely beautiful. 18 pounds and 95 pence. 778115 is your item number on your doodle kit cards. You make six cards. Uh, the needle case is up next as well. Now, once again, everything you need. Um, we're not meant to have favourites, but I do. Uh, I love the tweed. Now, this tweed is made specifically for Rum and Dean embroidery. You can't get this tweed anywhere else. It's beautiful. And I keep saying, but no one keeps getting my hint, I'd love a jacket. But, and I will keep saying it, at £23.95, look at that. Now, once again, the markings that you see on there are your designs already. So you are getting four designs in there to make this beautiful, beautiful booklet. Now, let me show you. When you open the booklet up itself, once again, you get full instructions as well in here. Uh, you could go as basic or as you go as elaborate as you want. I think it's absolutely stunning. But why don't you use this booklet to practice? You haven't got to use it as a needle case if you don't want to. Of course you can, and that's the idea of it. But maybe you take each page and you practice. You take each page and you go through the journey itself on using different colours. Take that small bit of organza, because that's what Roman Dean's about. They take organza and they use it as their artist palette. That is their paint. That is where the magic really creates. Yes, you've got the threads to do the outer edge, but it's the organza that throws in the colour. It's the organza that also throws in the beauty that's there, and it's so easy to do. £23.93, 727-498 is your item number for your needle case book. Right, we're pressing on. Now, this is the first time I've saw this, and I walked into the studio, I was like, oh, this is beautiful. This is the uh, hydrangea kit that we're looking at now, £29.95. Now, I do need to tell you, the frame is not included. You are just getting the canvas that it is on, OK? But a stunning, stunning piece of work. Now, I think, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask the question anyway, but I think this would be for intermediate. You would need to be able to dabble in the art of needlework first. Am I right, or is this a beginner? It, anybody could stitch this. It's Give so away. easy to do. It's, it's a dramatic flower, but it's using the same stitches that we just love. So anyone could be. A, you could. You could. I'm flabbergasted. I thought this would like be intermediate to expert. Like you've you've had to have dabbled first. You be, could create this at home. Once again, do we get full? It's the first time I've seen these sorts of kits. I'm used to sort of the cards and the little pictures. Do we get everything we need in the kit with full instructions along the way? You get step-by-step -step instructions. You get stitch diagrams, uh, and some of the the photographs in there, the colour photographs, focus on different areas of the plant, like the stems or the leaves, or how to do the flowers. So it, yeah, it's just a lot of fun to do. Everything you need in a kit, 066693 is your item number, £29.95 and 95 pence is what we're looking at for the hydrangea right then. We're shimming down. We're already approaching 20% of the stock has already gone for our willow herb. Oh my word, look how beautiful this is. Now, frame not included once again, but what you are getting is your beautiful outer edge. Now, if I hold this here... 
So you see the designs that are on there now. If I move it away, you'll see where it... So you've got that outer edge. Oh, it's like a PowerPoint presentation. This is it with my own slides. Uh, look at that. So you're getting the outside. Then you're also getting the inner workings as well. So this is what you would stitch first and put everything on. So that's through the window. If you're thinking that's all well and good. You also get the window in there as well. So you can manipulate where you want the open panel that's on there. I think it's absolutely beautiful that's on there. And then you also get every bit of thread that you will need, every single colorway. You get all the pins, everything is numbered as well. So all the colorways have been numbered. Oh, it's in, uh, very, very busy for this already, and I can see why. £16.95, 080365 is your item number. Right then, we're shimmying down to Cat in a Pond. Um, I love this one. Or cat by a pond, not cats, not in a pond. I thought I was pushing my luck by trying to guess the name. Uh, cat by the pond is your embroidery kit. £13.95 and pence is what. Now, if you're still thinking you're unsure, stick with me, because when you see the demonstrations, this will all make sense. Akashina is an amazing teacher when it comes to this. I've learned so much from doing these shows. Uh, once again, you get all the threads, you get all the imagery in there as well. Plus, what I also like as well is you also get more of the material than you actually need. So if you do want a little practice first, remember, it's only thread. So if you want a, a little practice or you want to extend the picture, you can, because you do get more than enough thread that's already in there. Uh, Katrina's kits do allow you the freedom, your own freedom, to do whatever you wish to do. They just put a guide on the canvas for you, and then it's down to you to do the rest of the work for you. If you're liking this, do you know what would work wonderful? With just around the edge of that picture would be butterflies inked it um, or a goldfish yes web so that'd be nice a little little embroidered koi carp down in the corner oh that'd be nice uh, but now we've got butterflies now there's three different options here uh, they run in rows okay so you've got the top the middle and the bottom as it were so we've got set one set two and set three once again everything you need is included in the kit this time it comes already on the organza that you've got here as well now i'm guessing the organza is exactly the same sort of material to work on exactly it's just it's a, a fine organza it, it's, it's actually firm enough to uh, to you're not going to it's not going to distort as much as some organzas and you just work with in a hoop so you just treat it exactly the same that's what i like man. So exactly exactly the same don't be scared that it's just organza so it's a slidier material pop it in your hoops we've got them on the show as well we'll get to those later do not fear um three options top middle or bottom depending on the favorite colorways that you like to use absolutely beautiful uh, maybe you want to pop them onto a cushion that you've created with the brand new fat quarters that we've also got on the show as well there are details at the bottom of the screen right then something else that's very busy it's popular um this is well I'm, ju I'm just going to put it out there. This is a book that's been global. It's, all, it's a bestseller. Oh, yeah, it is a bestseller. It's in English, Spanish, French, and French. English, Spanish, and French. I thought there was another one. I was going to go for Italian, but I, 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 was, I thought I was going to say, I don't think it is in Russian. They're asking, is it in Russian? No, 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 not yet. No, not yet. Oh! Not yet. Oh, I like that. Not yet. I like that. Uh, the, but the book, let's go to the book now. As I said, it sells out normally time and time again. For the sheer fact, you have everything you need. This is like having Katrina in your home 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Uh, yeah, without paying the food costs, really, and the, and the bills. But she's there in book form. Everything that you need is here. Well, it's true, though, because you, everything you've got is in this book. All your hard work, all your... The points where... What I'm trying to say is that... Katrina's made all the mistakes in, before, so you haven't got to. This is, the, this is the thing. So you've done the hard work, really, for me. Yeah, I, th I think the, uh, the idea of the book was really so, so that you've got help for the stitches, you've got ideas that you can uh, work on projects of your own, and then there are projects in there that you can work yourself using the templates in the book. See? Even templates thrown in. But if you're thinking, well, this is all well and good, and I need something to play around with. I don't want to use my little kits that I've got there for my kits. How do I get my hands on these little bits of threads and organza? 
well, you've got the play around kit as well. Oh, we don't just throw this show together. Now, there's two options, okay? You can go for the Hessian, well, it's the tweed, sorry, or the cotton. It's entirely up to you. It's the same item number. You just have to pick which one you would like. 915244, you've got the cotton or the tweed. Uh, once again, nine times out of ten, the tweed is most popular. I'm just going to say that now because normally it starts going a bit manic and the phone lines do start lighting up. What you've got though is you're getting all your threads in there, you're getting your organza, you're getting your beads, you're getting needles as well. It, it does what it says on the kit. It is a play around pack. Play around. If you've got the book, take a few elements from the book and just play around. Use them before you go to your main projects. Create your own. Create your own imagery with these as well. £17.99. It's, it's a good way to dip your toe into the water. 915-244 is your item number. And once you've dipped that toe in the water, you want to be submerged. Oh, in organza. Because, as I said at the start of the show, the organza is the paint palette to your work. Now, there are two options here. Okay, absolutely beautiful, beautiful colours. 675623 is your item number for your Organza fabric pack. These are 10 large pieces in beautiful landscape colours. These are the new colours. These have only just been launched. Yes, I, whew, I doubt myself. This is the worst thing is, I do all this prep and then I doubt myself when I get to the telly box. And I'm just looking for a reassurance. I'm like, am I talking right? Uh, but these are your brand new colours. Because of what, didn't this come off feedback from the viewers saying they want more earthy tones? That, that's right, because, uh, you know, the, the first pack's more or less like a rainbow colours, you know, much brighter, gardeny colours. And a lot of our customers were asking, you know, can, can we have some other colours to make bigger projects? And to, you know, a landscape could be your own garden, your view out of your window. And so we put together those those colours. You see, they listen. They do listen at Rowan Dean. They do listen. They don't listen about my jacket, but they listen to you out there. As well, you've got these beautiful earth tones out here as well. Over 10% has already gone here. 675, 623 is your item number. Then you've got your rainbow collection. So we're now talking your flowers. Um, we're really talking flowers with these, with your pinks and your blues, your purples, but your rainbow colours that you can see here. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful colours. And as I said before, and I'll no doubt say it again before, the end of the show the organza is your paint palette this is where your image will come to life 10 pounds and 99 pence 118313 is your item number right then let's go and see how easy all of this is we've got to remember as well we've got those beautiful fat quarters so let's see what we can do when we get these fat quarters home katrina what could i do when i get these fat quarters home Lots of projects, and that's what I'm going to show everybody. Hi, everybody. Uh, these, these are my new colours, fantastic colours uh, to work with. I get quite inspired by colours, so I love it when we have something new uh, to show you. So th this is the fabric that we use for all our stitching, so we obviously buy it in a pearl colour, uh, sort of creamy colours. But the colours that are available are just, like, just fantastic. So. I've picked a few that are of my favourite colours here. So this green one is called asparagus. And I've actually think the idea that you could work um, a book cover. Sometimes you've got lots of projects. I know you've got lots of projects that you, you finish and you, you don't always want to put them into a picture frame. So I've brought along some ideas that you could use uh, to put them as a book or a fabric or a journal uh, or a cushion. So this is asparagus and these are these samples on the front are samples of the pick -a mix uh, and the fabric doodles and the butterflies so that you can actually really you can use a collection of ideas uh, to work your design and obviously when I do a book cover I like the book cover to be the fold almost a bit like a cover of a book. I like that to be quite broad so that you can actually work around and add colour inside inside your book. And I'm going to stitch mine together just by hand, uh, and just as quite a substantial size. Or if you want to do something like this one, this one is the Wedgwood Blue, uh, and I've actually taken the fabric and I've just made it a little bit larger than the book. Um, really work out what you want to do on your each page or each part of the cover and then apply it to your uh, little little book 
but I think that's got great because I like 3D things and I like the idea of using a little bit of embroidery just to create something useful, a little bit notebook, a little bit of a notebook or something to put photographs in. But you know, you can do other things. So those, those colours are just lovely, powder blue, celestial blue. But I think probably the obvious thing to use for the fabrics um, is a cushion. And so this is the cushion that I've got here. So this again is one of the pick a mix um, kits and I've used it as a base and I've also added a little bit of a butterfly just because I love butterflies. But you can make, you can, I mean I've machined that on there, but you could just as easily, uh, you could just as easily do it all by hand. So that's, that's really the obvious, the obvious thing for, for the cushion. But of course I like working on the tweed fabric uh, and I've, some of the colours, some of the designs here, I've got one of our kits that's called Midnight Garden and it's worked on the tweed but I think the possibilities of making a cushion using those colours is just quite exciting. So you know you can use a larger pieces of work to create the design and then again the other two here, one's, this one's called Blush and Morph, you can take a little bit of a uh, a pick a mix one and blend those pinks and, and colours together or you can take one of our larger designs and you can actually make uh, a larger book cover with that so this one's called Pink Campion so you've, if you've got lots of projects that you, you've completed these can offer a great selection uh, of things and projects if you didn't want to do um, you know if you didn't want to use it do it as a picture and again Enchanted Garden, the mauve and the pink there look fabulous together. And I think it's quite nice to combine the idea, two ideas, the tweed and the fabric together. No, I think you're right there. And I think if you're thinking, this is, I, lo I love the idea, man, just make a simple border. Make the simple board. You've got your, you've got your templates at home. Maybe cut the centre out and use that as a border to frame your image. And then you could work onto that as well with the beautiful organza that we've got on the show as well. There are so many possibilities. We've got the pick and mix as well. As like Katrina was saying, um, all about the pick and mix. They are on the website as well, so do shop on the website. Uh, these are the landscapes mini kits pick and mix. You've got pick any three for twenty nine pounds and ninety five pence. Once again, look at those star five star reviews that we've got on there. Uh, you've got things like the poppy bank that's on there. You've also got things like the white house, the silver birch, the poppies. Um, the cottage on a hill, oh, like a castle on a hill, uh, the oak tree on a hill, uh, tall trees, the hillside path, summer ends. Oh, I love the names of these as well. And remember, I was thinking when you were talking about the books, you could turn these into a, like a, a gardening journal. Would be beautiful as a beautiful gift for someone. That would be, that would be, because that's where a lot of my inspiration comes from, so I think that would be a great idea. A little garden journal. Right then, what would you like to show us this time? I'm going to start with the flower doodles. Let's do it. All right, so flower doodles, they are uh, six individual designs on the fabric. Uh, you've got a collection, a fabulous collection of organzas. So the first thing I'm going to take is a couple of the colours. Uh, you'll, get lo you'll get loads of organza in here uh, to play with. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to start with one of my designs, and I'm just going to take the fabric on the, the bias, that's the stretchy part, and I'm just going to cut a small section across and then I'm just going to be a little bit mean to it and I'm just going to fray and distort that fabric and just place that over the print and then I'm just going to use the pins just to hold that in place and obviously in the instructions you get um, a diagram of what, how the organza is placed before you start but it's just a guide you know you can do your own thing you can add other colors in there if you've got other color combinations that you want to create so you're just going to pin that over the top and then you're just going to take the hoop and then this is a spring hoop so you put the plastic part on the table and then you're just going to hold the spring and that keeps that in place we're going to bring in the details for the hoops. There they are on the sides of the screen at the moment. So this, and you also get the scissors in here as well, the little snippy hoop scissors, uh, which are amazing. They're a good little size scissor as well for the hoops. The details are on the screen. Right then, back to demo. Okay, so once I've got the fabrics in place, uh, I'm just going to add a couple of stitches here just to create the stems of the flowers. 
So the, the thing to remember about this kind of stitching is that it's quite free. You don't, don't worry that it's absolutely perfect. Just enjoy using the colours. You probably only need a couple of stitches, three or four stitches, to create a design. So it's easy. No counting or anything like that. So you're just going to go over the stem there. And then to fasten off your work, you're just going to wind a couple of threads around a couple of times. And that's just enough to secure that. And then the next thing I'm going to show you is one of my favourites, and that's a French knot. So I don't think I can do a I don't think I can do a demonstration or show you without doing the French knot. They're just such a great stitch to work with. So as you go along, you can remove your pins when you've got more on there uh, to see. And then you're just going to do a tiny collection of French knots. So these are a collection of hydrangeas. So I'm just going to do the French knots. I'm just going to go around once, twice, and then tilt the needle point down and just sort of aim for one thread over. And then as soon as you push the needle in, you can tighten that, and that just keeps the thread nice and neat. And then you're just going to let it travel in on its own, and it'll do its own thing. And then you have the, the French knot. So I'm working these in six strands, which is quite heavy. So if you want to make a finer knot without fastening off, you're just going to go around once, and that's going to give you a smaller knot and just let it travel in. And the beauty about some of the threads is they're shaded, so the magic just happens and you don't have to do anything. You just see a colour change and you're going to build that up. What's the maximum time you can wrap it round to make a fence? Now, obviously, the more you wrap it round, the bigger the knot's going to be, I'm, I'm guessing. Well, I think, is there I think a rule? Uh, twice, I think, really, twice because I think it spoils the shape. I mean, there are other stitches that you can do that you can uh, go more times around, but this particular one, I, thought, I think, looks better just by going right twice. So if you, if you want to have uh, a, a chunkier effect, make the thread thicker. Oh, so to make the thread thicker, don't wrap it round more? Don't wrap it round more, just once or twice, and that's going to build up into a great area of texture, which is really, really lovely. And again, to fasten off, you're just going to a couple of threads around there. Okay, so as you go through your design, you can add more detail. But basically, French knots and straight stitch are, the, are key to these designs. So if I bring the other one in now, you can see that I've started uh, on some other areas of this design. So this design also has beads, it has some lazy daisies, has a little bit of stem stitch, and you can work each flower, so each design, and I would say work each one and then cut them up afterwards. Work all six together um, and you can create really a magical garden. I mean, I know some of our customers who keep the whole thing together and then put that, you could put that on a cushion and blend so there are no uh, gaps between the designs. But, you know, if you've got somebody in mind for a card, then and you know the colours and you know there's something for them, they'll, they'll really love that. It really, really is. Uh, we're very busy for these at the moment as well. The details are on the screen. 778115 is your item number. £18.95. and pence. You are getting everything you need in this kit to make those beautiful, beautiful doodles. Maybe you don't want to turn them into cards. Katrina said you want to keep them on that one page. You can do that as well. You get your organza, you're getting your beads in there, you get your needle and your threads in there as well. It, and your full, full instructions. Colour images if you're scared, if you're worried, you're thinking, I don't know what colours to do them. First of all, don't be. It's your magical garden that you're creating. But if you're thinking, if you just want a little helping hand, a little bit of guidance, you've got full colour instructions on there as well. If you do want more of a guidance, so you want more of a, a hold, if you want someone to hold your hand, as it were, and I mean that in the nicest possible way, we got the books on the show as well. £15.29 if you're a Freedom member. Now, I was just flicking through uh, the book itself. And I think I was. Am I right in saying that um, Rowan Dean embroidery is nearly coming up to nearly 30 years old? 
Yeah, probably a little bit more than that. Well, it was 1989 when you started. I was, what, exactly, I was four. I'm 34 this year, so it was, <laughs> I was literally I was four when you started. Not uh -huh. to make Bill Oldham, but I was working it all out. Because it's got all Katrina's history in the front <laughs> cover. I didn't realise you were trained as a teacher. Yeah, yeah, originally. Ah, you see? I was learning all sorts while we were watching <laughs> that demo reading this. Um, but what I do, I was. I was in grip. I was like, oh, I never realised you were a textile teacher for 20 years. Yes, yeah, yeah. You see the things I learn, the knowledge I now have. But what you've got in here as well is you've got beautiful, beautiful pictures in here as well. But then, what, what I was getting at with the 30 years of heritage, you've got 30 years of experience in a book, is what I'm saying. So, the mistakes have already been made for you. So, everything that you're reading here is going to give you the quickest and the easiest way to create beautiful, beautiful projects. And if you're thinking... I'd like to have a little go at these, but I just want to have a little play around. I just want to take a needle, take the variated thread, and create my own images. We can do that. You've got the play around kits on the show now. You've got two of the play around kits on the show as well. All, the hardest decision for me and with these is choosing which backing you would go for. You have got the cotton, or you've got the tweed. Okay, so it's the same item number. Everything else is the same as well. Uh, cotton is the most popular today, which is a rarity. You're loving the cotton. It's normally the tweed that takes the lead, but you're loving the cotton today. Not only do you get the backings, though, so you get two pieces of the backings. You also get your pieces of organza in there as well, variated colours, so you can really go to town and create your palette. But then, look at all of these threads. All of this, from variated threads to silver threads to chunky yarns to chunky wools that are in there as well. Everything that you need is in here. A pack of beads as well and your needles included. Have a play around, have a little go. If, this, if, you're, if you've tuned in today and you're thinking, I'd like to have a go at that, have a little go. £17.99. 915244 is your item number for this as well. Uh, let's look at your organza that we've got on the show as well. So we've got two ways. So let's look at the, this one. It's the first one. This was chosen for by you, as it were. This was, this was chosen by feedback. You wanted earthier tones. You didn't. You liked the rainbow tones, but you couldn't create your landscapes with them. You couldn't create the scenery. So Rowan Dean went away, and they they found these beautiful, beautiful earth tones that you've got here today. Um, and did I just hear right? A third of the stock. A third of the stock has now already gone. Ten pounds and ninety nine pence for ten large pieces. Let me open one out so you can see how much you use. Look at that is a big old piece of organza. But you're only going to use the tiniest amount, maybe to colour in a leaf. Maybe to do you could hold fold it in half and do a hillside. And that is the green hillside. And then you add onto top of that. So that is your sort of it's sort of your background papers, as it were, you could use your organzas for. Remember your earth tones that we've got on the screen at the moment, 675623 is your item number, £10.99. and pence. Then we've got your rainbows organzas as well, different item number this time. So you've got the beautiful rainbow organza that's on there, £10.99 and pence again. So you've got your, like, your greens, your yellows, your, pink, uh, your oranges, uh, your reds, your purples, your blues, your mauves that's in there and your two pinks. And 30% of the stock here now has already gone. Ten pounds and ninety-nine pence. Once again, a large amount of organza is what you're getting. But on the flip side of that, if you just need organza, this is top quality organza that we're selling. So if you're just thinking you need it for maybe another project, maybe you make boxes and you like to fill them with a little organza bag. Maybe you want to make a little organza smell. You know the little smellies that you can in wardrobes and drawers and gift them? You can do this. You can make them. This is not necessarily for your embroidery. It's just organza. So if you want it for other projects, please, 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 this is the best time to get it as well. Um, we've also got Fat Quarters on the show. Brand new colours of Fat Quarters that we've got now as well. All the way from your mauves to your blues to your uh, asparaguses as well. Absolutely beautiful. We've got your powder blues on there, uh, dusky blues on there as well. Once again, looking at that colour palette, they all work together. So once again, I'll say it, maybe you just want the fat quarters for other projects that you've got going on. 
please feel free for £12.99. They're big old fat quarters as well. 246064 is your item number. Right then, let's go straight back to demonstration. Uh, what are we doing this time, Katrina? We're just having a little look at the summer tweed needle case. Uh, I'm just getting all the pieces arranged. So, th so here you've got um, the front and the back of the design and then at the top of the fabric you've got three different designs. Two, two have got illustrations and then th the third one you can just make up what, whatever you'd like uh, to create for that other panel. So the idea is that you work each panel, um, the summer garden at the front and then at the back a more abstract design but still using a few different stitches so we've got some lazy daisy stitches here we've got some long legged french knots on the front here but again it starts with the background being uh, layers of organza so i'm just going to show you how to do a little bit on here so it doesn't matter whether you do the front or the back of the design uh, first but you're going to complete all your needle case before you cut it up and construct the needle case. So here I've got um, some layers of, of the organza, I've got some layers of um, the shades of green, I've got layers of um, metallic threads. So really this, this, this part here is a really easy way of creating texture in a design. So one of the stitches that I'm just going to show you is a little bit of one that we've probably all used before uh, and that's a little bit of chain stitch just to create columns so on the fabric you'll find that you'll have a few lines as a guide but here again I'm using the spring hoop to keep them working and then I'm just going to go back into the same place tilt the needle and then bring it back onto the surface and you're just going to create a nice loop there and that's going to be the first link to the chain and then you're going to go back into that thread and the, the thread in the middle is this what's going to hold the loop in place. So this is one you could use to outline. You know when you're at school and you have that PE bag and you have to put your name on it? Well, this is the stitch that was often used to do that. So it's a great outline stitch and just quite useful. And then, of course, if you want to do this stitch by itself, so it's a detached chain, I often use that. So this stitch is just used for, to create really, a single stitch on its own. So you go back into the same place and then you bring the needle back onto the surface through the loop and then you just make that stem as long or as short as you want. So you could make it into a sort of a plant. It's quite a useful stitch. And then as you're bringing the thread back and forth, if the fabric twists, just hold your work and let the thread untwizzle and then it's less likely to get in a knot as you're working the thread back and forth. So there you're going to build up lots of texture and of course on all of the, all of the doodles and um, this one I've got lots of sparkly beads so I'm just going to show you how to add the beads there. So in this one there are Let's just show you the fabulous collection of beads there. So we've got some shades of gold, we've got some sequins, we've got some turquoise ones there. And you get a lot of beads in the kit, because I just like beads, so I give you lots to, to work with. And again, you'll get the needle in the kit uh, and the thread there uh, is bead thread. So all that that means is that it's going, not going to stretch when you put your beads as, and attach them. In the accessory kit as well. So we've got an accessory kit on the show. At uh, 741201 is your item number. Uh, so you're getting extra needles in there. You're also getting the flower head pins as well. Now, the flower head pins are they're, they're a useful little tool, aren't they? Especially to if you're new to the to hold your organza into place. Yeah, well I mean I think they're great because they've got a they're coloured. So if you drop them on the floor you know you can find them uh, and it, it really holds the organza in place you know it's really really good to have and I think the same the same with the um, the pebble all right so the pebble is a is a range of size different sizes of needles so you know some if you feel that you can't thread the thread uh, then you want a, a bigger eye just get a bigger needle that's what we say don't struggle with with threading a needle uh, and that's got a nice collection especially if you're if you want to use the organza 
um, if you're going to stitch with the organza, uh, the large size needle is, is an 18 and that's really useful for that. So it's good. So you're getting the pebble in there. You're also getting your flower pins in there as well. Um, all of this. Uh, that's not the, that, the. We're very busy. Find it on the website. We're just going to show you a cheeky little picture, uh, but the details will be on the website as well. Or just say the call centre. Pop it into me, basket. It'd be a lot easier. Right then. We're very busy across the board. We are going back to the. Uh, we're going back to demonstrations very, very shortly. Uh, so. <laughs> Are you alright here, Kim? There's <laughs> lots of changing going on here. I'm about to read a number and it disappears again. Uh, we're going back to the needle case is what we're talking about at the moment. This is what we're on. Your accessories at the bottom of the screen. 727498 is your item number. Uh, the needle case is very busy and there's so much more you can do with it. Don't just be put off by the word needle case, okay? Because there is so much you can do, isn't there, Katrina? There's loads. I mean, I think a, a little fabric journal, a stitch journal, you know, you can work at each page. Uh, you can make them all different. You'll have lots of organza left. And I'll just show you. So when you come to, once you've completed all your stitching, you can use the hand-dyed felt to create the pages in your book. And then you can use the ones at the top of your design or all the other fabrics that you get with your your kit so you know I look great and I think I'm into the you know I do I do like butterflies so I think you could decorate some of the pages with some of the um, sets of butterflies they're a brooch so it's easy you can apply it and then you can move it to another project so it's easy you can sort of use the butterflies as little bookmarks as it were to so yeah. you, the project that you're currently on you have a butterfly on that in the corner of the page so it's easier to get to there's so many things that you can do with the projects once you get them home. You just have to start at the basics. Start at the beginning. It's always a very good place to start, said Julie Andrews. But um, start at the beginning and just go small. Go really small and then go big. Then you can really, once you've got the knowledge and you've got the confidence, you can then, your pictures can be as big or as small as you really want, can't they? Because you, Katrina, you give us the rough guidelines on all the patterns that we're getting. That's right, that's right. Uh, that, it's just the starting point. You can add more texture, you can add more stitching. Remember, it's your, design, it's your piece of work, so you can create as much detail on that as possible. And, and it's lovely to see when people send those in. It's, it's fantastic, so you can see, oh, look at that, that's so good, I love it. And it, there's a lot of satisfaction, isn't there, in, in completing a piece of work. It's exciting. I mean, I get excited all the time when I'm stitching a new project and then I sit back and admire it. So you don't forget to put it in the kitchen and just have a look at it. Just move it around the, the, your home and just enjoy stitching. No, you will. So what, what, we look at, what are we looking at now? What are we up to now? Well, we're, I'm just going to show you how to do um, a fabric flower. Oh, okay. So I've just taken uh, a strip of the, of the organza. It could be any colour uh, that's in the pack. And then I've got a single thread, and then I'm just going to do a running stitch down the middle, all the way down. I've got a knot at the end there just to keep it in place. So as you pull that through, so there's my line of stitching down the middle. And then the next thing you're going to do, you're just going to gather that up, and that's going to make your flower and then just hold all the folds between your fingers and then you're just going to stitch a couple of stitches just to hold that in place. And then use the same thread to attach it to the background. So I use, I use these little fabric flowers quite a lot. And then you can just decide where you want to put that and just create a little bit of texture and just use a couple of stitches to hold that in place. Would you say that? Would you say do the like the knots and the threading first on the background before you go in with your flowers? Do, the flowers are sort of the last thing yeah. you need to do. I think they're. I think they're, they're. They're nice. They're nice to do. They're nice to create texture. So probably towards the coming to the end of, of your project. But I think it looks great when you've added all the beads. You've added some um, French knots, or columns of French knots, which we did on the other two on the other designs, it means you can just really create an interesting magical garden, really. 
No, you really can. Remember, you get a lot of organza in the kits as well, and you can really go to town with the flowers because obviously, if you cut your organza down, you're going to get more flowers because they will be a lot smaller. So you could create that meadow of flowers if you wanted to, and you could also slip into them. You've got all the threads as well. Now they come as a ream of threads, but you can also break down the threads into their single strands, can't you? That's right. So in mean, uh, the variegated. I mean, in this, in the needle case one, we've got some fabulous colours here. We've got we've got some variegated ones and they're made of six strands so that means you could use two strands or three strands to create a different effect or compa combine different colors together you really can so if you're thinking I'd like to mix the threads uh, just twine them together and you're gonna get yourselves your own threads each time and um, beautiful the needle case details are on the screen 23 pounds and 95 pence 727498 is your item number we're very busy for the accessories kit over half the stock now has already gone for our accessories kit we'll bring up the details for you and uh, this is what they look like 741201 is your item number uh, you're getting your pebble in there you're also getting your pins in there as well and you're also getting your two strong magnets in there which is always handy to have when you're doing little projects like this as well nine pounds and 99 pence it's worth popping in that order if I was you uh, we've got the doodle kits as well on the show as I said before so the doodle kits themselves you can make six cards is what you're creating but you doesn't have to be cards we're approaching 40 percent of the stock here now has already gone once again a nice little place to start katrina if you once again if you're dipping your toe into the water of rowan dean it's it's not overwhelming, is what I'm trying to say, these little projects. No, no, and I think it's quite exciting that there, there's six individual designs there. You've got, you know, you can work out a project and it doesn't take too long, and then you, you go on to the next one, and that's lovely. As a collection, they're really, really easy to do. I mean, the Astor's there, that's a lovely one. And then you can, you can add more texture, if you wish, uh, and more beads. But the, the Cosmos there is really lovely to do in the little butterfly. And then, of course, you've got, uh, you know, you can add your own texture as well. Well, what I like about the six designs as well is for the sheer fact, if you're anything like me, you start a project and you think, I've, I've, you're losing your inspiration. You don't know where to go with it. You could go to another one. You get six little designs. So you could just do a little bit of all of them if you want. And it's also a good takeaway gift, a takeaway project as it were for wherever you are whether you're sitting in a uh, in a port waiting for a ship obviously when we all go back on holidays again if you could take it on holiday and do it round by the pool because you don't need many things you've got your threads you could do it on your lunch break if it's sunny outside sit there in the park and do a bit of needlepoint go into your own little zone into your own little area 18 pounds and 95 pence 778115 is your item number uh, i think we're gonna look at butterflies this time we're going to look at the, um, the the set that's got the common blue in here. So I'll just show you. I've put my work uh, into the hoop, and I think it's definitely worth using a hoop for this. It's on a, a slightly heavier weight organza. Um, it's really lovely to work with. And this time, probably not start with a knot. Probably you can bury the thread inside or leave it longer to... Um, thread in or stitch over the top so you're just going to treat this fabric exactly the same and you're just going to stitch and it's obviously in the instructions you'll see that there are directions for the stitch and what it should look like and it's an enlarged picture so that you can look at the detail but really this bit of butterfly is made by mixing the shades of blue and you know butterflies are appearing a lot earlier this year and I've seen common blue in our garden and they look absolutely lovely. So you basically you're going to stitch over the top through to cover the whole wing and eventually a good way to do it is just to hold hold your work up to the light and if you can see any light through the fabric keep stitching. So you're going to go all the way over the over the wings like that. And when you've, when you've completed your whole shape, it doesn't take very long to do these. When you've completed the whole shape, you're then going to attach the brooch part. So rather than stitch the brooch on, I did have, a, I did have one somewhere. It seems to have disappeared. But what you, need, what you can do is you can take the brooch part and attach it to the, the body part of the uh, butterfly and put that on before you actually start and cut it out. 
So do you, you do all the stitching first, and then, then the brooch, and then you can cut it out. You know when you've finished your actual butterfly in the hoop, do you just literally, this is more of a question just for me, because I'm intrigued, do you just cut just around the wings like normal, or will all the threads then, do you have to leave like a little bit of like seam allowance as it well, were? Well, no, not, not really, I mean, the stitching will be quite solid all the way around. Okay. Uh, and then you could actually melt it out, sometimes I do suggest that you could melt it out, you just put... Um, a pencil uh, and the needle on the pencil and as you put it into a flame like a candle then you can just dip it in go round and keep as it cools down it will melt the organs it's not going to melt the cotton uh, oh. and you can cut it out like that if you're not if you're not able or feel sure of that then you could just use the embroidery scissors and cut round I tell you, it's a question I never thought of. I thought I'm going to ask the question because I was, I was thought if you cut it out, you're going to cut all the threads out as well, don't you? But obviously you don't. Uh, these are the sets of butterflies. There's three sets. You can go set one, set two, and set three. Top, middle, or bottom. It's entirely up to you which ones you want to go for. Uh, you've got the top row, the middle row, and then you've also got the bottom row as well there of your beautiful butterflies. Thirteen pounds and ninety-five pence. One three zero five zero five eight is your item number. One three zero zero five eight. Thirteen pounds and ninety-five pence. But something that's been extremely busy is the hydrangea that we've got on the show as well. Um, look at the detail that you've got into this. Uh, it's very. It, look at the detail and the depth of the, the hydrangea. Is there something very tactile about Rowan Dean's design as well? You just want to go and touch them uh, because it really does stand out to you. So you just want to go in and see what's there because uh, it is that beautiful organza that is very, very tactile. Twenty nine pounds and ninety five pence. Zero six 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 nine three is your item number for these. So, um, Something else that we're very busy on as well is your organza that we've got on the show. Now, remember, there's two types and they're under different item numbers. Uh, the accessory pack now is now limited stock that we showed you before. 741201 is your item number. It's still limited stock. It's not sold out yet. So if you do want it, um, get in while you can. It's not sold out yet. There is still a few clinging on. Um, Bless our little kid. Uh, she does a lot of buttons. Uh, it is now limited stock, so we have still got... Is it sold out now? Oh, no, it's limited stock. Uh, it's very limited. It's very, very limited stock is what we got. £9.99, pence. Seven four one two zero one. Each your item number. Get it while you can. Right, organza is what we're talking about. Uh, there's two sets, different item numbers. The first set are more your landscape tones that we've got here. £10.99 pence for 10 large pieces. Um, in your landscape colours, that what you've got, you've got your blues in there, maybe your skies or your lakes or your rivers that you're going to create. You've got the beautiful reds and oranges for those sunsets that you may want to do in your large landscapes as well. Moving on down to the browns and sort of the greens of the trees throughout the seasons as the seasons change. You've got those colours in here as well. 675623 is your item number. These colours were brought about more or less from you. It was your feedback that enhanced and made these colours what they are and how they really got to the TV. It was the feedback that you wanted to do larger prints, you wanted to do larger images, but you didn't have the colour variety there. Well, now you've got them. £10.99, and they're very, very busy. 675623 is your item number for your beautiful landscape colours. We've also got on the show uh, another set of colours as well. So they're the landscapes you're looking at the moment, but maybe you want them some slightly big and brighter colours. You want the rainbows that we've got here. We've also got the rainbows as well. All these ones here are your rainbow colours, your originals as they were. £10.99. 118313 is your item number. £10.99 uh, for your rainbow colours as well. We've only got a minute and a half left. Where's this hour gone? I know, I don't know. It goes so quickly. It's flown by. Uh, Katrina, what time are you back? You're back today at... Two. Two o'clock this afternoon with our Jan... Oh, good luck. <laughs> with our Janice this afternoon. Could be one to watch. It would be one to watch if I was you. Uh, and we're very, very busy across the board. Um, also, that accessory pack, it might not be here this afternoon either. We've also got queues on the phone, so it might be easier. And we've got the new Fat Quarters on the show as well. All the beautiful colourways. There is so much you can do with your Fat Quarters. 
that you've already got. Uh, these are the brand new colorways launching. Well, they've only been, not been out long at all, to be fair. Uh, things like your baby blue, your mauve's in there, your asparagus is in there as well. The easiest way to look at these would be on the website. Jump to the website and flick through the colors if I was you. Uh, 246064 is your item number. Uh, Katrina, what are we demoing in the later hour at 2? Well, we're going to have a look at the high danger. We're going to look at the play around packs and hopefully look at the organza. Oh, and so. And of course, and the new ones. And don't forget those. And the new colours and, and the new fat quarters that we're looking at as well. Uh, so stay tuned. Pop your TVs on record. Find a blank tape if you still use tapes. And you might want to pop that in uh, to get all the hints and tips that you will ever need. I will see you in an hour's time. See you in a bit. Yes, indeed. The next three hours look a little bit like this. Uh, Crafts 2 One Day Special is up next with our Alex. Then join me for... Oh, cardio. It's still on the cards. I hope I get to do it. I'm a little bit excited. Hi, my name is Maggie and I'm from Impressions Crafts. Um, I've been running my business now for 15 years. It's a small family-run business in the south of Cheshire. We have a large craft shop. We sell all sorts of beading and jewellery supplies. Um, I have a passion for making jewellery. I love working with um, the Lucite style flower beads and we make thousands and thousands of angels and have been doing so for the last few years. We've been bringing uh, to Hachanda lots of lovely beading kits, jewellery, uh, for necklaces and bracelets and earrings and um, we also bring a wide range of angels and accessories, beading accessories like bookmarks and um, we also have our range of laser cut uh, sun catchers and mobiles, all the lovely crafty beads. Hope you can tune into my shows and I'm looking forward to seeing you on her channel. Hi, I'm Matthew Palmer, a professional artist with the SAA, the UK's largest and friendliest art community. The SAA exists to inform, encourage and inspire all who want to paint, and that's exactly what you'll learn to do with me as your teacher. As a self-taught artist of 30 years ago, I know the challenges of a white piece of paper and learning how to paint, but with me, Achanda and the SAA, I'll show you how easy watercolour painting really is. I'm here on a Chandu because I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper fear and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. So whether you're a beginner or an advanced artist, I've got some fantastic watercolour techniques that will get you started and take you even further on your watercolour journey. So join me, Matthew Palmer, for my shows on a Chandu. Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi order? When you place an item on Flexibuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your Flexibuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping baskets, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Hi, I'm Jean. And together with my partner Malcolm, we run a small business in the northeast of England called Crafty Individuals. At Crafty Individuals, we are mostly involved in the design and manufacture of a very wide range of red rubber art stamps. But we also have a range of background papers and mini images that are also brilliant to create with. Personally, my background is in art and design and crafting and most of the designs have been created by myself. 
We also have a great little team of other artist friends who've helped us along the way and have come up with other designs that completely work alongside our own. So do pull up a pew and join us on the Hachanda shows. We can't wait to see you there. Hi, I'm Joe from The Mill Shop Online. Welcome to The Mill Shop Online. As you can see, we're a lot of fabric here. We're very passionate about our fabrics. We're one of the largest online sellers in the UK of fabrics for upholstery, soft furnishings, and now the lovely craft market. Whether you're starting out with fabric or you're an experienced sewer, we love to bring projects that every ability can really have a go at. So don't miss The Mill Shop Online shows on Hotanda. Now it's the penultimate live hour of our fabulous one day special, but the majority of you have been going for the complete collection, which we will get to. Now these are the next instalment of the layering dies. Do you, want, uh, do you want to talk us through these gorgeous designs for us? Yeah, certainly. I mean, what I'll do is, the easiest way to show it yeah. is if I, I'll show you here, we've cool. got, you've basically got three dies and these are large dies. So these are over five inches square because I know on TV things never actually look the right size that they are. Mm -hmm. So you've got this is layer A. Yep. So it's a beautiful background die on its own. You've got a gorgeous trellis which we call Harlequin because you have this dot in the centre. So on every other diamond you've got this dot in the centre. So it's a beautiful background die. Mm -hmm. But what you then have is layer B. And layer B is very, very similar. Yep. It's got the diamonds for the Harlequin and the dots. But it is slightly larger than layer A. Ah, yeah. So it layers up. But then you have layer C. So we'll swap that one in, which again, this time, has an even smaller cut diamond, an even smaller circle, but has all this beautiful detail of stitched diamonds all the way through it. I mean, I know it's quite hard to see, but there is a design pattern in there as well. So again, it makes a beautiful die on its own, beautiful background, but you put the next layer on top when I get them the right way around. It's a little bit difficult upside down and back to front. <laughs> yeah. And you've got a final layer. You put the A on and you've got a layer again. So if I pull this one in, which I'm going to demo in this hour, that gives you a real good idea of mm. what you've got. This is actually just using layer A, but it shows all that difference of what you've got. I think you've got all the samples where they're multi-layered up, yeah, Alex. I, I don't have some? one over on my section. Let's have a little so, look. If, if um, I can ask Auntie Alex to show that. <laughs> Not a problem. These are fabulous. And as I said earlier, the angels, John's lovely angels, do a fab job. They've all got different styles. And that's what's so nice in terms of, you know, it doesn't matter what sort of crafter you are. These are just beautiful to work with. Uh, this one, I, I, I can spot Emma's every time. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> An Emma Blake sample is an Emma Blake sample, isn't yeah. it? But they're just beautiful. She's in later. She is, yeah, yeah. I can't wait to see her, actually. I haven't That's seen her in cool. ages. But look at these fabulous designs. No two are the same. Let me get another one here. Um, they are so versatile. That's the thing, isn't it, John? The versatility of them. It is. What you've got is you've got three separate beautiful background dies that will work separately to give you beautiful backgrounds that are slightly different. But, as you can see on that sample there, wow. you put all three together and you've Indeed. got a completely different look again. Or you put two of them together and you'll get a different look. A different two together. Mm -hmm. Or if you paper piece it. Yeah. The idea is these can sit out. And these will make the most beautiful backgrounds for any card you've got. And I, I wish I'd, and here's one we made earlier. But you can see. I mean, that's so different. It is. But if I bring that to that one, you can see there you've got all those layers and all those different colours showing in there. Indeed. But it looks really tropical with this sort of the calypso flower and the tropical leaves on it. Again, some of the other classic ones. It's one that you will use and use and use and use the set all the time. Absolutely. So if you do want the one day special, the three dies here, £34.97. Item number is 824944. Uh, but then we also have the Calypso flowers, uh, they're the stamp and die set. We have those available for us. And I, I think it's, uh, what have I dropped? Hey. I think it's ingenious actually, John, uh, the, uh, I, the idea that you've come up with in terms of how you can um, 
match up those corners to the die and the stamps and then you can cut them all out all together. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I, I came up with this idea originally a couple of years ago. Yeah. And the idea being that stamping a stamp and then trying to lay a die around it is a nightmare. If the stamp has is a solid stamp with the corners on yeah. and the die is missing the corners, you simply line up the corner dies to the stamped image and cut them out. Yeah. With this one, with the Calypso flower, what we've done is we've actually made it a triple layer. So you're getting cool. two stamps yeah. that oh, will give yeah. different colours and different layers. Then you have the third element is the die to cut them out. So you can really easily cut out. If I bring one of the flowers in here, you can see you've got we've got white in the center mm -hmm. we've got a light green going halfway and then we've got that dark blue on the outside but I will show you how to do this one in this show Excellent. But you stuff. get a multi-layer stamp and die cut really easily in a couple of minutes excellent and again you can see the the lovely board there I'll show you again more samples with these on they're beautiful um, so if you go for them individually, uh, it's $14.99. Um, item number there is 615415. But however, most of you are going for the complete collection with all three of the Harlequin dies and the Calypso stamp and die set. And it is on screen for you. We are 70% of the stock gone and we had a very, very deep stock. Um, 44.96. Oh, but I should just say, by the way, the One Day Special itself has a seven-pound saving. That then carries over to the complete collection. If you're not a Freedom member, you get a further five pounds off. But if you are a Freedom member, you get a further discount. I think it's ten percent. So you're saving in total sixteen pounds and fifty pence. It's forty pounds and forty-six pence. Um, or again, you can spread the cost on flexi. -wise. I think yeah, twenty-five pounds and twenty-three pence. 20, yeah, sorry, even better, 20 pounds and 23 pence, and you'll get all of this dispatched to you on your first instalment, 107743. Right, more samples, more samples. So this sample has um, got the Calypso flowers on, and I love, the, I love the way that you can build up those colours and the tones, John. Yeah, that's the, that's the classic. That was actually the very first card I made really? once we'd um, had the samples through. Yeah. Um, and I just love the way that I've gone from that light yellow cream mm. card to a yellow to a, a bright red. It may actually be that it's not that obvious. I mean, I've got one here. Yeah. Where are we? You can see it on the top here. But it's the way that you actually go. We go from this yellow centre mm. to a brighter yellow to a very sort of dark red. And although it's not as obvious, it really makes a difference against just a flat flower. Yeah. You'll see more colours, and if you use more striking colour combinations, mm. you can really see that difference in there. But it's so easy to do. And we, I called it the Calypso flower because to me it was just so tropical. Indeed. It, it really had that Hawaiian, almost Bahaman look to which it. Which we wish we were there. That's yes. What we do. Um, and again, look at this completely different look. Any occasion, you've got baby cards. This one's really fun and funky. This one's a really nice happy birthday card. Um, here we can see our wonderful tropical flowers on this one. Could be any occasion. And then look at this with the beautiful sparkles. So as I said, the design team are fabulous. They really are. But it's the versatility, versatility put my teeth back in, of these wonderful dyes that are going to make it wonderful to play with. Good grief, three quarters of the stock have gone. I only called like, that's another 5% gone, I think, isn't it? In seven minutes. Do be quick with these. Uh, 107743. Now, something else that go absolutely hand in hand are our wonderful exotic leaves. Um, and you were saying earlier, John, that it was, um, was it you said what you, the first ever thing that you drew when you were at college was a... It was, yeah. yeah the, the very first project we had at college to draw was you had to bring something natural in from home. Yeah. So I brought in a cheese plant leaf because my mum had this beautiful cheese plant. You sort of remember the late 80s, early 90s. Yeah. <laughs> you know, everyone had a massive cheese plant growing in their living room. So I cut off a cheese plant leaf and that's what I took in to draw. Right. And so it's the very first thing I drew at college and we... We had to draw it and sketch it, and then we had to take the lines off it. And mm. somewhere at home, I have um, a piece of applique I did with really? that pattern. Nice. But it, it's it's for some reason ever since then. So for the last ooh, art college, so for the last fifteen years since I left, it's only ten. Yeah, uh, ten years since I left, <laughs> yeah. I've been I've been you know a, a absorbed by the idea of cheese plants and tropical leaves so yeah. of course uh, when I drew these um, they were really easy because I'd got that movement in my hand to do it. 
they're so cool. Wait till you see them, though. They are really marvellous. Um, over 60% of the stock has gone. Can you see how well they work with the Calypso flowers? They are just perfect, these wonderful designs. Uh, they are, I, uh, they're really pleasing to the eye for me. I really like them. Look at this sample as well. Beautiful. And then one more. They are fabulous. And they're just 9 99 And, of course, if you're getting your um, one-day special on Flexi, that opens your Flexi order basket. So you could be getting this on your first payment for £5. Sounds good to me. Uh, 369924 is the item number. Right then, without further ado, um, I'm going to pass over to our lovely John. Oh, OK, thank you. Right, so I, did, I keep promising I will show you the paper piecing sort of technique and how we actually achieve this. And I know this looks quite complex and it's only using the aid die from the set, but it's actually really relatively simple to do. And it's part of the reason it's simple is because in the design. So what I'm going to do first is I want to show you how to um, sort of put the adhesive on. I know this sounds strange, but when you've got an open space like this, the number of times I've got this wrong is, is been crazy. So I've got a piece of my double-sided adhesive and I've cut it down smaller than the card itself, but it is larger than the aperture. And this is the, the John Next Door one, which I think we've got on the website, or it's there's always some hanging around somewhere because it's easy to flick off. So. All I'm going to do is take off the protective sheet, but I'm going to put the protective sheet down. I'm then going to take the die-cut piece that I've already die-cut, because nobody wanted to see me die-cut another one of these. I'm going to put that down over the protective sheet, take the sticky piece and stick that over the top and press down. And the reason I'm saying about this is the number of times that I've not put that down, I've put the adhesive down and I've stuck it to my mat. And these are literally super sticky. I mean, that is hanging on literally to my fingernail. Um, so you want to be a bit careful, but it also helps you when you're actually piecing your pieces in because you can hold that and cover over the adhesive and stop yourself and do a row at a time. But I'm going to bring in one that I've part done um, because I can and because it's a lot easier. But what you would normally do when you're paper piecing a die we would suggest that you take the die, you cut it, you're then very careful to leave the pieces in, or you make sure that you, you, you put them all down next to you and make sure that you've got every piece because, of course, the bit there must come from there. That's not how it works on these. All you need to do, and what I've done, is I've shaken the pieces cut off when I've cut a bright yellow one into a bag. And what I do is I take my die, mm -hmm. And what's left on my plate, and I scrape it into the bag. Good yeah? top tip, that. And the reason is that every single piece in here, they will fit in at least three different locations, and that's repeated about ten times. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is just literally tip that out. So, what you've got in here, you have a piece that's shaped like this, and I'm really going to challenge Paul Marcus on this one <laughs> so that you can see the difference. You've got a piece that's shaped like that, you've got a piece that's shaped in a dot, and you've got a piece that's shaped with a corner kicking out of it. Now, I think I've used the ones out of this one. Um, so, well done, John. I have, which is unfortunate. Let's see if I can find one on my board. Oh, of course I can, because I never clean things down properly. <laughs> but you have a Handy. piece like that, yeah, mm. that has a corner and has a kick out. And that's all you need. You keep the little circles and the edging pieces when you're doing the edge. But what I want to do for this is I just want these pieces that have the full spike at the top and the curve at the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. And all you do is it doesn't matter where you put them, they will fit every time. So they don't have to come out of the same place. You see that one? Rotate it 90 degrees and look. It fits in there. Perfect. Take the next one randomly and it will fit in there because every single piece that's on here, there are only three different designs. So I drop that one in and if you can see, just do one more. Here we go. We'll go one more. There we go. So if you can see there with the light yellow, I've used the side piece. 
So I've used the piece that kicks at the side. So you don't have to. You just take off the pile each time and put one in. So there's actually, to start with, only three different pieces that you need to do. So if there's something you want to do, Alex, I'll carry on and do and finish the row. Indeedy. Uh, so the complete bundle, what you've got in here is your uh, three fabulous multi-layering dies. Um, the Harlequin selection we've got for you today. And you're also getting in the complete collection the Calypso stamps and die set here. Um, so, and I love the extra stitch detail that John's popped on this one as well. So you can, of course, use them individually and they still look absolutely beautiful. Then we come on to that lovely Calypso set with the die and then you can cut multiple flowers all at once. And they've got that um, such a nice way that, that you can layer those up as well um, and really bring out the colour. Right, let's show you some samples. More samples, more samples. We were saying earlier in the 8am show, and by the way, you can catch that on Rewind, um, that he, he, um, John can tell when uh, a design team has really loved something because they, they, he, they end up sending boxes and boxes because they've played and played with it. So that's really cool. I'm liking that with the mirror card. Or you could go really nice and soft and subtle with this one. See, this is just waiting then to have a nice sentiment popped on it. Um, we can go... To this one which is fabulous and monochromatic liking that uh, but completely different we've got this one I love she's done the back and then look at this on the front how cool is that is there something on the inside is there knowing oh. Emma Blake there probably is something on the yeah. inside because <laughs> Emma covers every bit in color if she possibly can brilliant she'll stuff. cover everything with it um, right let's go to this one which is again really pretty oh there's something inside here look at this beautiful beautifully done that's stunning again completely different i love it i've got so many samples here it's gonna timber over and then this one absolutely stunning uh we've got the uh, flowers on this too layered up this one this is beautiful love these samples amazing and then look shall i do this one as the last one completely different uh, so again, w uh, the complete collection, what are we on? Was it, so, was it um, three quarters? Three quarters of the stock has gone. Uh, you take the £7 saving from the one-day special. You carry that over. You get an extra £5 saving if you're not a Freedom member. And then you get a further 10% if you are a Freedom member. So the total saving for this is £16.50. Uh, there you go. And of course, so it's a why not deal. Two payments if you want to spread the cost and you're a Freedom member of £20.23, and pence, which is such a good deal. 107743. And then, of course, again, we've got the leaves that work absolutely perfectly. I love these exotic leaves. They're wonderful. They just, they just put a smile on my face. Uh, so cool. And then again, I'll show you a few samples so you can see those. Here we go with the samples of our lovely exotic leaves. That's pretty. I'll have to show you this sample in a second because it's fabulous. Got this one in the lovely luscious green. That's gorgeous. Uh, we've got another one here. Beautiful. And then this is so stunning. It's just happy, isn't it? Really nice. We've got another one here. And then um, let's bring this in because this is cool. What a fabulous piece of home decor. That's got a bit of everything on, which is lovely. Now, two thirds of the stock has gone. Uh, you're getting seven dies for 9.99, and they're sizable. 369924 is the item number. Now, we do also have some inks, um, that, and these are your pigment inks. Um, they're beautiful, and you've got 40 in total. And these really, John, they're all the colours you need. They are. What you've got there is like, it's like, almost like a basic starter kit. Yeah. Or if you've just got into stamping and you want some colours, then this is perfect because you've got 20 colours of dye ink yeah. and 20 colours of pigment ink. Amazing. So the two main inks that you would use, you sort of have your dye ink, which is perfect for stamping the flowers and things like that. And then you've got, with all going through all the colours, and that's all the 20 colours that Eyes Inc. do. Great stuff. There aren't any more. We're not going to be back next week saying, here's the next 20 colours. That's it. On the pigment inks, you've got, again, a nice selection, very similar 
to the first selection. Mm -hmm. But these are all pigments. These are perfect for blending. These are perfect for heat embossing. So if you've got clear embossing powder with those 20 pigment inks, yep. you've got 20 colours of embossing powder. Brilliant stuff. So they will work perfectly. Um, and it's a really good way. It's, it's sort of like, it's like I was watching, you know, the cardio show earlier yeah. and the way you know you want to stamp in lots of different colors yeah, it's nice. well that's a really easy quick way with the inches to be able to do that sort of mm. color um, you know that's what helps and I think it's great to have that quantity but yeah. a good price to be fair definitely uh, 29 pounds and 98 pence uh, it's 705640 all right uh, now we're gonna go back over to John there we go yeah so what I'm going to do now is I've done and I started this at the beginning of the show so I don't want anyone to think that I've had like loads and loads of pieces of this already covered I've been doing this as we've been going along so I've done black I've then put in the yellow the light yellow which are the sidekick pieces I then put in the bright yellow which are the top kick pieces and this is all waste that I brought with me so what I want to do is I want to put something quite dramatic so I want to put the red into the center yeah so you make sure you've filled all the rest first because there are quicker ways we can do this and I'm going to try and show how this works. So what I want to do is I'm going to take the layer A again and so you would keep spare pieces. I'm going to take a piece of red. This has all been done with a Crafts 2 linen card that we've got on the website. So if anyone wants to match the colours I've used, mm. I've used it's black and then I've used the light yellow, the ochre and the red that we've got on there. That's going to look really dramatic. Yeah, it, I, I just think the red really makes it pop. And again, if you wanted to, you could use, as I did on the original, I used um, two, shades of, the two shades of green and two shades of yellow. Nice. But for speed on this one, I thought we'll just go light yellow, dark yellow. Yeah. So you can go bright. But the red does really make it pop. So... I'm just cutting that through fresh for two reasons. Number one, because there's a little trick you can do. Cool. And number two, because the bag that I prepared with all the bits in yeah. doesn't have any of the circles in it. I'd already used those. Oh. <laughs> I meant to do the other bit in red. So, you know, hey, it shows that you can do it in a quite quick amount of time. Absolutely. So all I'm going to do then is just make sure every piece sticks down onto my board. Peel my die cut off, and you'll see now where I got my red piece to start the first one from. Ah, so you I would see. use that then for the next one. Yes. And interchange them because if you cut four colours for this, with all the pieces you've got, you can make four cards with alternating the colours. Because of course you get one for everything. Yeah. But all I want to do for the red dots, and I find this easier on the dots, is almost to leave them on my plate. Now, I keep meaning to get a new one of this because I've got some sort of something on my um, pokey t my pickup oh, tool. Yeah. In the case, I think it's got some glycerin or something onto it, so it's not picking up as well. But all I do is loosely pick up and drop in each circle. But if you notice they're not going exactly right, that's fine. I, I'm not trying to look... I'm not trying to get them exactly into space. I'm just lightly dropping them where I want them to be. But you see how much easier it is just to take it off the yes. board for the circles at least. So you can sometimes start with those. But if anyone wants to see this in more detail, I did do a video of it, which I think might, might have gone out last night. Um, but I've also made sure they're all on YouTube for anybody who oh, wants good. them. So I'm just going to pick up the rest. So they've, they've all gone live on my YouTube channel now. Because I always think, you know, the number of times I do it and I buy something and then I forget how to do it. <laughs> yeah. So we make sure now that everything that we do in demo is actually on, on their phone, on social media or on one of the channels so that people can actually watch it at any point. I've got one more. How can I lose one? <laughs> this is so me. Yeah, it's probably still sat in. No, it's not sat in the die. Normally it would be probably lifted off somewhere silly or dropped it's bleeps law but it's fine it is bleeps law <laughs> so um yeah no it's gonna be in the middle but i'm not going to find it i'm not going to worry too much about it at this point so i put the red in if you see they're quite loosely in yeah what i do is i take my pokey tool and just drag them into place and get them in the right place yeah but then if you've missed anywhere, so if you haven't put any in, it becomes really obvious at this point where you've missed. Mm -hmm. And if, like me, you've got a lot, you've got a real serious lack of patience. <laughs> and so this is as far as you will get before you will go, do you know what? 
I'm not going to find all the little bits for there. One of the best sneak things to do yeah. is to use some clear embossing powder. Right. Okay. Or you could use a glitter embossing powder and just cover over all of it in the pieces that you've missed. Put that on. And because I've used my double-sided adhesive that takes heat, I can simply take my heat gun and it won't bubble and we can seal in that glue by using the heat gun and the embossing powder. That's cool. So again what you could do is almost colour in each one of those with, a, with an alcohol pen. Yeah. Cover it with embossing powder and then actually just glaze on the top like a glazed tile. I'll go around, get those last ones. Seals that off. And because I've used red as the highlight, mm -hmm. yeah, this is still sticky on the other side. Okay. So I could peel that off, pop it onto acetate, but I've used red as the highlight. So I'm going to put it onto the red. And then when I trim it out, I've got that red border covered by the double by the heat embossing oh, nice. all around round each edge I mean I'd actually use my guillotine or my trimmer or one of my press cut square dies to cut it out properly but you can see there then I've got all of the color working but I've got a red border all the way around so it doesn't look so odd yeah it looks really finished now yeah, yeah. and it's a quick cheats way the only thing I'm regretting is, of course I didn't fill anything in that one but I could still pop a little bit of glue on and fill that one up. Could but apart from that one, it looks it. as if you've got almost like an argyle print running on a red background. Yeah, I really like that. So it's really simple. So instead of bothering with all these pieces, just cheat. If something is difficult, <laughs> cheat. That's my best tip. <laughs> like it. <laughs> do you so, need a moment, John? Or are no, you... well, fine. I'm going to do some flowers to match. Okay. So what I'm going to do this time is... I'm going to use the colours, I'm going to use the inks and st the stamp and stamp it, but instead of stamping onto normal smooth card, I'm stamping onto the Crafts 2 white linen card. Now, I love stamping onto this with flowers and with the multi-layer particularly, because it's got a texture to it. Mm -hmm. So when I stamp, and I use the stamp press to do so, I don't, it picks up on the texture and the texture comes through, so it adds another layer onto your flowers. So we're going to take the first stamp, and the first stamp is the stamp that has the smallest centres. But again, if you want to, once you get them home, have a look, work out which one's which, and you can always write on the back yeah. number one and number two on the other one to make it easier. I'd probably suggest you use an alcohol pen for that. So all I'm going to do is put that down and stamp it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go with a really light colour first. So I'm going to stamp ink this with the yellow, which is the Dawn or Aurora. And make sure that you're inking the sides, but definitely these two corners. These are your indicators. So I'm just going to push that down, give that a good press, and hopefully... You can see that. I've got to stop using light colours because it's not coming through. Um, but it works best with that. The light colours really don't show well on white on TV. So I'm just going to ink that again just to make it a little bit more intense so hopefully you can see it. And then we're going to go with a real change. So that's giving me the yellow and I'm hoping you can see that yeah, one. Yeah, I can see it. Um, and then I'm going to take the next, guy up, next stamp up. So you'd mark two on the back, or it's got the larger hole in the middle. So that section there is larger than that one. You'll be able to tell. Yeah. So if you stamp them the wrong way, you'll see. And we just lay that over, and because they're clear and see-through, and if you can't see through using colours, this is the only time you'll see me do this. Are you going to clean it? I'm going to clean my stamps. Good grief. What I never clean what have you stamps. Done with him? <laughs> I think cleaning stamps takes off that coating and doesn't work well. Mm -hmm. But when I'm changing colours, you sometimes need to. Yeah. All I'd ever do is use my stamp cleaning pad and water. Right. I don't use any chemicals or anything because they can eat the stamps. Ah. So this has got thousands of microfiber little brushes in it, which just gets in and cleans everything out, and then I dry it off on the other side. Ah. 
It's, it's the best tool I've had in years, this. So what did you call it? It's a stamp cleaning pad. Oh, it's right. a Crusty stamp cleaning pad. Oh. Um, we haven't got it on this show, but I believe mm -hmm. they're due back in and we should have them on the show of the end of the month. Cool. That would be really cool. So, be yeah, because I wouldn't be without it. Yeah. But now I've cleaned that off, I can see through and I can see exactly where it lays. So instead of trying to line up four separate flowers that multi-layer on top, I don't. I just put the whole stamp down and then we're going to go with, we'll go with something brighter, shall we, so we can actually see it. Oh, that is lovely. So this time I'm going to go with this bright cerise, which is sort of... Cerise pink is a, it's a UK colour anyway, isn't it? Cerise, I think. Oh, Do we call it that or is it? Oh, yeah. It's not cherry, is it? I can never no, remember. No, cerise is good. Yeah. Uh, some of them aren't, um, you know, translated or translatable even. But my favourite one is the petrol, which we know as petrol. Yeah. It's like a greeny blue colour. Yeah. Um, when they, when the web, when they, these first went out on the website. Yeah. Um, they did, a, use, they used Google Translate, so that one went out as oil. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> because that's what Google Translate said. Of course, yeah. So if we can see there, we're getting that pinky colour, mm -hmm. but we're getting the lines of the texture. Yeah, nice. Yeah, of the yeah. linen coming through. So again, just to make it darker, I'm going to give it another little ink, just so it's more obvious on here. And because we're going on to linen and it's not smooth, you will get a darker edge where the linen meets. There we go. Oh, so that's hopefully. Nice. You can see there, if I hold it up to that one and challenge Marcus, I, I, <laughs> I don't mean to be difficult, but you can see you've got white running into a yellowy colour, running into a pink. It's lovely. But it does look 3D, mm. even though it's completely flat. Yeah. So that's our two layers done. What we're then going to do is to take our die and we simply match up corner to corner. So you can see you've got a stamped corner there. You can see you've got a stamped corner there. We match those up with the lines and we simply die cut that. So I'm just going to put that through. All your bits, remember, save them in a bag for your next paper piecing project. Yep. And as I say, if you cut four of them, you can make four completely different ones. And to be honest, after a while, you'll find it's really quick and takes mm. no time at all. So we'll run those through and I'm going to shape those really simply, just using my mat and this is a hard this is a really firm flower molding f f mat yep. so it's not like your stamping mats it's got real firm it's designed for flower molding and my pokey to my um, blossom tool which is my ball tool i can't i'm forgetting words don't worry <laughs> it is i'm not used to being out of the house this long i think that's what it is yeah i left very early this morning so uh, yeah it's felt very long but all i'm going to do is literally just press in the middle and that 3D shapes it as well as 3D colours it straight away so then I've got flowers that will match onto this one and in a couple of minutes if you can give me some time to reset we'll do some leaves to go with it as well sounds lovely right then let me just go and get rid of my chair oh it's Alex yes so <laughs> I'll hold that one up and smile <laughs> thanks <laughs> So this is what we've been trying to do, <laughs> and here's Alex. Thank you. <laughs> that looks really cool, doesn't it? Um, shall, we, shall I show you even more samples? Yeah, shall we do this? Um, right, so the complete collection is the one that everybody's going for. This is a beautiful sample. Look at this with the mirror card in the background. That is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I really love this one. Hang on a second. Um, because I just love the clock in the centre, but the, this around it just works so well, doesn't it? Loving that. Um, and here's a gorgeous mixed media one. And then we're showing one with the flowers, our beautiful flowers. Um, another mixed media one is fabulous. Love all of these designs. There we go. Look at this one. That is beautiful. I love the colours. But no two are the same. I mean, look at the difference between this one and this one. There you go. Um, what else? Let's bring this in. So you don't have to use all three for the layering. You can just use one if you want. Um, there, is, there is a lot of potential to really make uh, or get lots of different looks from these. And that's what we want. We don't want a one-trick pony. We want to um, have something that we know we're going to go to again and again and again. 
Uh, now, two payments if you want to, and you're a Freedom member here, of 20 20 pounds and 23 pence you've got a 16 pound 50 saving if you're a freedom member it is the why not deal you've got these wonderful layering dies the harlequin collection and as i said they're beautiful in their own right but when you layer them up then it looks absolutely exquisite and as well see look at the stitch detail again that's beautiful and then we've also got the um calypso uh, stamps the flower stamp and die set. Uh, we are now over three quarters of the stock gone on the complete collection. 107743 is the item number. Next then we have got the exotic leads, leaves. If you can, do pop them in your basket because they work fantastically. Oh, we're over here, aren't we? Yes, I got confused. That's normal. Um, we've got these lovely dies. Uh, they're such pretty shapes. It really does transport transport me um, it's gorgeous and I love you've got inspiration by the way on the packaging there you go nice uh, so if you'd like to go for these leaves it is 9.99 369924 is the item number we're approaching 70% of the stock gone so I think the majority of you are going for both um, and then we have got the ink pads you're getting 40 ink pads in total look at all these wonderful colors I love them, and I love I love the mini um, ink pads. I love to use those. And you've got, as I said, forty, and they're dye and pigments, and it's twenty nine pounds and ninety eight pence. Look at those wonderful colours. Item number here is seven zero five six four zero. But look at that. It's that's your that's your whole, you know, array sorted. We're still going here with those colours. Beautiful. 705640 then. Um, moving along, we have got our gorgeous finishing sprays. And what's brilliant is that, as John said earlier, these are non-clog. So you don't have to swizzle them. You can actually just give them a really good shake. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Look at that. Look how much mica is in there. These beautiful colours. Let's give this one a shake. Hang on then. And look, there you go. Beautiful. And then here's another one. We'll shake this one up. Look at all this mica. Amazing. Cool. Amazing. And then you can just see. So they're really nice finishing sprays for you to have. Look at that. Beautiful. And go on top of the other inks. $14.99 for the three. Very good value. Uh, 438858 is the item number. Love it. Okay, now we're going on to the circles and the squares. And um, these were on a week or two weeks ago. If you missed out on this collection, uh, then do check out. They're gorgeous. Again, they're layering dies, circles and squares. Very, very useful for any occasion, absolutely any occasion. And then in a minute, I'll show you a few more lovely samples from this one. But you can use them individually. They're still just as lovely in their own right. So those are your circles. And then down at the bottom, we've got our layering squares. I was thinking with that one you're looking at, actually, you could cut up a photo if you wanted and, and like piece them back in. <laughs> like a puzzle, yeah, like a puzzle. And then you've got the one next to it with the uh, stitch detail. And then following along, you've got the ones with even more stitch detail and those smaller squares. Right, let's dig out some fabulous samples. I love them. This is a beautiful one. Oh, shaker card as well. You know I'm going to love that. That is fabulous. Yay. Oh, another shaker card. My lucky day. Is that one? And then look the under the... I think the design team know you love a shaker card, <laughs> Alex. I think they know. They look at it and go, is there any chance of you getting Alex? I said, possibly. <laughs> we'll do a shaker card then. We know it'll make a smile. I love it. Um, yeah, I look, next time as well, shrink plastic, thanks. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> Beautiful. So those are some of the ones with the circles. Oh, I've got to show this one as well. This is really cool. That really makes me happy because of the colours. Look at that. I feel like I'm going to a disco with that one. And then the squares. This is, this is cool because it's on a jaunty angle as well. This is using the, the, the waist. And then look at this one brilliant any occasion 
See, this is what I love about these. Yeah. They work so well yeah. for a classic card, mm. like the one you're looking at there. Yeah. But then you can do something really funky for a teenager or for a younger child or something with them. Yeah, they give you so many different options that you wouldn't think of. Mm. And that's why I think you go, um, normally I buy dies because I look at one sample and go, yeah. I love that sample, I, I've got to make a version of that. Uh -huh. With these, I think, it's a case, it's like a cumulative effect. Yeah. You know, I can make that, and I can make that, and I can make that, and I can make that. Brilliant. That's what works so well for me. Excellent. And this also has a freedom discount, £53.95. And I'm sure it's on FlexiBuy. I'm sure it is. 241664. Ah, there you go. Two payments of £26.98 if you're a freedom member. Right then. Right. Okay, so... What I thought I was going to do, what I'll do is, I'm going to show you a different technique with the leaves and using the inks and how it really works with it. So we've talked about using multiple layers and multiple colours. So I've got the, the extra bits here from the linen card, the white linen card that I used for the flowers. And this is to add the little bit of texture on. And I've just got one of the large sort of Crafts 2 daubers. And all I'm going to do is just, and I'm using the pigment ink, and the reason I'm using the pigment ink is the pigment ink is obviously stickier. It blends better because obviously it stays open longer. If anyone remembers, I think it was Sheena used to do where she would mix a little bit of um, glycerin into di oxides or into distress ink to give her more sort of like movable colour. Well, that's what these are in effect. Yeah. Pigment inks are literally just like that. They've got glycerin already in them. Oh. So I'm just going round and I get that lovely texture and I, I use the large dauber for this because I think life's too short to use one of the little finger daubers and, <laughs> and go like that's oh, why I always have a couple of these in my kit but you can see how these I'm always getting like a jungle print but instead of it being quite um, transparent as you'd mm -hmm. get with a dye ink because it's pigment I'm getting more of a more of a straightaway coverage that looks like it's something I've sprayed it's lovely so I've got that quite a lot. Now, what I'm going to do is take a little bit of red. So I'm going to take a little bit of red, and all I'm going to do is just put some little random bits of red in. Now, if, again, if the reason I'm using pigment is if I go down and I put too much red on, right? yeah, if that was dye ink, that's there, because it's pigment. Oh, look at that. Yeah. I didn't so, realise it would do it that well. Pigment ink stays open and wet for longer. Uh -huh. So it's great for your technique. So even though I'm still talking and that's down, I can still rub that out once I've got that basic coating on. So I can keep going on this and adding colours until I'm happy with it. Yeah? Yeah. So I've got that now. And again, if I was quick, because it's pigment, there's a little bit sticky, I could put embossing powder onto that. And although, because I've stretched it out, what would actually happen is it wouldn't go everywhere. Right. It would go on little bits of it that have still stayed open. Okay. So I would get quite a nice sparkly sort of yeah. look on it. But what I'm actually going to do is this time, I want to add a bit of definition onto the leaves because I've got the colour, but I want to add a little bit on the ends, yeah? Perfect. So I'm going to take my dies and I'm putting them straight down onto a piece of scrap card. Love those dies. On. Love so what I'm doing is I'm just doing the five in the set that are solid. I'm not doing the sort of like ferns. Yeah? So I don't want to move the ferns. I'm just going to do these ones. And I've got a choice then of what to do. So if I want really defined definition, I can use something like my black Versafine. If I want something that's going to give me a little bit lighter, I'll use a smoky grey. Okay. And that's what I'm going to do on this one. So I'm using that ink. And I'm just going to ink these like they're stamps. Okay. Now, these have got the raised areas. And I, I drew specifically quite thick lines of raised area on these so that you can do this technique of letter pressing. But it also, you can do foiling with these leaves. So if you've got a foiling machine... These will all foil through your sort of go press and foil foiling machine, yeah? Yeah. So I've just gone over the top. All I'm going to do is take my card, put it over the top, and tape the card down to the boards. Because I don't want to move the dies, they've got the ink on. Yeah. But I don't want them all sliding about underneath and moving off. So if I tape the card on top, it will hold the card in the right place while I run them through. And then you want to be very careful 
of taking that to your die cutting machine and just watch it through. Right. I know normally I'd leave that and go away. Uh -huh. Just watch it through. You don't want it moving and juddering and you, you don't want your dies moving and sliding about because obviously we've not taped them down. Yes. They're not on a magnet because obviously I needed the card underneath and I'd ruin the magnet. Yeah. So you just want to be that little bit more careful. I know. It's horrible when you have when a, a die crosses over. It's death of the die. It is. It. Yeah. And I did it to some brand new samples that I'd only got one of the other day. Oh. And Sam went, do you know what you've done? <laughs> it's like, you know, yeah, thanks, Sam. Like, like, I don't know what I've done. <laughs> yeah, trying to bend them back and no, yeah. can't do it. So, yeah, so they, they're going to be the office sample dies now for file. <laughs> yeah. I'm not told the office that, but, but when I turn these over, can you see then? Cool. What I've got is I've got a leaf that looks quite tropical uh -huh. in the colours, but I've got a defined darker life like look here so I've got the veins defined I really like that so the veins are all defined on it so all I'm going to do is simply press them if you try and fold them like that between your fingers they'll automatically fold on that line that's debossed in mm -hmm. so suddenly how much how realistic does that look it really does straight away so again, come off, but instead of, if I used black, it would have been quite obvious. So if I was using darker greens, I would have used black. But using, I've used smoky grey, and because I used the Versa ink, it's actually gone on the lines, but it's not gone anywhere else. And using that linen card's added even more texture in. Mm. So all I need to do then, with this one, all I do is fold each individual leaf. There we go. And then I've got my tropical leaves to go with my Harlequin background, so I'll bring that in. So this is the one that we made earlier, mm -hmm. and obviously I missed, a, I missed a panel there, didn't I? Yes. So that gives me the perfect starting point to put my flowers. <laughs> Excellent. So, you know, if in doubt, cheat or cover it. <laughs> but if we can see how much more realistic these leaves look. So we'll just pop them on, get my glow, glue flowing. Properly. And with these tropical leaves, all I do is glue them in the centre of the leaf. Okay. I don't glue the whole leaf. If it's glued there, it'll be secure, but you'll get that little bit more movement. Yeah. When they're glued on flat, they really don't have the right level of movement, I don't think. So again, with this palm leaf, I just do it right in the centre. And I always create foliage first. I always put my foliage on, then I go in with my flowers. And whilst we were, you were talking, mm -hmm. I've added some little stamens in the middle of my flowers. And all I've done is push them through and then used like, uh, glue, um, foam pads okay. yeah. to secure them into the back. So we've just pushed those and it gives me a real tropical look. All so right. I'm going to push those in. The leaves are three quarters gone, everybody. And actually, I'm going to do a bit, I'm going to balance that a little bit with another one up there. I'll take this one off and do the fourth flower, because you know I like things in threes or fives. Indeed. But I could fit four flowers on, so I made four flowers. Okay. It seemed crazy not, just because I have a bias for doing things in threes, it seemed crazy not to include another flower just to do it. And there we go. And I'll pick this one, I'll hold this one up. But you can see there we've made that during the show. But we've got that sort of tropical lemon and lime background with the two yellows, the tropical flowers and the tropical leaves. That's a real sort of, as I say, this is probably as close as any of us are going to get to Hawaii or yeah. the Bahamas <laughs> or M Maldives or anywhere this year, I think, for myself, probably for the next three or four. But, you know, yeah. it's, it's as close as we'll get, but it really is bright and summery. I think that's perfect. Excellent stuff. Thank you so much, John. Right. Let me show you some more samples again. Uh, so have a look at these, aren't they gorgeous? There we go. Um, I don't think there are names on them, but still. Either way, that way or that way. That's fabulous, that's monochrome. And then, but look at the difference. So that's using one layer. And then we've got this one where you can see all of the layers. I love our birthday card. That is wonderful. Okay, we are approaching 80% of the stock gone. Um, 
of the complete collection. Amazing. Oh, look at this one with the tropical leaves on. Isn't that pretty? It's so pretty. Let's hold it that way. That's fabulous. And then we can bring this one in. Marvellous. I love that because it's really bright and it's really, really fun. There we go. Lovely. So when you, um, when you, um, uh, John, I was just going to ask, like, um, when did you first come up with the concept of these lovely layering dies? They, they weren't our concept. Oh, okay, they were actually sorry. put to us by um, the factory that manufactures our dies for us. Right. Uh, one of our big sort of supporters um, manufactured them, came up with the idea and suggested them to us in a rectangular design yep. um, with borders all the way around them. And we said, no, we don't like them. So we changed them. And we did them, made them into squares and took the line off, and that's where the first range came from. Yes, because we've got the diamonds there. Everyone absolutely loved them. I loved them. And I thought, right, we need to have, we need some more. Yeah. Because I want more backgrounds, and I really want, I wanted the Harlequin. It was the Harlequin I was after. <laughs> yeah. So I drew that one first. So I actually thought, right, what we'll do now is we'll design our own on the same theme. Mm -hmm. And it's sort of like expanding it. So, yeah, I, I couldn't claim it was our idea. Oh, it really so apologies, wasn't. I didn't realise. No, because I, I genuinely believe you should give credit where it's due. Yeah, definitely. And you should say where you've got your inspiration from, who's, you know, who's giving up you the idea. Right. And so we got it from there, and then we've run with it. And I, I have some more ideas for next year oh. on them, a little bit more detailed and something a bit different. And it, okay. it came to me earlier when I was in the car driving in. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Love it. Uh, shall I do more samples or, yeah, should we carry on? Okie dokie. Uh, th so then we've got one here. This has got the three layers on, which is beautiful. Um, then again, another, oh, did you get that or did I, did I snatch it out of the shop then? I didn't see. Yeah, there we are. <laughs> and then this beautiful. And don't forget about looking on um, line for the cardstock because John's brought us a really nice pick and mix and they tone fantastically like this one does, um, with pop, uh, which is brilliant for the layering. Love these colours. I love a bit of um, orange and purple, which is stunning. And then we can go really nice and classy. And then look at this beautiful. Uh, right then, uh, two payments of £20.23 pence if you're a Freedom member. That is a £16.50 pence saving once you've carried over the saving from the one-day special. 107743. So we've got a few minutes. Is there anything quick we can see, uh, John? Oh, I'm sure there is, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I've come up with something very quickly. Okay. So you were, you were asking last night about using them as stencils. Oh, yeah. And stenciling through. Yeah, yeah. And because we're using if we use the pigment inks again because they're not very wet mm. we can actually get away with stenciling through and not ruining it right but what i want to do is you know me and i hate the idea of ruining card or wasting card yeah so if i use this front piece here i'm not going to be able to put it on so i'm going to reverse it and i'm actually going to use the back so i'm just going to use the back of the design because it'll still work as well but it will catch a little bit more but i'm going to use the largest um dauber the, the large crafts 2 dauber so i'm just going to work off any of the color this is what i mean about pigment ink if you can see how much color i've still got on oh, that no. because it doesn't dry so let's try and work that off yeah it's going to take <laughs> ages to work that off because i put far too much on but i'm going to go with the red anyway <laughs> so i'm going to go in with the red and i'm just going to color through using the back so wiping across you will find because i'm using the back mm. it feels a bit more scratchy okay because as you know a die cut actually chamfers the edge mm. so it actually works and actually makes it um, so it does make it a little bit sharp which is why i use the larger dauber if i use a finger dauber this would rip it to shreds using the back yeah so i use that so i quite like actually that color mix okay. yeah it's quite good isn't but it? i've got then a perfect pattern of it mm. I can then move it up as we did earlier in the earlier show so I can find the repeat which is never the easiest to do when you're working on the back there we go so I can find the repeat and repeat that so we'll just repeat that there we go I would spend more time blending those two together but then I can turn this over to the other side there but we're going to offset it oh I like that so we've actually then got a completely different, mm. if I hold it up you might see better, but you've actually got a completely different look 
because you've got the colour in different areas. Yeah, that's fab. And different dots, or if I want to, I can put it in the right place mm -hmm. or just slightly offset it. Yeah, that's what we mean Again, about the possibilities. And we get that background. There's so much you can do with them, it's really worth just getting them home and playing. That's the best thing to do is play. Indeed. Thank you, John. So here we can see this is the complete collection. You're getting the three dies, the Harlequin dies. Um, and they can be used on their own, but it's wonderful when you layer them up as well. So here they are. Um, and they're numbered as well for you, or labelled, or, yeah. Um, <laughs> really like these, beautiful. And then when we finally come on to the third one, there's extra stitch detail that John has popped in for us. Now, in the complete collection, you're also getting your Calypso stamps and dies. Uh, which are beautiful and if you can go for the leaves the tropical leaves or exotic leaves um, we'll pop them at the bottom of the screen they work hand in hand with them so with your one day special the seven pound saving carries over uh, and then you get an extra five pounds off and then a further ten percent off if you're a freedom member so you're saving sixteen pounds and fifty pence uh, 107 at 743 is the item number. You can give us a call, of course, 01733602000 or check out on the website at hachanda.com. Thank you very much, John. Thank you. And, of course, John will be back at uh, 4 p.m. this afternoon. Lovely, jubbly. Stay tuned. Coming up next, we have got cardio, but let me tell you, we don't have a lot of stock left. We weren't even sure if this show could run this morning. Uh, so please check out your baskets if you want that. And then we've got Rowan Dean Embroidery and then Cricket. Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. Back in the day, there were very few quilt patterns in the marketplace. And so uh, I started to bring patterns into from America and Australia and along the way I've been lucky enough to work with some fantastic British designers and that is what really the essence of Daisy Chain Designs are. At Daisy Chain Designs we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows on Hachanda. Welcome to the Deal Wheel. Join us from Thursday the 11th of June at 6pm to Monday the 15th of June at 6pm where the wheel will be in control of your rewards. At the start of every hour we will spin the wheel and where the needle lands the deal is dealt. You can benefit from amazing savings and extra offers but for that live hour only. So you'd better get in quick. You can have the opportunity to benefit from either £5 off an order of £25 or more, 10% off any order placed within the hour, freedom discounts or free standard PMP. These offers are unlimited within the hour. Place multiple orders, receive multiple rewards. So tune in from Thursday the 11th of June at 6pm for the Deal Wheel. Remember that it's the wheel that's in control. Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. Most of our products involve textiles and age-old techniques, from button making, lace making, weaving, and other forms of passementry. Mark and I work hard designing the kits and developing innovative tools to make all of these traditional crafts more accessible to the modern user. We're really pleased to be part of the Hochanda family and I'm looking forward to being able to take time and demonstrate some of these techniques and share new ideas. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B Silkworks shows here on Hochanda.
Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it. Now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the Added Channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Yes, indeed. Good. If you could only see what we do during them breaks. Good afternoon. I hope you are well. It is afternoon. It's one o'clock if you're setting your watches right then. Right, let's get straight into this. I, I've been looking forward to do one of these shows for a while because everyone says, and I'm not just saying this because Wendy's in the studio, Wendy's demos are amazing. Now, we've only ever done, I've only ever done one show with Wendy and Wendy was on Skype and I was in the studio all on my own. Uh, we've got Wendy in the studio. Hi, Wendy, Hi. how are you? <laughs> <laughs> Over a monitor, I can't really see. <laughs> you know, it's like I'm too three sure. TVs in my way. But um, the app, they are beautiful, beautiful finished samples that you can now create at home. And when I first saw the brand of Cardi, I was like, oh, they're, they're tiny. What do you do with those? Like, you're not going to be able to create a scene. You're going to have big. No, 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 no. You just wait. So. Alex this morning had a show. She sold out of the wise words. They've come and gone. You've missed them if you're tuning in now. They've gone. Then we sold out of the big collection as well. Now, we managed to get some back on extended delivery. Your extended delivery is only a week's time, so we're talking the 16th, which is not that long to wait. But already 50% of the extended stock has already gone. Now, at this point, I normally wouldn't get worried. I'd be like, yeah, that's fine. Charlotte will make a few phone calls. We'll get a few more in. We've made all phone calls. We've sat in many a meeting. Dull. Very dull. To see if we could get anything else. We've sat in meetings with manage big management that don't normally come out offices and see people like us. And they said, no, once it's gone, it's gone. So, we've got contingencies in place should this sell out early. Okay, so we've got other things on the shows. Uh, but 50% of the extended stock now has already gone. And once this has gone as a bundle, there will be no phone calls. There'll be none of this. Oh, I'll see. We'll just string it and see if we can. No, 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 no. That's all gone. Okay. Your item number's on the screen. 412201 is your item number. Look at the deal that you're getting. You're getting 80 stamps and two stencils for £51 and 22 pence if you're a Freedom member. Now, this gets even better because there's also flexible payments on this as well. £25 and 61 pence today, if you're a Freedom member, will get these 80 stamps to you. Now, this is your summer collection. But what I want you to do is take out the word summer for the sheer fact this could be a collection that will take you through every single season all you need to do is just change your colors 
okay? So please don't let the word summer put you off. You change the colours of the hanging basket, you pop a poinsettia in there, a little bit of glitter on the flowers just to like a little snowfall, a little flurry. You could do your black and white cards if you wanted to. You've got the beautiful moped that's already in there. Them suitcases be could become suitcases to travel for Christmas, going to someone's house. Pop them on the back of your bike with a big bow on the top. You see where I'm coming from? Create your scenes. Create your 3D scenes because everything has been done for you so you can now get depth into your cards. Take your box frames, do your layers, and really build them up. There is some cracking, and I do mean that these are beautiful. They've all been done by Wendy. Now, these are the sorts of cards that you look at in a card shop and think, I'm not paying that for her. It's true. You think they're not worthy of a £5 card, a, a double F card, top shelf. But this is what they are. These are high-quality beautiful cards that you would pay a fortune for in a shop. And you know I say it as it is, I don't mince my words, and I mean everything that I say. These are the cards that you would really think about sending someone. But guess what? You can now send them. You have the capabilities, you have the tools to send everything that you're seeing here, you can do at home. And remember, you're getting those stencils, so you've got that little peep-through wall that's there as well. To create your sheen, you change that into your whites and your autumn colours. You've got your autumn scenes there already. Your flower pots, I think, are absolutely stunning in the basket. This could be any time of year whatsoever. You've got your little cabin. This could be your little old cabin with a little bit of smoke if you wanted to. You've got the details with the swings and even the bird's nest in the tree. That's the detail that our Wendy goes to. There are more. We are going to get through as many samples as we can and live demonstrations as well throughout this hour. As I said, 50% of the stock, 60% of the stock now, of the restock stock has now already gone. We are five minutes in and 10% of the extended stock has already gone. So we're now 60% of the overall stock has gone. You imagine stamping these onto your shrink plastic, creating those beautiful embellishments to make the detail thicker, to bring the detail out to you. Just look at those wine glasses. That could be a champagne flute. You've got this moving home, brand new home cards. You've got the little pairs of shoes that's in there for newborn cards, new arrivals, new beginnings. Very French with the moped and the lavender that's growing around it and the little olive bunch that's on the back of there as well. We can do some more. As I said, each one of these has been done by our Wendy. I'm, I'm, a, I'm not a stamper, but I'm a very big fan. I'm very jealous of what our Wendy can do. She's so talented. Look at them. Absolutely beautiful. 412201 is your item number dispatched on the 16th of June and over 60% now of the stock has now already gone. Don't miss out on this because you are, you will, this is one of those deals that you will be kicking yourself with. 80 stamps, two stencils, everything works beautifully together. Do you know what? Let's see how well all this works together with our lovely Wendy on the other side of the studio, though. Hey, Wendy, what are we up to? Hi. Uh, well, I we should mention the suitcases and things, because that's what we're actually going to be using next, along with the little moped as well. So great if you know somebody who's going away or on the travels or something like that eventually. Obviously yeah. not right at this moment in time. So this is the little card that we're going to do next. So you can see how much detail we've got in there. We've got a lot of things going on. So we're going to go straight into this one. And in fact, I've just changed my mind part way through because I had a different card to do, but we'll go and do this one instead. Okay, So I like. carry on stamping. If anybody who knows me, I sort of carry on stamping through the breaks as well. I just don't <laughs> you do. stop you've not, left, you've not left the studio no. since the last hour, just, It just shows how much I enjoy what I do, I suppose, <laughs> doesn't it? So we're going to build up that little one. Do you know my favourite part about this? It's the little details that I love. If you could just do a little overhead shot, can you see the light coming out of the, yeah. the headlight of the scooter is the little things. I can imagine that at Christmas, if 
if you sort of have the light coming out and you have your little animals at the bottom yes. in the snow. So that would be so cute. There is so many things about it. It's like the little, the country little cottages that you've got in there and it's something very the holiday about it. If you've never seen that film, you won't Definitely. know Definitely. Well, it is sort of, it has a little bit of uh, Mediterranean inspiration, yeah, I think, somewhere there, I think, as well. So the first thing we're doing is stamping these down. I'm going to put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> so we stamp the little stones down and then we've made a mask that just covers this up. It's just got a little bit of repositionable on the top. So that just means that we can stamp over the top of that and we don't have to worry about making a mess of that underneath. They're going to stay nice and white underneath that little mask. I'm going to do exactly the same thing again. I'm going to stamp these just alongside. So about there. And then we're going to do the same thing with those. Because then it just allows us to do whatever we like without sort of damaging these stones. Okay. So that's it looks a bit messy at the moment, but then again, it always does until... I don't really mask out a lot. It's not something I do a lot of. But because we want those to be white, we're going to keep them nice and white by covering them up. So the next thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of green. So this is just because we want some colour just behind where the moped's going to be sat. So it doesn't have to be a lot because we can fill it in later. Okay. So just a little bit like that. And then we're going to take our moped. Now we're going to ink this up in two or three colours. Oh, okay. So Talking we're going to use... about ink pads. Yeah. Um, oh, sorry, I've moved. Oh, look at these. I've... Oh, you're coming to me. <laughs> uh, I've moved so I can see what Wendy's doing. I've moved away from the factory. Uh, we've had a question. Do we know who the question's from? Lena. Oh, from Nina. Thank you for your man, Nina, Nina. Uh, asking, what ink pads do you use? Uh, these are a Japanese firm. They're Sukuniko. Oh, okay. Ink pads. And they're a pigment ink. So the slow drying it allows you a bit of blending time as well. And also you can emboss with these if you want to. So a really good all rounder really. So I'll use them to blend all my backgrounds as well. So sometimes you, you might use different inks for your backgrounds than you would for your stamping. But it just means that you've then got to sort of match colours up as well. So it can be a little bit more difficult. Whereas I can use these inks to do every aspect of my design. That is beautiful. And because of slow drying, it's enabling us to sort of ink this bike up in two or three colours and then stamp it all in one go. And I don't have to worry that any of this is dry. Ah, there you go, Nina. I hope that answers your question. OK, so we're <laughs> going to pop this just over the stones. So I'm taking it a little bit lower. So it's actually situated, we're stamping part of the wheels on the stones. But when we remove that mass, the wheels will just be behind. Uh, so it's chipping two thirds of the stock now. Two thirds of your stock, your back in stock stock has already gone. Two thirds has gone now, and once this has gone, this has gone. It won't be coming back. We won't be saying we're making phone calls because we've already made the phone calls already. We've had the meetings after meetings. Nothing's coming back. Once it's gone, it's gone. Get it where you can. <laughs> so we're going to put the little suitcases at the end as well. So we stamp the bike and the suitcases, like you said, you can actually put them on the seat. That was the original idea. But I do like to put the little cats and th the cat and the dog and all that sort of thing on the seat as well. So it's really up to you how you want to use it, really. This is what I love about it. It's not the sort of thing that I'd ever get bored with because you're constantly coming up with new ideas all the time. I think that's the thing. It's like, it is a little scene builder that you've got. So you it is a constant scene that can change throughout the year. Yeah. And you know, you can have you can have the say the stamps for a couple of years and all of a sudden you go, Oh, I could do yeah. that with that. Especially when something new comes out, you're constantly changing what you've already got at home. So we're just stacking these little suitcases and like you say, a little Christmas card with these somebody coming home for Christmas or something like that would be absolutely perfect. And you've also got the little bag. But I like the way as well you've kept them separate. You could have quite easily kept them two suitcases as two suitcases. Yeah. But you've kept them separate, which gives you more manoeuvrability, as it were. Definitely. And scope to do other things with them. Yeah. And that is why, because I, I do get very bored, so I have to be able to change, thing, change things up. And like you say, just being able to sort of change them from uh, Christmas to summer to autumn, whatever you want to do, is just lovely. So we're going to add in some uh, foliage just behind the actual bike. So because we've not done anything with this bottom yet, what I'm going to do is just mask it out a little bit. So this is a bit of repositionable. And we're just going to pop it just at the bottom there. It's just, be, just in case any of my greens go down below okay. the stones. Because I don't want anything down there yet. We're going to put a little path on there. 
So just use them to dot in, and you can just use the very tips as well. So if you want to put some little bits of green just underneath there, we can just add in. So it's quite a big scene, there's quite a lot going on in this one, oh, but it's really? great for showing you how many sort of different looks that you can get. 70% now of the stock has already gone. 70% of the stock has gone. It's getting there. Get it while you can. Start checking out your baskets. Um, get yours. Uh, we'll still do the demonstrations, do not fear, uh, but get yours while we've still got it. Jump to the phones, jump to the website or tap the app. It's entirely up to you. Back to demo. So we're adding a few of these little flowers in as well. And these are lovely. And again, I mean, there's nothing stopping you using a lot of this at winter, in, in the winter. So I'm going to take that off. Now we've filled in the background. So we've got all the base of this done. And the next job is then to put in whatever background that you want. So we're going to put a little hill in at the back. So I'm going to pop that about there. And then we're just going to start to add a little bit of green and just colour downwards. Now, again, don't feel like you need to fill in the whole card. So we're just going to sort of rub down just into the background here so don't feel the need to sort of go in and out of the bike or anything like that keep this as simple as you can just blend those onto the card and then we're going to take this off and then because we've cut this mask out of one piece of paper i'm going to use the other side to mask this side out so we can now work on the skyline oh look at this okay so i'm just turning it around because it's easier for me to work in a downwards direction so we're going to add some yellow and a little bit of red so generally I'll start with the, four, the, the objects that are going to be in the foreground and then yeah. I'll work backwards. A lot of the time I have absolutely no idea what it is I'm creating. I'll just sit there that. with the stamps in front of me and then just pick up, you know, whatever bits and pieces. Sometimes it goes wrong, sometimes it goes really right. You just never know. I don't do it for telly, obviously. <laughs> I make sure I've uh, thought things through. But when you get these, like when you get your stamps and you th you look at them, do you just stamp them out first just to yeah, see what they no, look like when it, they're stamped out? It's funny, but generally, I don't always have an idea of exactly what I'm going to be doing with them. I know they're going to work together, but until you actually get them home, you don't really know whether you're going to like them or whether the things that you thought were going to be good are going to be good. Mm. And sometimes it's the things that I think I'm not going to like are my favourite stamps. So you, I just never know, really. But it is fun, it's lovely to actually see something that you've drawn just come to life. So one of my favourite ones is the little uh, swing on the tree house. It is. Not the tree, I keep calling it a tree house, the, the tree little swing. Though. But we have um, a bigger swing as well um, that we brought on a couple of, about three months ago, which sold really well. So I said, well, why, would, why don't we have a little one as well? That was the last time we worked together. I'm sure it was. It could have been. Yeah, yeah it, was. it was. It was the big swing, wasn't it, we had on? I think it's, it was strange because we weren't actually in the studio. Yeah, you know, we've, and this is the thing, we've never met before. I feel like I've known you for ages, though. <laughs> we've never met before until today. Do you know, I'd never done Skype before, ever. Oh, I've never done Skype. Have if they ever asked me to do that, I, I, wouldn't no. have a, I wouldn't have a clue. So we're just dotting in those trees as well in the background to give us a lovely... And we've got the little tree house in already, like that. So that's created our lovely little background. And then uh, we can peel this off. Sorry to chip in that's again. Okay. I'm so, so sorry. Um, over three quarters now of the stock has now already gone. Remember, this is the back in... I will keep saying this, so I can only apologise if you're sick of me saying it. This is the back in stock stock. Once it's gone, it's gone. It won't be coming back. There's only a week extended on it as well, so it's not that long to wait at all. Uh, the details are currently at the bottom of the screen. They're just here. Um, get really now, start... Really, if you're really thinking about this and you're going, yeah, I'd really like it, I don't want you to miss out on it, um, so start checking out your baskets, if I was you. Uh, back to demo. OK, so we're going to put a little uh, bit of that light coming from this bike so I'm just going to use just some, the straight edge of the paper and we're going to have some light coming from here as well but if you imagine this in the dark if you did it all in silhouette yeah. with just the orangey yellowy light it would look absolutely stunning and that's the thing and if you are at home thinking oh yeah I'm really interested in, oh it's only the summer now can I use these for summer cards please take out the words from we were talking about this before we came on air when we were doing um, just deciding whether the show's going to go ahead or not but these could be all year round stamps. They're not just a summer collection. Definitely not. I mean, I always sort of design with that in mind as well. So I'll never really, unless it's something like a snowman. But unless, yeah. you know, unless it's something like that, generally we try and use them all year round. So I'm going to put the little cat on here as well. 
So we're going to have that one inked up in black. This cat's going to really stand out against this bike. And we're going to put the little bird on as well. So I do apologise, this one takes a little bit longer, this demonstration, than the others, because no, we've got quite boring. a lot going on in here. So the cat is just going to sit on top of the bike, like so. And then what we can do is just start with, we've already put the background on the corner there. So you'll see I never sort of, I'm not afraid, afraid of the white space, I quite like the white space. So don't feel like you need to fill the whole card with colour. So I'm just going to use this corner now and we're just going to use the ivy. And we're just going to have this trailing down this side of the card. So just like that. Okay, so just this bottom bit to do now. So what we're going to do is use the stencil. And I'm just going to pop this just along the bottom here. So you want the smaller size so they look further away. And then all we're going to do is use the inks and just start to build up the colour through here. And again, you don't have to be exact with this. These are probably, the paving and the bricks, are probably going to be one of the most used items this year for me because I've found so many different ways to use them, especially the bricks. They just go with everything. This is it, and the path as well, it's quite, once again... You've really given us more than one stencil here because you've got the different size. So the yeah. size gets bigger, so you can really get a uh, sense of depth into your yeah. cards as well, can't you now? Yeah, so you can create a lovely little scene. There's some beautiful ones behind you where we've got um, some little flower pot scenes and you've got the, the sitting on a patio with the wall behind and you've got the trailing ivy. But the wall, again, is fantastic if you want to do... Um, you know, like a, a hole in that wall like we did on the first show. And if we get round to it today, we'll have another one. Um, and it's just missing some of those bricks out and then doing a little scene through it. You could do that for Christmas just as easily and have all your snow on your brickwork. It would look absolutely beautiful. No, you could, because in theory now, you could go really off on a tangent. So you take that little house in the background. You could do like the yellow brick road if you, you wanted you to like. with the suitcases. <laughs> yeah, and you've got could. that little dog in there and it does look like Toto. Yeah, oh yeah, he could. Why not? So let's just get a little uh, one of the greetings on there. I think these have been popular because of the uh, the situation that we're in at the moment. Okay. And they're, they're, they're sort of quite uplifting, hopeful quotes. So they're quite nice. They so are. I'm just going to edge this. So this will save you matting and layering all the time and it literally just finishes off this card. And then we're going to take off, I nearly forgot to take off those masks, those messy masks there, but I'll do that in a second. And again, don't make this too neat, you don't want this perfect. So just that, and I always do two because if I go off with one I'll just bring it back with the other. And then we're just going to peel these little backgrounds off. And that will give us these beautiful clean stones in the front. And then a little bit of glossy accents and a little bit of um, a liquid pearls or something similar. So I just do a little dollop in the middle of those wheels. And then what is nice is to give it a little bit of shine. So where the light is, I'm just going to put a little bit of gloss as if there's a little bulb there. I'm going to put it on this bit here. And then just on the fronts of the tyres. Just like that. There is something very Mediterranean about this, very rural Italy that finds yeah. like... Yeah, well, you know we're all sort of dreaming of holidays and things. I yeah. think that's why I ended up with these sorts of things. So that's how that one finishes up there, like that. Absolutely beautiful. And um, that's our first demonstrations. We've got more demonstrations lined up as well. Uh, 412201 is your item number. We're limited stock. We are limited stock on the back in stock stock. That means green on screen, which means we've only got 10% left of the stock. And once this has gone, this collection hit is gone, it will be packed away and we'll move to something else. You can see they've started setting up in the corner of the screen now. £56.91 or two flexible payments of £28.46. For if you're a Freedom member, the price gets even better. It's £51.22. Or you've got your Freedom Flexi on this of £25.61 for 80 stamps and two stencils is what you're getting in there now. Let's go back to the boards and the stencils you can do. Um, 
really do think about what you can create because you've got the beautiful things on here like that like that beautiful moped that you've got with the little dog and the bird and the bags in the background but then you can go to other areas so you've got the brickwork that you can put in there you've got the flowers that you can pop on as well your little glossy accents on the wheels you can change the color of the bike which will change the color of the scene you've got your beehive that's on there with the two log cabins that's in the background with the long tall trees with the bird nests in but this is the one I like I absolutely love this because it's different you haven't got to use all the elements if you don't want to just use the flowers and the bees but then you can create complete scenes with backgrounds and rolling hills and then moving on to sort of the bottom of the garden that secret garden that no one knows about you can now create it but look how you've got the um, the patio element in there as well. Uh, let's also, we've got more samples here as well uh, that we've also got on the screen. I think, I, we're not meant to have a favourite, but I don't stamp it, I would like these. I can see these on the sides of like bird boxes to create little scenes that could go outside uh, around a bird box if you wanted it to. This is beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Once again, look at the little la lantern. You could make the lantern light up. You know the little lights you've got with the little switches you can buy? You could turn that into a picture and that lamp could light. You've got the hanging basket, but at that point, it's technically sold out. Gone. We are now up. I can see Wendy's face in my monitors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not that when it's gone. Uh, so, what's going to happen now is I don't really know. We're going to go look at the seven day savers. Don't worry, we'll get to another demonstration. Um, because if you've, if you've got the collection, congratulations. If anything bounces back, I will let you know. Uh, I'm just trying to hide any excitement. Uh, we will let you, I'm trying to be professional. We're, we will let you know about this, but we are going to go to another demo as well, okay? Because if you've got them, you want to see how to use them. So we will go to a demonstration uh, shortly as well. But we've still got... The only, the only thing we've got left is the majestic rods. That's it. That's all I've got to offer you is a set of majestic rods. Uh, so we've got your majestic rods on the show as well. If you don't know what your rods are, they take all your stamps. They're absolutely beautiful. They take the thinner stamps. And maybe you've got some of the cardio uh, stamps before. Well, now you can go for the majestic rods. Uh, good for your little stamps so you know where they're all going and they're clear so you can see down them as well um, and they're double ended as it were so you can stamp and stamp away again uh, £10.99 uh, we could just be the rest of the hour on this for 35 minutes talking around majestic rods but we thought we'd get the seven day savers out just in case uh, but this is sold out as well so that's sold out as well. Uh, so, oh, good job, I can tap dance. Can you ballroom, Wendy, love? We might have to, uh, I'll teach you. Oh yeah, you can. Well, no, you, but not tap dancing. No, we could do it, we can do this. We'll, we'll have a little tango around the studio. Social distance, obviously. Um, right now, cardstock. Have we got this, Charlotte? Yes, we've got this. At £9.99, this is your Rose Paper Crafts A4 Cream. Leather embossed paper is what we're talking about now. So, it is paper, but if I try and get and catch... Oh, there you go. Look at... Uh, I can see... There, oh, there it is, look. So there we go. It's absolutely beautiful is what you've got there. So you've got that texture on there already. So you've got the leather look on there. So maybe if you were lucky enough to get your stamps, you could sort of turn it into a leather journal now. Go journaling with them. Go for your bigger images for £9.99. 897-123 is your item number. Uh, I'm going to leave it to you. It's chaos. Absolute chaos. No one really knows what to do. Uh, but uh, we are going to go to a demonstration shortly. Uh, LeBlanche is on the show as well. This is your decoupage kit that we've got on now. Uh, £12.99 pence for your decoupage kits. Now you're getting uh, four designs and 12 sheets. Let me show you uh, the designs that you're getting in here as well. For £12.99 pence, beautiful, beautiful, large designs that you've already got. 056606 is your item number. So that's your first paper. Then 
Uh, oh, I'm all fingers and thumbs. Look, I'm all... I'm nervous. Then you've also got uh, the papers that... So in, these would be beautiful. Um, you've got the Blackpool Tower down the bottom there as well. Absolutely stunning. Something romantic about the Blackpool Tower. There it is, look. It's all on the Blackpool theme, I think LeBlanche was thinking. She must have gone there for the day and thought... So, I'll have that. I'll turn that into a design, that Blackpool Tower, and that is what she's done. Uh, from then, oh, I don't know where to put these. They keep falling everywhere. Uh, there's extended delivery on these as well, the 23rd. Then you've got the beautiful roses. See, the beautiful roses from the Winter Gardens down in Blackpool. And then you've got the pink roses as well. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, you've got your decoupage papers on the show. Uh, do check out all your seven-day savers that we've got. Extended delivery on these as well. £12.99. and pence. The 23rd, these will be sent to you. 056606 is your item number. Up next, there's cables there. No, no one told me about it. Ooh, what a show. Uh, so, up next, MDF kits we've got next. Uh, your paper throw is ready. Adhesive MDF kits, four rainbows, um, rectangle plaques, and flowers in there as well. I think this is what you can create, in fairness. Uh, basically, it's MDF with um, stickers on the back. So if you've got things like glitter and stuff like that, you can then peel these away. I won't do it now, uh, but you can peel them away and sprinkle all, your, sprinkle all your stuff on your embossing powders on there, your glitters on there, and you can create beautiful pieces of work that look a little bit uh, like the finished sample there. You've got glitters on the roses there, look. Then we've got your rainbows that sparkle and shine. Uh, then, oh, now we're talking, look at that. Rainbow. Uh, right then, uh, very busy for your uh, rainbows and very busy for the Blanche um, decoupage papers as well. Uh, up next, oh, look at this. Look at this, your watercolour card. A big A water, uh, watercolour card as well. And you're getting backing board in there. Uh, in this, so you're getting 16 sheets in total. Uh, backing board, 16 sheets, watercolour card. What more could I ask for? Um, it, there's everything in there, everything you need, and a great price of nine pounds and 84 pence. Something else you've already found, and we've got managed to get them back in stock for a different design, is the shrink foils from LeBlanc. These go time and time again. They sold out yesterday. We've got them back again under a different, sort of a different image this time as well. Uh, they are beautiful. Z uh, 605381 is your item number. £12.99 and 99 pence for your shrink foil. Uh, very easy to do. Um, they are beautiful. I do like a bit of shrink foilage. Right then, let's go to another demonstration. So if you were lucky enough to get them amazing stamp sets, uh, we're going to stick with the demonstrations. Um, so we're, we're going to put on the rods on the screen, okay, because that's all we've got. Uh, so we've got the rods as well, so if you want to use the rods, get them while you can. But now use this time <coughs> for inspiration, okay? We say be quick, we say be fast. So now take everything in. If you were, unfortunately, you, you wasn't able to get the stamps, there's still techniques in here. So stay with me for the rest of the hour. It's the techniques and the hints and tips that we're going to learn now from our Wendy. Wendy, what are we up to? Right, well, it's funny because the, the little one that you really liked with the little scene in the brickwork at the back, we're going to do something very similar to okay. that one. So I've got these two here. So we're going to do sort of a mix between these two cards. Um, so we've got the brickwork running in the background. Now, what I've done already to speed things along a little bit, I've actually already stamped those little stones that we did before. And I've already positioned uh, my uh, stencil on the front with a little bit of removable adhesive. And then we've just coloured through the front. So I've used a couple of browns and a little bit of green because it makes it look a little bit mossy. So we've just gone straight through like this, picked out roughly where we want our wall to be. And we've coloured in this section here, just through there. So if you want to use a brush, you could use a brush for this, but it's just as easy with your finger. Now, on a couple of the samples over there, we have actually um, embossed a couple of these bricks, so you can actually make them look like they're really standing out, which is really lovely, actually. So, once we've done our brickwork, we can peel this away, and then I'm going to use the barrel, but this time, we're going to use the barrel um, in a slightly different way, and we're going to use it to put flowers in, so I'm only going to be stamping up half of that. So, first things first, I'm going to soften off these bricks. So I don't want a really, really stark white sort of um, centre to them. I want to take 
some of that away so we're just going to blend over the top and we're going to soften all of this background up so you don't want this to be too wet of an ink to do this so just soften all of the top up and you get this beautiful sort of muted background to work on so once you've got that then we can start to build up our little picture so what i've done here i've taken our little barrel stamp but i've masked some of this out with some uh, removable tape so what we're going to do is use two colors of brown so this rather than a full barrel is just basically going to give us a sort of pot shape so we're going to ink up all the bottom in one brown and then just to give it some more dimension we're going to use a darker brown over the top as well so i'm just going to catch the edges go all the way around and this should make this just pop right off the page and we're also going to pop that little lantern in here as well so we can peel that away and then we can stamp our little barrel just in here okay so even if i haven't cleaned this barrel properly and we do get a little bit of color coming through the top it really doesn't matter because at the top here you'd put your flowers anyway so it's quite easy to do okay so once we've done that now we're going to put our little uh, lantern in so we're going to show you how to put the color in for that so just over my finger with the dry baby wipe and i'm literally just going to rub a little bit of yellow so a little circular motion roughly where the little lantern wants to be so we're going to use um the lily set as well so the frilly lily it's hard to say that one um and we're going to put that at the top now because it's got a few different sizes of flowers in makes it ideal if you want something that's in the foreground use the bigger ones and if you want something that's in the background then just use uh, the smaller ones so in this bottom tub we're going to have um, some slightly bigger lilies let's stamp this lantern first actually before we go any further so we'll pop this in where we put that color and we'll put that about here so again this would be beautiful for christmas just on the snow that would be absolutely gorgeous great for glossy accents as well because it gives it that little bit of dimension so now we can start to add in our little flowers so this is the biggest lily in the set so i'm not going to use too many of these ones and it's got beautiful detail in that one and then we're just going to use the smaller ones so don't re your stamp as well every single time and you can see because we've actually done those uh, bricks quite pale it doesn't matter when you come to stamp over the top you can't see those bricks through so you can just go straight over and even on your lantern you can stamp over the top of your lantern as well if you want to because obviously it's see-through so it doesn't matter that you can see some of the the flowers through the lantern as well so it's all quite free and easy so we're going to add another color in And then we're going to add some greens in there as well so just fill in so this is where these rods come in and i think that's all we've got left so <laughs> these are great <laughs> these are fabulous it is we've only got the rods <laughs> we've literally only got the rods left on the show we're currently um they're current there's big talks going on in my ear at the moment of what's going to happen after this demonstration um so as soon as we know what's going on we'll let you know so we are going to finish uh, we're going to get to the end of this demonstration and we'll find out what's going on okay so we've just finished with the the rest of the minute, but i thought we'd pop the little hanging basket in here as well before we go any further so i'm just going to put a couple more flowers in here so you can see how easy that is as well it's very you don't have to really think about it and it's one of the things i love about these stamps is you can really switch off while you work so it's one of my favorite things to do so we're going to do the hanging basket in two colors and then what I was saying before is we'll just use the smaller flowers from the uh, Frilly Lily set. I can't say that. <laughs> I should have called it something else. <laughs> I'll think about that next time. I'm going to pop the little hanging basket just in the background there. And then just a couple more little flowers we'll add into that. So let's take the smaller ones and we'll just pop these in as well. So you can create the most beautiful little scenes. But it's like you were saying before, it can be Christmas if you want it to be. So this exact scene, if you change the colours and put your snow in, you've got a completely well, This is the thing, like you scene. change them to red, they could be poinsettias exactly. if you wanted them to exactly, be. Exactly, or... yeah. This is why I love the freedom that we get with these stamps. Okay, nearly there. You can see how these rods come into play as yeah. well. 
they're so quick because you're rotating them in your hand all the time as you work I sometimes forget because I'm so used to using them if I didn't have them it would be so much more difficult to do so a couple of bits of green in here as well and then all I've got left to do is just put a little bit of this patio at the bottom so we've still got the stones in place and we're going to use the smaller end of the stencil and then just add a little bit of colour through there and then we are done So just a little bit of grey to start us off and again don't be frightened of using more than one colour because they really give them dimension if you start to add some darker shades in here as well and again like I said if you want to emboss these you can emboss little sections and it would look like the little flags were sticking up in parts yeah it's beautiful uh, just to let you know we've got a minute and a half left of this, this is, show this is done Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. Oh, it's finished. Look at that. Yeah. This is where it all comes together now. So we're just peeling off all the little bits and pieces that were in the way. A little bit of glossy accents on the lantern and we're done. There we go. All finished. There you go. Look at that for an amazing, amazing card. Uh, well, Wendy, thank you ever so much. It's You're an early welcome. bath. <laughs> we're all we're all out of here early, me and you. Oh, we're finished for the day. Uh, don't go anywhere. Um, Rowan and Dean are coming up next, uh, and then they'll have their full hour as well. So do not worry, you're getting an extended version of our Rowan and Dean. Uh, congratulations if you were lucky enough to pick up your big bundle of um, stamps and stencils that we've got as well. Uh, if not, we've got rods. Well, what more can I say? Uh, stay around, Janice will take you uh, through the next hour and 20 minutes uh, for your Rowan Dean embroidery. Once again, uh, thank you ever so much, Wendy. It's been an absolute pleasure. Uh, see? We work, we work together and they keep a short and sweet look. Uh, don't you go anywhere. We will see you straight after this break and I will see you tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock. See you later. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door. I'm lucky enough to have been a guest on Hachanda since day one. I like to pack my shows with lots of hints, tips and techniques. And my idea is to give the experience that I've got and I've gained to everyone at home and show as many things as I possibly can. The John Next Door brand is designed to bring high quality, innovative products to the crafting market. The range includes stamps, dyes and new products such as the media plates. I'm also looking to expand the brand and bring you lots of new techniques, new ideas and new products into the next few years. I hope you can join me on my crafting journey and learn some tips and techniques from me that I share with you. So don't forget to tune in and watch the John Next Door shows on Hachanda. Hello everyone, we're the Pink Ink Ladies. I'm Cathy. And I'm Mel. We've been with Hochanda right from the start and we've been crafting for 30 years. We're passionate about fabric, so our main thing is to stamp on fabric or stencil on fabric. We can't wait to show you all our new hand illustrated stamp and stencil designs, whether you're using them on cards or soft furnishings. Cathy and I get together at Pink Ink Towers and we can't wait to share our ideas. We choose all our subject matter together and then Cathy goes away and hand illustrates all our fantastic finished designs. All of our products are manufactured in the UK and we pride ourselves on the quality of our range. On our shows on Hachanda, we're excited to share all our hints, tips and techniques for you to get the most out of our products. Please tune in to the Pink Ink Shows, Get Inspired on Hachanda. Hello, I'm Hayley, and you might have seen me presenting here at Hachanda. Well, I've always been an avid crafter behind the scenes and have been given the opportunity to share some of my favourite products with you in a monthly show called Handmade by Hayley. I'll be covering lots of areas of soft crafts like quilting, dressmaking, sewing, knitting, even printing your own fabrics. I'll even be bringing some items from my own Handmade by Hayley range. So 
I hope you'll join me, let me inspire you, and maybe you will discover a new craft in the process. like a relay the baton has been passed on um how are you everyone i hope you're well a very busy morning here on hochanda so we thank you for choosing hochanda for all of your crafty goodiness and we're going into our next show a little earlier than normal uh, and i'm really excited about that because we have the lovely katrina with us today hello katrina hi how are you i'm good i'm really good really good Good. We're all good. Yeah. We're all good. We're good and we're early. Uh, right. Uh, it's a good chance, actually, to get in early um, to get hold of this fantastic book. Bestseller, Katrina. It's bestseller by a best-selling author, oh. which is our Katrina. Um, there's a freedom price on here, which means you get a discount by being a freedom member for £15.29. <clears throat> That's a delivered price, everyone. Now, the book itself. Let's open this up and have a look. Rowan Dean Embroidery. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful pictures that you can create through the art of stitching with your thread and also using the different fabrics that we've got available for you on the show. So, first of all, lots of information about threads and yarns in there. It's important to know what you're working with. Uh, and you'll also see we've got some great ideas when it comes to embellishments on your beautiful designs. Talking about designs, you'll have some designs to follow in the book as well. And you've got 10 projects to get yourself started with. But of course, it's all about learning. It's very easy to follow as well. It's really nicely laid out. And you will be able to start putting together your projects as soon as you turn the first page. But of course, you will need the fabrics and the threads. You might have some already at home and you might want to stock up as well on the show so if you do want to get hold of the book here it is at a great price 903 483 is your item number now you might want to add something else to your basket at this particular time and that's the play around kits now let me just move that out of the way for the moment now the play around kits are fabulous first of all you get a choice of your backing fabric so you get a choice of cotton or tweed depending on what you want to work for it and this is specially made tweed just for Rowan Dean. I know Katrina will talk about that uh, when we head over there. You've also got some organza as well. Now this is lightweight. It's beautiful. Gorgeous colours in here. And you'll be using these to create flowers. You'll be using these to create landscapes. You'll be using these maybe to create um, butterflies as well. Uh, we've got a butterfly kit on the show, by the way, everybody. Um, you've got two needles as well. So your needles are in there. So they're in the packaging. Uh, you've got some embellishments as well. So that's nice. Some really nice beads. Um, some beautiful beads, in fact. And you've got your threads. So you get your beads, your threads, the organza and the needles. And all you have to do is choose the backing fabrics for £17.99. 915244 is your item number. I definitely recommend that with the book because it means when you get the book home. If you're brand new, it is the perfect partner for you. Uh, right, we're going to head over to Katrina and we're going to have a demonstration, I do believe. What are we going to have a look at, Katrina? We're going to have a look at the play around pack. Oh, let's do it. Let's have a play around. Okay, I'll just get the everything in the way. Okay, play around pack. If you've um, if you've got the book, or even if you don't have the book, uh, the Play Around Pack is designed so that you've got a range of textures in there, you've got different colour groups, you've got some organza, you've got some beads. And the whole thing is, try out some stitches, try out some of the uh, fabric stitch techniques, have a look in the book, try a flower. On all the, a lot of the pages where I've done a French knot or we've done chain stitch or stem stitch there are little almost like little doodles of stitches as to what you could do with them so this is the perfect way to try out those ideas I've got the first play around has, has tweed and the second play around has the same sort of threads but this time you're working on um, the cotton background uh, is sort of a pearl color so either way you can do a lot of projects from this so the first let me just show you the ones that I've got here so I decided on this play around was to try out some of the uh, some of the stitches that I just love and then cr create small designs that I could either use as a card or actually the more I stitch on this piece I think it could be a panel 
for a cushion. So you get two pieces in there. Uh, the second one I've worked at fly stitch and detached chain. I've used some of the beads, some of the organza. So in, in, when I was starting this project, you just, I just think of trying out the stitch. You might want to practice that uh, on part of the fabric and then incorporate some of the, uh, some of the organzas. I'm going to show you how to do that to start with. I mean, look at all those colours. They're just fabulous in here. So you get an array, uh, array of colours and then you get two sets of colours. You get a set of green colours. You can get some for the, with trees or walls. And then we've got a, another set with, a, with, the, with the sort of brights and the, and the wools. And so you'll get a mixture of those. And obviously you get the needles in there as well. So I'm just going to put my work in the hoop. So I'm going to work on the tweed to start with. And I'm just going to take a little bit and I'm using the spring hoop uh, for this design. I quite like work, working with the hoop. You don't have to always work with the hoop but I quite like to do that. So the easiest of the stitches I think that I use uh, is straight stitch. So I'm just going to find a little bit of space on this fabric. So straight stitch is really the basis of most of my designs. So you're just going to work a couple of straight stitches. So I'm almost like thinking messy. I'm just thinking of some grasses here in this area. And I'm using a, I'm using a, a woolen thread, so it's made by a company called Appleton, which is a, it's got a fantastic range of colours. You'll get a lot of, a lot of choice in your play around pack. Uh, so some of the threads might be textured, some of them might be sparkly, but you'll get a chance to play with those and see how they work on the tweed and on the cotton. So I'm just doing a couple of straight stitches there. So I'm using a needle that's called a, a chenille needle. So that's one that's got a, a large eye and a sharp point. So I'm just going to do a couple of stitches there. And then to fasten off, I'm just going to take the work over to the other side and I'm just going to do a couple of stitches just to hold that in place, like so. And then another of my sort of real favourites uh, is the French knot. So I'm just going to add some French knots in amongst the grasses. So I haven't used my organza yet, but that, there's plenty of time for that. So I'm just going to take the thread and it's six strands so I'm just going to go around once, twice, no more and then I'm going to take that straight down and as the needle goes through I'm just going to tighten that thread and just keep it around the needle and that makes beautiful knots, really lovely knots. Now if when you first start and do the French knot, it, it doesn't work 100%. It's just a lot of the time it's just repeating that stitch and keeping, keeping, uh, just keeping the tension. And if the tension changes in, in your hoop, just re-tighten it with the spring. That's why this kind of hoop's really good. So I'm just adding a few French knots. And then once you can do those, you can then add in a little bit and do a long-legged French knot. Now a long-legged French knot is the same process once, twice, and then this time instead of going back into the same place, I'm going to take the thread a little bit longer. So it's almost like the stamen on a flower, which is really, really useful. So you go around once, twice, and then wherever you place that needle, that's the size of that stitch. And that's really a lovely way of working. Now in the play pack as, as well as that, you've got fabric and organza. So if you take a little piece of the organza and you cut a little tiny square of the organza, now you don't have to be, don't worry about it being too precise. You're going to take the fabric and you're going to fold it in half and then you're going to fold it in half again. And then you could distort and fray the edges. And then you can use the same thread to attach it to your work. And then you're just going to add a little tiny French knot there. And that's going to be a 
a little bit of texture there in amongst your work. So folded flowers, I think they're really, really useful. You can make them giant or you can make them really, really dainty. So you do that, you first of all fold it into quarters and then if you hold the point there and then you just take the fabric and curve the edge and you'll get a different shape flower. And then you can bring the needle through again and just hold that in place. Now if you find that is not going to be holding in place, use the flower head pins just to secure that just while you're getting the thread to work and you're getting a small a little French knot to hold that in place. And then you can use the rest of the thread to build up some texture. Katrina, I think we've got about just over a minute left of the show, but we do have another hour show to go. So we that's, that's great. That's great. Yes. I'll, so we'll have time to do a, a couple more French knots and just a little bit of texture on there, a little bit of sparkle. That's what I think it needs. Yes. Lovely. So just going to take a little bit of the thread. Now you'll probably see me doing this later later on the on the next program. So just take a little bit of the thread and we're just going to bring the needle up here and I'm just going to take a couple of beads, catch those beads on the bead thread and just add a little bit of sparkle. And as you attach the bees, if you want them to, uh, if you were putting this on, uh, on a, a cushion or whatever, then you can always go through the beads several times just to make sure they're really, really secure. Thank you, Katrina. Uh, right, we are going to head out of this show. Thank you very much. And we're going to head in to the next show, a full hour of Rowan Dean embroidery. So go and have a cup of coffee, go and get your mascara on, and we'll see you in a few moments' time. Okay, yes, look at that, Rowan Dean Embroidery coming up for the next hour. You're in for a treat with that. Uh, Be Creative Best with Cricket after that. And then Crafts 2 One Day Special concludes at 4 o'clock today. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute to classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door. I'm lucky enough to have been a guest on Hachanda since day one. The John Next Door brand is designed to bring high quality, innovative products to the crafting market. The range includes stamps, dyes and new products such as the media plates. I'm also looking to expand the brand and bring you lots of new techniques, new ideas and new products into the next few years. So don't forget to tune in and watch the John Next Door shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Andy from Picture This. I've been a painter all my life. Picture This was actually formed on the back of a throwaway remark from one of my art students. This has developed my drawings into a series of photopolymer stamps, clear stamps for the crafting community and the crafting industry. The stamps are all hand-drawn by me. They're made in the UK, most important to us at Picture This, and we have so much more to bring. Our shows on Achanda, um, we hope to make them informative 
amusing obviously, entertaining, but mainly it's about bringing the creative spirit to you. Make sure you tune in and watch the picture this shows on her channel. Welcome to Club G45 from Graphic45, the monthly tutorial kit that allows you to create some of the most beautiful projects by accessing a step-by-step -step video viewable online. This month's tutorial is the Club G45 Ocean Blue Collector's Box and Mini Album and Matchbook Box Kit. You will get almost everything you need to create both of these projects from scratch, including access to this month's step-by-step -step video tutorial and accompanying project sheet. Simply order yours by purchasing item number 467894 for £49.99, plus your postage from hochanda.com, or give us a call on 01733 60 2000 for instant access to this month's Club G45 from Graphic45. Hi, I'm Paul Church from Clarity Stamp. I've been fortunate enough to turn my hobby into a career and joined Clarity Stamp in January 2016. My background has always been in crafting and I enjoy making things and sharing things. That's what crafting is all about for me, making things and sharing with others and also learning all the time. At Clarity Stamp we bring you a wide range of products from stamps, stencils, groovy and Pergamano. And the great thing about that is that it covers crafters from all different aspects. So whether you're into stamping, stenciling, parchment craft, we've got it covered at Clarity Stamp. So I hope you can tune in and join the Clarity team on Hochanda. to have your company again <laughs> uh, we've got a whole hour now of Rowan Dean for you uh, we came to the show early because we're having a very busy morning here at Hochanda uh, if you have just joined us hello how are you we've got the lovely Katrina with us there she is hello Katrina hi hello again hello as Lionel Richie once sang <laughs> how are you Katrina I'm good I'm really well great to be here uh, now you've already had one show this morning which That's we were right. very busy for um, and we've got lots of treats available for people in this show but what are we going to see as far as demonstrations are concerned? Oh, we're going to we see, see some different demonstrations we're going to have a look at the organza pack and the ideas that you could create with those and then we've got obviously a little bit on the play around pack which I think if you've got the book or you just want to try out our ideas is great and then I brought along some new fabrics so I'm going to show you uh, some ideas as to what you could do with those and then of course Hydrangea, just look, if we've got time, hydrangea as well. We've got a whole hour. We've got a whole hour, so uh, hopefully we'll have time for that. Now, I do need to tell you something, because earlier on today, the set of needles and pins and magnets, well, they sold out, but we've managed to get some back for you. Only £9.99. pence. There. See, look, it's not sold out anymore. Brilliant. So this is a chance now to pop these into your basket and the dispatch date is going to be the 12th of June. That's not actually that long to wait, is it? Uh, only, is it just a couple of days? Oh, I think that's the day I'm getting my windows painted. I know. Hope it stays dry for that. Uh, seven, I'm getting a man in to do it and all sorts. Right, 741201 is your item number. £9.99. So, absolute bargain. Pop that into your basket before it sells out again. Uh, right, let's take you through the different kits we've got available for you um, so you can make your choice wisely. Uh, I do like this. If you're brand new to Rowan Dean Embroidery, this is a, a great kit to start you off. First of all, the price, £18.95, will get you six cards. Now, don't just think of them as cards. These could be elements for frames to go onto your walls, for example. You could give one as a card, and somebody, of course, could then put it into a frame in their home. So it's something they're going to keep. It's not a card that they'll take and then recycle. This is a card that they'll keep and maybe turn into some home decoration. In the kit, you are getting your fabrics that you need with the actual patterns to follow so let me just open this up so that's going to be easy for you to follow again as a first timer 
and then you are getting the cards for them to go on you're getting the envelopes you're also getting the organza you're getting the beads as embellishments for the flowers and the threads as well it's a great price and the instructions this is something that Katrina prides herself on is that going to stay there? Let's pop that there. Pride itself on with the instructions. Very, very easy to follow. And once you start, you're just going to get lost in those flowers and gardens that you're creating. But I do need to tell you that 60% of the stock has already gone. 60%. So what a great gift for yourself. We've got Father's Day coming up. So if your dad likes to sew, for example, or wants a new hobby, um, this could be a great gift for him. Or maybe it's a card that you'll make to give to your dad. 778-115 is your item number. Right, next up, um, another delightful project for you because this is going to be a project that you're going to enjoy doing but you've got something practical at the end of it. So let's just open this up. Uh, you will create this fantastic needle case. Love this. You get everything you need. So you've got the outer part of the fabric and this is um, tweed that's been specially designed by Rowan Dean and uh, I'll ask Katrina about that when we head over to her. You've got the designs already on there so you've got the stitching templates which is perfect and then you've got the organza, the thread, you've got the sequins there everything to put together is absolutely beautiful it really is. Again this could be a gift for somebody or it could be a project for yourself. A third of the stock though has gone of that, a third of the stock has gone and also you get the instructions very easy to follow. 727498 now, the hydrangea, this is a favourite of Katrina's, and I must say, actually, Katrina, it is a favourite of mine. It's absolutely stunning, isn't it? Oh, I, I love the layer, the colours, the different shades of pink, because this actually was the plant that was in my garden, and it is really very, very pink. Wow. It's lovely. Do love, we've got some hydrangeas, absolutely love them, and of course, they're, they're different colours, aren't they, with different soils, so they're a fascinating, right. fascinating plant to grow, um, and you will grow with your particular craft, if you were to get this, so you get the beautiful fabric with the pattern already on, and you get your thread, you get needles, and you get the organza as well, it's so beautiful. Um, this is to display to you how it could look, you could do all kinds of things with yours, you could put it on a cushion, or create some home furnishing or you could use something like this. I'll just turn this around just to show you. So if you're thinking, oh, how do I do that? Um, if you've got a wooden frame like this, you can stretch it over and then you can attach it on the back. That's all we've done here. Uh, I say we, the royal we, <laughs> Katrina and Ted. Uh, but it's something that perhaps you could do when you get that home. £29.95. Uh, right, next up. Now, this is interesting. This is your willow herb on Chevin. Now, this is an embroidery kit. Again, you don't get the frame, but you do get the mount. So the frame is an option for you. But if you have a look at that, I've not seen a kit like this before, Katrina. I really like this with the actual frame that you can also embroider on. Yeah, it's almost a, a picture within a picture. And yeah. I think that's a style that I like. You know, if I'm out in the countryside, I love the foreground and the plants, but I also like the landscape. So it is that sort of style. Yes. All stitched. So there isn't any organza on that one. It's all... Uh, created with thread. Isn't that lovely? It just makes me want to go out to the countryside and just go for a walk. 40% uh, of the stock has gone, so with that you get the fabric, you also get the mount as well, and then you'll be able to put all of that together with the instructions again that come in the actual kit, and they're very, very easy to follow as well. You're going to enjoy doing that. Remember, it doesn't include the frame. The frame is optional, and that's something that you can buy. It's a personal thing, isn't it? The frame's in your home. £16.95, 080365 is your item number. Oh, have you seen this? You've got your little cat by the pond. We think he might be looking for his lunch, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping they're friends. I'm hoping they've lived together for a long time and he's just looking in to maybe to see his reflection. That's, I think To make so. sure he looks all right because you've got the tomcat coming around later tonight. Uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful design, isn't it? With the trellis there, with the flowers. And with this, Katrina, there's so much detail that you've managed to get in there with the stitching. Well, I think the, the close-ups of the flowers, are, you know, there's sort of a few French knots, we've got some stem stitch there, we've got some straight stitch. But I think it's the blend of colours as well, using a mix of quite quite close together colours just to give that lovely effect and yeah. some of it is done, worked in quite fine stitching with two strands for some of the French knots but it gives it that delicate look. 
that I mean you've got the path in there you've got the trellis are they red hot pokers yes there you go you see I know my flowers uh, 610248 your item number if you want to go for that absolutely delightful kit again the frame is optional because that's something that's personal to you but in the kit you do get the actual print on there so it's easy for you to follow there's nothing for you to remember and you get your threads as well but look how beautiful that is 610248 Right, we've got a kaleidoscope of butterflies for you now, and you get to choose your options. Thirteen pounds and ninety-five pence. I find this really interesting, and let's let's go through the different butterflies that we've got here. Let's see if we can name them. That one is your tortoise shell. That's your tortoise shell. Next up, you've got your peacock butterfly. Then you've got your. Uh, Red Admiral, which is there, which is beautiful, so that's one choice. Uh, the next set of butterflies, you've got your small copper, which is beautiful, isn't it? Then you've got your white... Oh, is that... I don't know. Is that the painted lady? I'm, look... I'm, I'm looking at that lady upside down. <laughs> Clearly, I thought that lady was a small copper, but she's not. She is... The painted lady small coppers down there um, and then you've got that lovely white butterfly which is your cabbage white butterfly plenty of those around at the moment I can tell you um, and then you've got that beautiful blue as well the common blue and then your final set down the bottom you've got your purple Emperor which is beautiful you've also got the middle one there that's the small copper and then you've got the orange tip Aren't they lovely? Now, I was told that the white butterflies only lived for about 48 hours, but I might be wrong. I don't know. Story that I was... Maybe it was so I could leave them alone. Um, now, you choose which set you like. The reason why I like these, the first time I saw Katrina demonstrate these, I just found it fascinating. So, in the kit, you get some white, or it's clear organza, with the print of the butterfly on. So, for example, there you go. So you've got your print of your peacock butterfly just there. Then you get your threads, the colour threads to match the butterfly. So you'll stitch into it, which is perfect. And then, Katrina, do we get a candle and melt away the organza? Yeah, you can, you can do it two ways. You can uh, melt round with a, a hot needle, or you can just cut round with scissors. Uh, and I would suggest put the brooch back on before you, you do that so you're able to stitch, you, you know, you've got the fabric there to help you stitch. Perfect. Yes, you do get the brooches as well included. So you get three of those. You'll make three butterflies. But how lovely are these? Displayed like this. Imagine if you were going for all three of the options and then you place them on um, a little cushion like this and then added some embroidery. That'd be absolutely lovely. They look, it, looks, it looks great. They look really as if they've just flown in. Yeah, they do. They do. And um, you've got that 3D element to them as well. Uh, 130058 is your item number. And again, they come with the full instructions. And I'm giving it away how I knew the butterfly names. You thought I was just really intelligent. No, I was reading. Uh, 130058. I know my butterflies. Right. Now, the book. Best-selling author. Uh, sounds good. <laughs> Best-selling book. Uh. It is, isn't it, Katrina? It, uh, yes, be, people have enjoyed having the book. Oh, she's so modest. You're so <laughs> modest. It is, it, it is. The, yeah, it is. It's the best-selling book. Uh, £15 and 29 pence. Best-selling book on, because we need to quantify that, of course, Best one of the best-selling books here on Hochanda, but it's been number one in the charts, hasn't it? Yeah, thank you. You know, because Search, Search Press published it. It's, it's yes. doing well. And it was on some of the things as well. Uh, but it's, it's, yeah, it's been really popular, which is it's, really nice. Well, you know, you should be very, very proud of it. And um, it's super value for money. Freedom members, £15.29. Um, inside the book, lots of information on how to get started. Nice little picture of Katrina as well. A little bit about Katrina just there. Um, all about threads, all about stitching. Taking you through the different projects as well. Taking through uh, the different techniques. You've also got 10 projects in here. So you've got the templates to work with. Um, and you can just use this as a reference book. Get your inspiration, have a look at the different designs, get your hints and your tips as well, and learn something, and learn the right way. And as with the instructions that you get with all the kits, it's very easy to follow because you've got your pictures there. Absolutely beautiful. Great price for that. Very, very popular. Uh, 903483 is your item number. Now, I'm just going to move that to one side because something that will accompany your book is your play around kits. And if you were lucky enough to join us 
um, towards the end of the previous hour, we had a sneak peek at these. Um, you've got a choice. The background fabric is the choice. First of all, uh, you've got the cotton, so you get two pieces of that, or you've got the tweed, which is specially made for Rowan Dean. Why is it specially made for you, Katrina? Well, I'll ask you that right now. Well, we, I, I like the, the weight of the fabric, and I like the colour of the fabric, and uh, it, works for, it works for sort of our kind of stitching. You know, yeah. you could use textured threads or you can use very fine threads. So it's perfect. It's really nice. It's, it's in there. You can see like a, a fleck, like yeah. a blue fleck. I mean, it's, 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 I think it's a sort of a dress weight uh, as well. So if you want to, you know, you could use it for clothing. Yeah. And it's made here. So we've always got it. So now we have to ad order it in our advance, months mm. in advance, because they've got to weave the whole thing and finish it and everything. Uh, but it's nice that it, it's... It's only available through us, and it's perfect for our kind of work. It's lightweight, isn't it? It's nice, and that's what makes this easy to work with, but it is tweed. £17.99 gets you your backing fabric. You also get a selection of organza, so beautiful, lightweight organza to work with. Some gorgeous colours uh, to depict your flowers or maybe some butterflies. Um, this is your kit. It's your play-around kit. You've got some lovely beads, embellishments. Two needles as well, so good to go as soon as you get this out of the pack. And you've got a selection of threads as well so if you're thinking well what shall I do well just think of a picture maybe if you've got um, an erasable pen that you're using for your soft crafts you could draw on and then you could stitch that particular design using the threads and using the organza and have a play uh, 915244 is your item number 17 pounds and 99 pence now we've got some organza for you to stock up on and you might want to go for some of this if you're going for the kits or if you're going for the book. We've got two choices for you. We've got the landscape and you've got your greens in there, beautiful blues, gorgeous golds and brown, like a coppery colour there, which is really nice for your trees. Um, and then your blues, of course, for your oceans and your skies, the greens for your trees again and for your grasses and your flowers. So a lovely selection there, only £10.99 and, and you get 10. Let me open one of these up because it is... They are large, absolutely gorgeous. So you can see there, if I put that over there, it's a good sized piece of organza, each and every one. So 10 large pieces in the landscape colors. And then we've got something new for you. We've got something new for you. Oh, it's, no, that's, the, sorry, the fabric's new, but the rainbow colors, uh, you have seen these before, uh, but we've actually put them in the rainbow. Um, Colours. And it was interesting, actually, Katrina, because at the top of the show, we were like, yeah, let's put them in the rainbow. And Chloe, lovely floor manager, Chloe, myself, we were going red and yellow and pink and green, orange and purple and blue, because that's a nursery rhyme, isn't it, you learn at school. And then it was like, no, it's Richard of York, game battle in vain. And so we've done it like that. But it looks great, doesn't it? The rainbow colours. So think about all the different flowers that you can create, the different um, style images that you can put together. And these beautiful reds, the orange, the yellow, the green, the blues and the pinks. And they say there's no pink in a rainbow, but, you know, there's pink in my rainbow. Yeah. That's garden, what I'm saying. The garden colours. Garden yeah, colors. they are. They're beautiful. Beautiful. Very inspiring as well. 118313 is your item number. £10.99. Right. Fat quarters. Fat quarters. Um, these are new today. These are new today. We've got some new colours for you. So should we start at the top or the bottom? Let's start at the top with your colours. You've got your lovely mauve in there. Do like that. You've got your blush. Really nice soft pink there. Uh, you've got this one is your celestial blue, which is lovely. And then you've got your wedgewood blue, lovely. Then you've got your powder blue and you've got your asparagus. Something I actually wanted to grow this year in the garden, but didn't. Uh, £12.99, 246064. Um, is it per fat quarter? So you choose your options. You're more than welcome to have more than one if you want to. I'm just going to open one up. Because uh, I just want to show you the size, just so you can see. There you go. So it's good, good, good size. It's like, that is a lovely cut. I'd like a shirt in that. That is very nice. Twelve pounds and ninety-nine pence, and you can choose. Right, Katrina. I think we're going to head over to you for a demonstration now. What we're we going to have a look at? We're going to do have a, a little play with some of the organza packs. We're going to. We've got you know the two colours. This is the most recent one, which is uh, landscape. So I've got lots of blues. Um, oranges, tangerine, 
uh, greens. So that's my landscape, and then I'm adding flashes of colour with the other one, the other pack. So the first thing I'm just going to show you that you could do with this is I'm just going to take a small piece of organza, and we use this technique quite a lot. Uh, and I'm just going to fray the organza, but probably more than I would normally. And I'm going to just tease it. It doesn't fray if you just move it. You've really got to pull the fibres apart and make it really think messy, really. So you're just going to distort that until it looks really, really textured. And then I'm going to place it over the top and I'm going to use it just to make clouds of the, with the organza. So you've got several colours of blue in there. Um, just to create not a stormy sky hopefully but just a nice gentle color just by uh, texturing the, th the fabric and just just really have it just have a play with it if it get, turns out too big you can trim the fabric and just just see what colors that you'd like to place just secure those with the the flower head pins and then you can use a thread and I'm sure you'll have some left in some of the kits that we've done uh, to, or even the play around pack. So I'm just going to, I'm, I'm using three strands at the moment and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a couple of diagonal straight stitches just to hold that in place as if they were clouds and adding a little bit of texture in there just with a, a thread. Now this one's beautiful as it's variegated so the colours just happen as you start to stitch. It's got a flash of of pink in there as well. So you could work diagonals, uneven, not even stitches, and you can blend in some whites or maybe even some metallic thread just to hold that in place. I think and what's then, lovely about it, Katrina, is the way that you leave the edges, confidently leave the edges frayed, and you don't, some, you know, sometimes you might be tempted to sew all around the edge. But because you leave them so soft, it's, it's, it's gorgeous. Really, yeah, just be really sort of, you know, I think uh, billowing clouds, really, yeah. you know. I mean, you, you could also do maybe small stitches just so that you're not really seeing the, th uh, the thread. You're really going to just see the organza. And you can, if it's uh, too textured, then you can just take a tiny little stitch and just that'll keep that in place as you start to work with it. And then when you've completed your first part, then you're just going to turn it over. And you're just going to fasten off just by winding a couple around a couple of threads. You're not going to see it from the other side. And then you're going to just snip those threads away, like so. So I think that's got real possibilities um, to create texture in a piece of, of work. And it's very similar technique if you were going to start off with, you were going to do some grasses in the foreground uh, and create a, a little bit of a, a grassy area. But there are one way that I think is brilliant for this organza, because you've got very big, good, big pieces, is you can actually stitch with it. So I'm just going to show you how to do that. So you've got quite a, a large piece. And the secret for this really is not to make the fabric too narrow when you start off. And you're going to make quite a long cut. So you've got, you can hold on to the thread so that when you actually start to tear it, it's not going to break. And you've just got, you end up with a piece of fabric that really you're now going to treat as a, as, as a thread. You don't think of it as, as a fabric anymore. And then I'm going to thread that, I've threaded some through my needle. Uh, now, if you've, if you've got um, the pebble, in the pebble, one of the lar two larger needles, they've got the largest eye. They might be easier to thread the organza. But if you've got the other sizes and you, you've twisted your thread to make it quite narrow, then you can get that threaded, whichever feels comfortable to work it. So the, I think the secret is not to have too long a length so that you... It's, it's not going to get in a tangle. So I'm just going to do a couple of stitches, bring the thread up, and this time I'm not going to put a knot, I'm just going to leave it on the back there. And then you can just take a couple of stitches and you're just going to work that thread. And it covers an, an area very quickly to create almost grasses. 
So you work that whole piece. And of course you can mix two colours. You can add, I think there are three shades of green in the landscape pack there. You can add several colours just to create texture. And then you can fasten that off. You can either thread it through underneath a thread and then stitch that down at the end. Okay, so that's, that's a really useful way of uh, working the thread. And of course you can, with that same technique, you can rotate the thread and you can make it into petals. All right, I think you can, you know, if you think of cornflowers or echinacea or asters, those kind of plants that have got a daisy-like appearance, you can create those really easily in, in the organza. And then another thing that's brilliant for the organza is if you turn, I think the beauty of these two packs is that if you, you can be working on a landscape uh, from, you know, looking out your window, depending on the weather and where you are. So you've got like quite subtle colours and then you've got bright colours that you can mix the two together. So that I've just cut a rough circle of, of fabric. It doesn't matter. This is the thing about experimenting with a uh, play around pack and this pack. You can just try out ideas and if it doesn't work, you just get another piece and, and have another go. So you can just be creative and create texture. So I've taken some little pieces of the organza, and again, this time using the same technique, just being a little bit mean to it, just spraying the edge, and just doing a couple of colours all the way around. And then you put the two together, and then if you take, pinch the two together, you can create almost like a little bit of a flower. And then I'm just going to take a colour. It's going to take a, a colour here. Let's put a knot in the end. So I'm just going to take. You could fold the. You could fold the fabric. You could scrunch the fabric. But I'm just going to stitch a couple of times to hold the folds in place. And you could easily do a couple of stitches, and then add beads in the centre. And then I'm going to use the same thread just to take it into the right place and be part of the flowers and the grasses. And then just take a couple of stitches. Yeah. And that's just going to be enough to hold that in place. You could add beads in the centre. But really, so, so versatile. You can be very dainty with it or you can be very textured either way, whichever suits your plan. That's not off again. So that's quite, quite a nice way of using the texture, but there are so many ways that you can work with this. You can create uh, your own landscape, you can cut layers of, of organza, and you can add French knots and things, just as if you were looking uh, at a, the distance in the landscape. Or you can just take something out of the garden and just try and work round and cut organza out and just have a, have a play with, with the colours that you can create because you'll get several shades of green. Use lovely stitches like straight stitch, running stitch uh, and stem stitch and you'll get some fabulous designs appearing very, very quickly. But it's the colours of the organza that you can use really, really well. Let's find this little piece here. We could go on for ages uh, practicing with this, but there's so many things that you can do with the organza. So uh, just bear with me while I set this one up. Another, another idea is that you can take a small piece of the organza and you can twist. So you twist as you anchor the, thread, uh, the fabric and you can stitch that down and then do what's called couching, which is where you're going over the surface and that's going to give you some shapes and of course that could be a tree or a plant and then you're just going to hold that down with thread. So that there's so many things that you can use with it. You certainly can. I was just looking in the book, Katrina, actually, um, just getting some inspiration from your fantastic book, which is available. And I was looking at the poppy. It's a similar technique, isn't it, uh, by using the organza to create that poppy 
but leaving it really nice and soft around the edges to bring it out from your project. Yeah, so cut up, cut up a petal shape and then, for, and then you just pleat and fold the, the base of the flower and that really makes it 3D. It's, it's such... How can I say? Because I don't, I don't want to call it simple, but it's, it's very easy to do, but it's so effective, isn't it? It's so effective using that organza to create effects like this. You're going to surprise yourself when you get it home. And do go for that book as well. You've got 10 projects in there to get you started. £15, 29 pence. Freedom members, you get that discount. Only £17.99. And, and it is written, of course, by our Katrina. Uh, absolutely fantastic. I love looking at that book. Uh, let me just pop that down. Also, the needle that um, Katrina was using, uh, we managed to get back in stock, by the way. Um, but we are busy for the extended stock. We're dispatching these on the 12th of June. So you get your needles and Katrina was using these in the demonstration to thread the organza. You've got your magnets in there and you've also got your flower head pins as well. So very, very easy. £9.99 pence worth popping into your basket. 741201. Now, the organza has been very busy. Let's start with the landscape. So try those techniques out with this when you get them home. Um, cut into it, just feather it out at the edges, create clouds, grass, flowers, trees, water. Um, we are 60% of the st oh my god it's over 60 percent of the stock gone for the landscape so in the landscape you've got your blues a beautiful that's a red isn't it and you know what actually what's interesting about your organza is i think like paint you can mix your organzas and then create colors so you've got that's actually if i show you that that's that's a red color I don't know if you, but if you mix that with the blue you've got purple so think about that with your organzas. Almost mix them like you would your paints. Um, so that is your landscape, £10.99. Then next up, you've got your rainbow colours. You've got your rainbow colours. Beautiful floral colours for flowers. You've pinks in there, purples, blues, greens, yellows, oranges and reds. And 70% of the stock of your rainbow option has gone. £10.99. Um, large organza pieces as well. Let's open one of these out to show you. They're so delicate. Absolutely gorgeous. It's difficult to see, isn't it? Let me get some fabric behind there and maybe show you. There you go. You can you can get the gist of the size there. Just hold it. As I waft it. A little bit of waft. Oh, look how it's catching the light. Oh, that looks lovely. Uh, okay. Right, let's pop that back down there. <laughs> Wafting is complete. Let's move on to the fat quarters. These are proving to be very popular and um, they're new. Right, we'll start at the top again. So, the first colour, and I'm going to open this out to show you the size, because it's a really good size. Let me open this up. So, your first colour is your mauve. Look at the size of this. So, that's mauve. That's lovely. So that's your size of each one, the $12.99 each. So that's your mauve. Uh, next up, you've got your blush, which is a beautiful pink colour, dusky pink. Next up is your celestial blue, just there. Then you've got your Wedgwood blue. You've got your baby or your powder blue. And then you've got your asparagus. 60% of the asparagus is gone. 246064. I think Katrina's got some cushions actually made out of the fat quarters. Shall I show everybody those now? Shall we? Yes, yes no, just, no. just okay. whilst we're here. Okay, so uh, I love the asparagus colour. The asparagus is absolutely gorgeous. So what I've done with this one is I've made it into a book cover, uh, but I've used some of the designs, like this one is from the, the doodles that we have now. Uh, this one's one of the pick and mix colours, and of course the butterflies. And you can, and when I'm, I'm covering a book, I want to have the inside part of it, so I make the leaves of it go in. Is you know when you think of a book cover, make the, the the part that's keeping it together quite broad, and then you can add stitching to that as well. So that it's got, it's a gorgeous. It really enhances the colours. I like that. That's a great. And then project. of course you've got the the Wedgwood blue. So this is a lovely one too. So again, I've just used colours um, similar, and I've just folded as if I'm using a book cover and then I'm going to decorate uh, each of the areas and then of course because I just love butterflies uh, I've used a couple of those on there and I'm going to hand stitch it but you can you can also if you like using the machine you can machine that together but I know what um, 
it's quite nice to make something that's that's hand stitched so I would just hand stitch that afterwards but the blue looks great I think and and with a fat quarter I guess the size of that particular book you had there you probably could make a couple of book covers with the fat you, quarter you definitely could you yeah. definitely could I mean I, I mean if you look at all the blues together you know I, I'm sort of thinking seaside beach water yeah. you know you could have a lot of a lot of different colors but my main thing was that I love we've got a, a kit called midnight garden and I quite like the idea of maybe using the inside of the cushion and that making these ones into the outside of the cushion that's a good uh, idea a little bit like that one so that one is um, that one is a, a mini but I've used all the colors and I've stitched it taking the machine colors to sew it onto the background uh, for, uh, and hand stitch the design but so that's got lots of possibilities I think so to do that I, I do like the shades of blue that you've got in fact shades I love, of blue I love all the shades and they're gorgeous and I think so is the blush the blush is brilliant uh, it, it, I think it would work with uh, we've got ones that are called cherry blossom in the pick -a mix and you see they look great together those two kinds of colors or even if you've got a, a, a larger design uh, like this one that's pink campion that would look fab wouldn't it just uh, as part of a book cover as well yeah it really would and then, of those. course again the mauve one enchanted garden that you could make that into a cushion as well so we've got loads of you know there are lots of possibilities it's when you look at the colors yeah. I kept thinking of things to do you know? oh Oh, thanks for that, Katrina. Some great ideas there with your fat quarters, twelve ninety-nine each. Uh, right, we've got a pick and mix for you. Uh, uh, th uh, do, these are gorgeous. These would look great on the book or on uh, a cushion, for example. Uh, right, twenty-nine pounds and ninety-five pence. You get to choose any three, any three. And there are 13 options. This is just three that I've got here uh, to show you an example of what they can look like. So little scenes depicting maybe a country walk. Um, that actually reminds me of the Shawshank Redemption at the end where he meets, where he goes to the wall where Andy has buried the treasure. Oh, you've not seen the film yet. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, uh, must remember that. Sorry. Uh, so this is... Um, just an example of three of the kits. You get your thread, the organza, you get the actual um, uh, printed fabric. Let me get one of these to show you, because sometimes I can show you more easily than I can tell you. Uh, you get your needles included as well, and you'll see you get your pattern on there that you can quite easily embroider. Um, superb. Um, so it's a pick and mix of any three, £29.95. And, um, and this is on the website. Are we going to show, or are we going to show the next one? Can we show the options in this one? Because you've got quite a lot to choose from. Uh, so this is just a selection of three. So here are your um, landscape. Now, if I was going to choose three, I'm going to go for the roadside foxgloves, definitely. I do like those. I'm going to go for the poppies because I love poppies. And I think that hillside path, the hillside path, that's... Those are the three that I would go for. Um, so three wonderful little projects for myself and my friends or uh, for myself or just for myself. So that's how you do it. Uh, and that's your pick and mix. There's also another option for you. That was the landscapes. And these, oh, aren't these absolutely gorgeous? Um, these are three examples, and these are your florals. As you can see, we've got some gorgeous poppies there in a field with some daisies. Uh, we've got some flowers there. They fox gloves maybe um, and then you've got your lovely uh, daisies there and your country garden collection now 604664 is your item number for your floral here is the website and look at the five star reviews on there and let's go and have a look let's see which three I would choose let's see if it's going to be the same as you I'm going to go for the pink cow parsley I do like uh, I'm going to go for the echinacea as well because that's, um, that's the pink echinacea, because that's something about, you know, health for me. So I'd, I'd have that. And then, um, oh, do you know something? I'm such a fan of cow parsley. I'm going to go for the summer cow parsley. It just reminds me uh, of when I was younger, playing up the fields, making dens up the fields. Uh, right, £29.95. Let's head back to Katrina. What are we going to have a look at now, Katrina? 
Well, I'm going to show um, some stitches. I'm, going to, I'm looking at play around pack, but all the stitches here are the ones that are in the kits. So uh, it, it's nice to have a look at those and see how you can use them. So well, I've, I've placed some fabric over. So I'm working on the cotton uh, play around, and I've just taken some threads uh, from the mix, and I'm just going to show you. You know, one of the stitches that I just I just think is great and that is the French knot. So I think it's, it's worth seeing it several times just so that you, um, it's just a, f a fascinating stitch. Okay, so I've brought the thread through from the back and I'm just going to wind the thread around the needle, but I'm keeping it in my frame and the frame's quite uh, important. It keeps it taut and it's just going to go around once, twice, and as you turn the needle, you're not going to go into exactly the same place just about one thread over and as you push the thread into the fabric just then tighten that and that's going to give that lovely rose type effect as you pull the thread through and as soon as you've pulled the thread through let it travel in on its own and it will get a great knot appearing so if you want to actually um, you make a knot that's not so large as that you can go around once and then that's just going to give a smaller knot with a dramatic effect as well. And those clustered together or built into columns, you can create so many different effects just with this one stitch. So just a couple of those look great. And then once you once you can master that one and it is just so good to use, you can do loopy French knots. So loopy French knots aren't ones that have gone wrong. They're ones that you can um, give a lot of texture to. So this time you try not to keep the thread around the needle and you make loops. So they're quite nice. So it look great in a metallic thread. So you're going to go around town, around the needle twice. And then just as you let that go, you'll get loops appearing and I think they look fantastic. So once you know a stitch, you can work over and over with different stitches just to create different effects. I mean, that would look great as detail on the edge of a card or just as well as part of a hedgerow. So we've got ordinary French knots, just French knots, loopy ones, and then, of course, you've got long-legged French knots. So it's the same process, except this time you take the thread to the top. So you're almost getting... A straight stitch with the, the knot on the end and they would almost look like stamen in a flower center or as as grasses part of a border and it builds up quite quickly so whether it's on the tweed or the cotton that's a great stitch to work with as is fly stitch so fly stitch is often used for detail you know it's not a real flower but it's an open-ended stitch that you can make into lots of different things so you can bring the thread opposite insert it into the fabric and then just use your finger behind just to push the needle back onto the surface and then bring the needle in between the two points tuck the thread underneath and then as you pull that thread generally you'll get a Y shaped stitch and that's good for you know, as if it was dried grass at the edge of the wall or field. And each time you do that, now if you, you sort of found that you couldn't um, bring the needle back, you can always take it out of the frame, because some stitches it feels better to hold the fabric in your hand rather than always in a frame. But they're great, and they look great in a metallic thread as well. I mean, to me, just adding a, a few beads then, done that's that finished it's like, it's like a mini landscape just really created very very quickly fantastic um again i'm just looking in the book uh for the french knots and the loopy french knots so you can watch these demonstrations again they will be available on our website on rewind or on the app but if you go for the book you've got that reference there so you can learn that loopy french knot 17 pounds and 99 pence and of course that's been written by katrina bestseller bestseller author uh right we've had some pictures sent in oh this is nice now these are from, is it Joe or Joan? 
Joan. These are from Joan. That, that is absolutely amazing, Joan. Lovely. Love that. Gorgeous. Absolutely now, uh, Joan said her friend Janet introduced her to Rowan Dean Embroidery with one of the cards that she bought. Lovely. Isn't that lovely? Uh, she says it's very easy to do and everyone should give it a try. And here's another picture here as well. That's lovely. Oh, and it's got my favourite. I love hostas. And, and, uh, yeah, hostas. We host saw some hostas today, actually. They're fully out, aren't They're they? They're just perfect right yeah. now, aren't they? And then oh, this, is a, this is a card that Joan received, I think. That's, that's gorgeous. That's, oh, I'm coming up close to the screen on that one. And the Ooh. butterfly too. That is, that is lovely, lovely, isn't it? Uh, right, we've had another image or another picture sent in. This is from Bren. Oh, it's gorgeous. That's lovely. And this is this is Bren's needlework case, Katrina. That's beautiful. Isn't that lovely? You've done a very good job. Oh, thank you for sending in the pictures. It's always nice to hear from you. Um, this is your show as well, um, as well as ours. Right, the Doodle Kit. We're limited stock. Limited stock on the Doodle Kit. In there you get your six cards with envelopes, your printed fabric, the coloured organza and other um, fabrics in there. You, of course, get the full instructions and you get the bead needle and you get the plastic rapture needle needle as well. So making six different designs, but we're limited stock, £18.95. Now we've got some display hoops on the show because Katrina herself has been using uh, a hoop to embroider with. So you might want to go for those. £12.99. You can display them. Can I just ask Katrina, can we actually sew in these as well as display in them? No. Not, right. if, not if it's the display ones because they don't have any way of tightening the tension. Perfect. It's just purely for display. Great. Anyway. But Great. it's an instant display. It doesn't take you long to lace your work and display yes. it, which is what you want. You don't want to take ages no. framing something. So that is pretty instant for you. We've also got um, four five-inch hoops uh, for £14.99. Again, they are for display.